Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a lot better today, thank you. It's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there. However, I did wake up at four o'clock this morning, thought, oh, I'll just have a, a glass of water. Tried to speak, nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. So I had a Jakeman's, went back to sleep, uh, very dangerously with the Jakeman's still in my mouth. Uh, anyway, uh, it's much better than it was. It's much, I don't know how long it'll last, but it's much better than it was. Right. Early bird, one of two, oh. it's a checky bag, it's a checky bag. Now on the film industry we use these all the time. These are fantastic for storing your fabric in, they're fantastic if you've got loads and loads of bits and bobs, you just need to organise it, or you're going to class, or you want to store your quilt, so anything like that. Uh, colours, oh now what are the three colours? Red, black. And blue, what's this one then? Blue. Right, crash. Oh, it's very hot in here. Very hot. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Vida. Uh, 4 .99. Have you seen the size of it? Have you seen the size of this bag? Look. I, Hayley said they're staying prep. Could you fit in it, John? I don't think so. You definitely wouldn't fit in it, Kat. Not you, you would. I won't fit in it. It's very hot in here. Oh yeah, I did that last night. I did the towel over the Vicks in the hot water last night as well. People multi-buying. They are the three different colours that are available, look. Random colour selection, so if you buy three, I can't guarantee you'll get three different ones. But they're just fantastic, what are you going to use them for? Laurie says, glad your voice is getting better, loving the shirt. <coughs> Isabel says, good morning John, looking forward to Jane this morning. Donna says, good morning. Cousin Susan says, good morning. Margaret says, good morning. Uh, Bernie says, what an improvement. Are you being sarcastic? Um, now remember, today is the last day you'll see me on here till May the 1st. <clears throat> you have a look at this then. I'm... Oh, Carol, Carol, Carol. Morning, John. That's a big bag, isn't it? Just. Isn't it just? I'm just having a slurp of my water. Keep going through on this. Keep going through. No shouting. No shouting. Mm -hmm. Quarter of the stock's gone already. And another quarter is in baskets. Oh. <clears throat> it's coming and going, isn't it, my voice? Just coming and going. 
Beautiful. Who's going to use this bag? What are you going to use it for? Got the zip. You take your washing in this. How much washing do you have? Look. Hello. Take things to your craft show, in it. Large project, you take the same group, or you're taking a quilt to the bit long armed quilted. Message from Carol. Oh, John, would be perfect for my Christmas present. Why, what are you getting, Carol? What are you getting? Half the stock's gone, half the stock has gone. This is only early bird number one of two, remember? I'm here, I'm still here, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm here. Jenny says, good morning. Lorraine says, anyone else not getting anything on Sky? Oh, that's interesting. We'll just double check for you. Thirty-six left. That's all I've got left. Thirty-six left. Oh no. Random colour. You're going to get the blue, the red, or the black. I think the black one, isn't that the Scott Tartan, the black one? I think so. The early bird special, large stash bag, they've called it. <coughs> 80 by 30, 70 by 30. Let me just. Right, so how many does that leave then? 22. Okay, right, I've got to tell you now then. There's 10 left and. 37 in baskets. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. Four left sold. You won't get that one. Got another early bird, Bruce. Yeah. He doesn't, well, he wasn't expecting that. He put away the early bird sting. Hang on. He'll be one minute. Come on, Brucey boy. Keep checking out on that first one. They're not all checked out, but there's way more people got it in, but there's only four left. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Early bird, early bird. Now these, don't use these as your um, <coughs> fabric scissors. These are just your, your household scissors. Cut the rind off your bacon. What? Yeah, stop using my fabric scissors, use these instead. My sky is okay, says Margaret. And says, morning, John, good to hear you get back. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's coming back then. Have you got your dates for May as it's my birthday on the 12th? We'll check for you now. I know I'm on the 1st. And um, I also know who my guest is going to be on the 1st. Oh, it's not me on the 12th. It's not me on the 12th. Cat's here, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm on Friday the 13th. I'm on Friday the 13th. Uh, so it's not me, I'm afraid, Dan. You've got Stuart. I'm sure he'll send you a big kiss. Uh, Sue says her sky is okay. Morning, John and team. Lovely day here in Dursley. Looking forward to seeing Jane. Yeah, she's got loads of brand new things to show you. Oh, hang on, we haven't questioned the price. Come on, cat. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. These are. I know. Sorry about that. I bet you're looking forward to your break. I so am. Low. low. Did you? No, I didn't change my bamboo bedding. You know what? Last night I got in, Julie. I've got to edit my book. I had to, we didn't get in here. We had to go and watch some demonstration upstairs yesterday. We didn't get home till really late either. And what was the other thing I did when I got in yesterday? Oh, yeah, I've got a new ruler coming up, which it has... Oh, it's going to be one of those days today, right? I needed to prep with the ruler at six o'clock this morning. Ian's got it in his car. I know. This will prove what time Ian actually comes in. So I will change the bamboo. It's not the bedding, it's the actual, um, what's that thing called? Duvet, the actual duvet is bamboo. Anyway, keep going through with these, they're $1.99. Now remember, if you've already bought and checked out the checky bag, then you don't pay any more PMP. So if you come in later and buy an overlocker, or if you buy a cross-stitch kit from Jane, you don't pay any more PMP. Or, or, or if you buy a, a mannequin, or we haven't even got the mannequins out yet or anything, have we? Yeah, but not, I haven't prepped with them, have I? They're in 12 o'clock, Bruce. Oh, yeah, you'll have to get your camera wizardry going in that hour. Keep going through, lots in baskets, lots in baskets. Oh, someone got a Tibetan singing bowl in there.
I'm sure that corridor upstairs is getting weaker, you know, it's louder and louder. Yeah, one day. Is that guitars on your shirt, John? Yes, it is. Can you not see it? Can you not see that? Show you a close up there. Oh, it's not very well pressed there, does it? But yeah, it's guitars. Keep going through for this. Morning, Ange. <coughs> keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Angie's loving the shirt. She's also loving the household scissors for one ninety nine. Got so much going on behind the scenes this morning. I can't tell you. Angie loves my shirt as well. Yeah, I would as well. Morning, John. Everyone, bright and sunny here in Norfolk. Says Susan. A oh, noise outside, isn't it? Who can that be? Will it be Arga and Ava? Yeah, yeah Ar and their sisters. Hmm? And uh, Arga's the youngest. These are our lovely cleaners. Anyway, are we going to, are we carrying on? Oh, hang on. I need your pattern seeing eyes. There's a top I love. Hang on, I need your pattern seeing eyes. There's a top I love and I don't want to pay 300 pounds. I don't understand that message. Anyway, anyway, shall we have a look at today's menu? Sorry, Kat, I just threw this on the floor and I should have folded it up. Um, right, have we got the menu up? Yeah, there it is, I can't see it, there it is. You will be able to sew your own clothes by the end of this book by Julia Uzo. So the whole idea of this first hour is it's a book launch. The books are here, but we can't sell them to you yet. We have no idea what's happened. We have no idea where they are. And we've even got a little film to show you, which we don't know where that is either. So what else we've got in the hour is we've got fabrics, we've got the steam iron, and we've got all sorts of bits and bobs coming up this hour. Now, what's the next thing I was gonna tell you? Nine o'clock, Cross Stitch Guild with Jane Greenoff, got some brand spanking new pieces. Have a quick look. That's in the second hour, I think. It's always that first hour. That's first hour. Okay, first hour. Right. Gorgeous. I know, I need, no, we need the big one. We need the big one with the alphabet on it, please, Bruce. That's right. No, 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 it's fine. I'll we'll show it to you in a second. Here, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? That's coming up at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, we've got essential gadgets, half of which haven't arrived yet, but we've got the quick unpick. No, not the quick unpick. The um, electric unpicker is back in stock. Then Jane's back at 11 o'clock with more goodies. I won't show you those now. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got overlockers and adjuster forms. Right. I I'm going to start, because I can't start with the book. So I'm going to start with this, right? It's very unusual, because we don't normally have this in stock. We got it in especially for Rebecca Harrison. They've cut it into pieces for you. Now, if you sew jersey on your dressmaking, and sometimes you just need a little interfacing to stop the shoulders from pulling, or just round the neck band, or just down the um, button wrap, or something like that, it's a fusible stretch interfacing. I know, there's which will save, save your life if you stow stretch. Let's see some air guitar with that shirt on, John Rock on from Martin. Martin, who's Martin and Paul? Who's Paul, who's Martin? Oh, what? Is it really? Is that, is, what time is it? Are you, are you the, I'm sure that's him. I don't know, it might not. Where was it? Where did he say it was? Oh. Might be Martin, it might be Paul, it might be Martin and Paul. That'd be a turn up for the books, wouldn't it? 3 99 this. I don't do hair guitar. Beautiful. This is so lovely. Uh, morning, John. Lovely shirt. Your voice does sound much better. It is. Oh, it's definitely better. Sunny here in Portsmouth. You'll make the show great anyway. Have a great day. Oh, Susan, thank you. You're very kind. This is so lovely. It's iron on. But look, 
stretch. Stretch interfacing. So if you'd put it on jersey or any, have we got other stretch fabrics? Yep, yeah. <laughs> this one. You're putting on stretch fabrics, look, and you just want that stabilized on your shoulder, round your neck or down the front, or on a zip fastening or something like that, it's brilliant. Got more information for you from Vizeline, Vizeline, here you go. Oh, yeah, can I say it on the big telly, Bruce, sorry. Uh, let's have a look, wash up to six degrees, easy to work with, well, it's not like me, then retains its shape, definitely not like me. Uh, what's that one then, soft to ha hard, what's that? Extremely elastic, both in warp and weft directions. Oh, I see, soft to hard, it's quarter of the way soft, quarter of the way light, but it's very elastic, but not very much whatever the bottom thing is. Thin, and it weighs 41 grams a metre, 100% PA. Right, PA. Yeah, what's PA? I'd say it's some sort of polyester, is it? Now, excuse me, it doesn't look right. Uh, wash me up to 60 degrees. Now scroll down. It says 40 there. These are not ours. These are from the Vaseline website. You can iron it, look. Don't tumble dry it. Don't park it. Anyway, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. I just thought to show that first because it's something that we have not don't normally have. Julie Vaughan will have got, has Julie Vaughan come in and bought this? Oh, we don't know. Could be, I bet she has, I bet she has. Could you put, could you use this to put a zip into Jersey John? Oh, it's Julie Vaughan. Uh, you can, not to put it in, but you could use it to, to just to strengthen, to stop the Jersey stretching when you, no, it'll still stretch, but you can just put it in around the placket. So it just gives it a little bit of uh, interfacing, a bit of substance, yeah. Oh, there's only a meat, oh, there's only two of these left and 21 people got it in their baskets. They already cut, they already cut. Okay, I'll give that to Kat because that's sold out. Thank you, Kat. Let's do Calico, another staple that I love. Now, yesterday in our meeting, yesterday I asked for Calico. I've only got 15 meters, I only got 15 meters, which is never enough. We, I wouldn't bring 15 meters on air because it would just go like that before I'd even spoken. How much is the cat? 232. There's 232. Right. So, if you want your calico for your draping. Now I'm doing the I'm doing the um, mannequins at 12 o'clock. If you want to do a bit of draping, a bit of um, not bodybuilding. That's the wrong word, isn't it? Pattern cutting on the stand. I've just seen. Do you watch Jewelry Maker at home? There's a really gorgeous guest on there called Claire. Is it McDonald? who I think is the spitting image of Vicky. She's very, very flattered. She's old enough to be Vicky's mum. But I've just seen her new house. Oh, I want to move now. It's not far from me. It's not far from me. Yeah, and I could afford it. It's gorgeous. The only thing is when she sits on the toilet, right, there's a window there and the people walking along the canal can see her sitting on the toilet. I've told her I'm going to go by later and I'll written and go, I can see you, I can see you. Anyway, this is £2.79, half metre. It is cut off the bolt for you. Uh, people always melt it by this. It's gorgeous calico. Oh, OK, then. Can I have that interfacing back, please, Kat? Sorry. It looks like... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, thank you. And I'm not going to read that one out. Oh, that, yeah, ju now, Julie, Julie, I'm ever so sorry, right? But we have got it by the half meter as well. We didn't know. She's bought three of those, you see. She might have wanted it off the roll, you see. Uh, well, wait, wait till I do it. Wait till I do it. You might want, might want to buy it off the roll. But three are fine because you only ever cut it. It's not like you're going to cut a whole dress out of it. So you only cut it in little pieces like that. So having three of those will be fine. But we've got it by the half metre in a minute as well. How? Oh, question from Claire. Uh, will this shrink even washed when it's called pre-shrunk calico? Uh, look forward to seeing Jane today from Claire in Evesham. Oh, Evesham. How often do you go to, um, yeah, what's it called? The, um, vi not called the village, is it? What's it called? You know, the shopping village in Evesham. There's a big, there's a big garden centre. Sarah's got a shop there. Um, Oh, 
But this is washed. This is pre-washed. No, pre-shrunk. It's pre-shrunk, this. Not just pre-washed, pre-shrunk. Um, I would wash it still first. If you're going to make something out of it, you're going to wear or wash, I would wash it first, even though it says pre-shrunk. Because the manufacturer says that it'll shrink again. Good morning, my L680 arrived yesterday. And can I say after a little practice, I'm in love with it. It's so smooth doing a stitch catalogue today. Oh, Michelle. Uh, sorry, I didn't answer the question. Did I answer the question before from Evesham? Oh, was that the... No, no, that wasn't that one, was it? Oh, well. Hi, John. Oh, yeah, sorry. Claire in Worcestershire from Evesham, yeah. Sorry. They say, they say it may shrink another 3%. You see, it doesn't feel washed to me, I have to say. It smells washed, but it doesn't feel washed, so i definitely wash it. Anyway, how are we doing? Oh, come on, we want more of you to buy this. We've got hundreds in now. Hi, John, I'm intrigued with that pattern on your left shoulder. Can you share? It's not a pattern, it's the book. It's the book and we can't sell it yet. I'll show it to you, I'll put it on the desk and I'll show it to you. They're all here, but for some reason they're not in the system yet. We're working on it. Am I in the right place? Hang on, no, there. Yeah. Oh, the camera hasn't woken up yet. Oh. There we go. That's what the whole hour is meant to be about, but they're not booked in yet, and we can't find the little film. Oh, I see Lo, what Lo wants me to do. is might draw a pattern for a top that she's seen that she likes. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, Lo, you'd be it'd be cheaper to buy the top. Right, um, what, the, um, Right, now I did show you this a minute ago. Never been aired by the half metre before. So how wide is it by the half metre? Oh, so it's 75 centimetres, so it's still the same width. Oh, actually that's this. So now all the difference is, is you can buy it off the bolt in a big piece. Same price, it's not, it's not a different price, 3 99 Sorry, but the thing is, it doesn't matter so much. It's not like dressmaking fabric where you've got to cut the whole length of a dress out. It's literally, you only ever cut little bits out of it, so you'll be fine. Julie, I wouldn't worry about it message from Amanda it's called the valley there you go the valleys thank you I'm local to Amanda oh you just giving us your address Amanda oh sounds posh where you live oh I'll see you there then I'm often down there in the garden centre if you were one of the people who missed out on this pre-cut you can still get one and you'll get that if you just want one yeah, I am talking mates rates low. Oh, hang on, there's people wandering past with big trolleys now, so. It's all going on, all going on. Crazy Lorraine says, good morning, everybody. Morning, Crazy Lorraine, at 3.99. Okay, moving on. We are, we are is, there any, is there any chat, is there anything in? Okay, now, fabrics. Where would you like me to start? Oh, let's start there, I love this. Flannel! Oh, we're not meant to be doing this by the half me try to. This is gorgeous. If anybody wants to make me a shirt out of this, if Rebecca Harrison's watching, I'd love a shirt out of this, Rebecca Harrison. It's lovely, it feels. What? Red, poly, oh, it's poly wool. Oh, I need to look up the, um. it's not flannel at all. I'll take that back. It's poly wool. This is gorgeous. 90% polyester, 10% wool. 150 centimetres wide, 60 inches wide, look. Look. To push you up. Oh, not push me. No. It's good. <laughs> um, off to Durham. Oh, yeah, Lorette Crazy Lane's going to see her family. She hasn't seen for years. I, uh, shack it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a, if you're going to make a shirt, make, you know, like a lumberjack shirt, that thickness. Um, uh, trousers be gorgeous in wide leg trousers, but very casual, not, not tailored trousers, not, not Mark Francis trousers, but like really soft. It's really lovely and soft and it'd be washable if it's, um, it's got a gorgeous drape, look, 
You see, you make a lovely skirt out of that as well. Oh, uh, that's taking me back to my childhood now. Kat just said I'd wear it as a scarf. I had a scarf exactly the same as this when I was little. I don't think I do LOLs. I do remember I got sent to a birthday party once as Noddy and I wasn't old enough and I wasn't old enough to tie my own shoelaces and the shoes came undone. There were ribbons in the shoes and I just remember tucking the ribbon into my socks. There you go. Just finished the edges. Not that just going into summer. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go that far. If you got the Italian line loads, those Italian nines went. I think we only got one left now, have we? One or two left. Anyway, beautiful. Oh, collector from Tyne and Weir, Lindsay. Hi, John. How's the young lady getting on with her course you were helping her with? The last you said you were helping her with zips, etc. Oh, Lindsay, she's had to hand it in. She had to hand it in. Um, she was doing her, whatever the equivalent is of O-levels these days, textiles. And what they had to do was they all had to think of a project, design it, talk about the features behind it. You know what they've got at her school? You can make your own buttons. She designed her own buttons and then you put them in like a 3D photocopier, not an overlock, a photocopier, and it makes buttons. So she was, she was able to make her own buttons for it. We didn't use them in the end. We, so we put a zip, what did I say? What, what did I say? Ph photocopier. Printer, photocopier, same thing. Um, anyway, um, we didn't use those because we were zipping it. So we put a zip across the bottom, so I had to show her how to put the zip in the bottom. I know. And then we had to make the bean bag for inside. She put pockets on it. She did French knot. She did embroidery. She put a handle on. And she never got me to sit on it, mind you. So I, I thought there would be a picture of me sitting on it. That's lovely. Blue next. Oh, oh yeah. Boop at the bear. Yeah, this is nice. This is classy, this one. Oh, I love, is this the same, is this the same um, composition? It feels slightly different, this one. But no, no, so, because it's a different colour. How gorgeous is that? Skirt, I'm thinking. Pleated skirt. Oh, Karen, what's she asked? Were you a Bay City Rollers fan? Yeah, not, I like the Bay City Rollers. I went to see them in Chester in 1974 at the, um, what was the cin? What was the cinema called? Well, I knew what I was wearing. Um, um, I had some Bay City Roller trousers with the tartan around the bottom and the stripe going down the side there. Um, but I was more of a New Seekers fan myself. You know I'll beg, steal or borrow. Yes, I will, to bring you sunny days. How beautiful is this, pleated? Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, Elaine. Oh, John, would love to see you dressed as Noddy. Elaine Mel. Well, the thing is, Elaine, this is in my book, right? There's absolutely no pictures of me as a child. From birth till about three, there's no pictures of me at all. No photo, nothing. Oh, now, you want me to dress up now? Oh, I'll have to make myself. I just remember, I can remember, this is funny, this must be one of my earliest memories. I remember the shorts being made out of this very kind of thick jersey, blue jersey. I don't know where the costume came from because my mum couldn't sew. So I don't know where the costume came from. Little hat with a bell on the end and everything. Morning, John, still croaking. Yeah, but nowhere near as bad. Who was that from? Oh, Susie, Susie Duncan. Fabulous shirt, struggling here with a pullback. Ah, see, talk about my croaky back. Uh, shorter dog walked, I think, lots of sewing standing up. That's our Susie Duncan. Susie Duncan. Beautiful. Michelle, what's Michelle? John, I want to make a summer kimono. What would be the best fabric? I've never made any clothing, so fabric choosing is scary. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? No, 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 but look. Isn't that a kimono? Look. Oh, sorry, where do you want me to take it? Yeah. Look, isn't that a kimono? Coming up in this hour, we hope, we hope, we hope, we hope. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, I'm surprised her publishers allowed her to do that because it says you will be able to sew your own clothes by the end of this book. If you can't, can you sue her? Do you know what I mean? In America, that wouldn't be allowed, would it? Anyway, where's the um, kimono in here? Hang on. Juliet wrap dress. 
Prince. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, oh, she's called it a duster coat. She's called it a duster coat. She has put lightweight to medium weight woven fabric. Um, right, the question was, what would you make it out of? I would make one out of cotton lawn. Because you can make it out of quilting cotton, but that might be a little bit too heavy and make it look like a dressing gown. Whereas if you buy, how, did she say how much she's sewn? She's new to dressmaking, did she say? Oh yeah, she's got 680, just be careful. Oh no, you got your walking foot, so you'll be fine. Um, just be careful. Um, I would buy a cotton lawn because it's stable. If you go for a viscose or a jersey, they might move a bit for the first time that you use them. Like for example, right, where's the one that Julie Vaughan's got? Oh, here it is. This is gorgeous, right? This is completely gorgeous. In fact, we can get Julie to message in. Um, it is, um, that would make a lovely floaty kimono, but it might be a bit difficult to sew for one of your first projects. Put your walking foot on your 680. 699, she made a top out of it, hasn't she? Lorraine loved the new Seekers and the Bay City Rollers. And I'm just along the road from where you lived and my family still look B, live by, nearby, I think that must be. John, I can just picture you and Stuart dressed as Noddy and Big Ears. Oh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, we might have to work on that one. Oh, but Stuart would be make a gorgeous Big Ears, wouldn't he? You don't know who Noddy and Big Ears are? Big Ears is his best friend. Look it up, look it up. Oh yeah, uh, Lorraine, they still live there. I'm going up there next week, Lorraine. I'm going up northwest next week, I hope. I might pop in. Oh no, Lorraine doesn't live there anymore. Uh, excuse me, this is a name drop, isn't it? Lo says Lynn Paul was at my wedding. Uh, who's Lynn Paul? She was in the New Seekers. And then she played um, Mrs. What's It in, um, oh, what's that brilliant? Blood Brothers. Mrs. She played the mum in Blood Brothers. Six ninety nine. Um, I didn't think you were married, Lo. I thought you lived over the broom. It was Jeff's birthday this week. That's Lo's boyfriend. No. No, they're not married. That's he's the. Jeff's a bit of fluff. Look, beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on. Oh, I'm a bit worried that this book's not going to be booked in in time was my big sell for this hour. Right, what next? Oh, message, message to Susie. I've made kits for, kim I have made kits of kimonos. Oh, I use quilting cottons, tarn lawn, chiffon polyester, all work just with a different drape. Yeah, but if she's new, what I was saying, Susie, was if you're new, maybe then quilting cotton or tarn lawn are the best, aren't they? Before you go on to um, chiffons and things like that. Where would you like me to go next? This one, hydrangeas. Look, there you go. This is pretty, isn't it? Hydrangea blush. Did you watch that sewing program this week? It was just called stitching, I think. It was rubbish, wasn't it? In my own, public, own opinion. And I watched the whole thing. I gave it, I gave it its fair chance. But I also thought that the, the hostess, Blue hydrangea, I thought all her clothes look grubby. The girls that were, oh, I also didn't know it was going to be one to one. I didn't know it was going to be two people against you. I thought it was going to be like a few people all competing. It's just two girls competing. Message from Susan. Good morning, lovely John. Going to attempt for the first time pajamas with stretchy fabric with my Elna overlocker this afternoon. Oh, I was going to show you how to do that now. If the book's not ready, then I'll get my overlocker out and I'll show you. Anyway, oh, we go. Let's. Are we allowed to show it? Julie, you're right. I've shown your picture. Go on then. Here she is. Look, I love her hair. I think Julie's hair is lovely. Uh, that's out of that fabric. That's Julie Vaughan, everybody. I only watched 10 minutes of that awful stitch show, says Jill. Oh dear. Uh, my son and daughter have been noddy for school dressing up days. Very easy costume. Ah. Michelle says, I did not find it very good and the table they had the sewing machine was just daft. Oh, I don't remember noticing that. 
Anyway. We can indeed. This one here. Oh, no, this, this is a twill, this one. This isn't a quilting weight. Let's have a look. Let me have a look. I haven't got a sticker on it, I don't think. Hang on. Can anyone see a sticker? Bruce? Is it? Uh, there's no sticker on it. Uh, Rose and Hubble Digital Cotton Prints Gabriella Fabric. It's like a cotton twill, this one. Uh, slightly heavier than a quilting weight. 150 centimetres wide. What's our norm? What's our what's our what's it one then? I thought our others were heavier than that. I know it's digitally printed. It's lovely. Make a lovely frock out of it. It's just slightly heavier. Wash it as well. Yeah. Oh, now you see Lorraine's looking forward to the sewing bee next week. I have to say I'm not. I missed it. Says another Carol. What channel was it on? Um, it was. Um, uh, BBC Three, I think it was. Yeah, BBC, it was on my telly. What, I videoed it on my telly. Sue said, did anyone see the reel on the BBC News at the weekend where they toured the barber factory in South Shields? It was brilliant. Oh no, didn't see that. Five ninety nine. Oh. Yeah, BBC Three, thanks, Michelle. Kerry says, morning, John. You sound so much better this morning. Watching with my mum, uh, it's her birthday today, and sister Gaynor, looking forward to a fabulous show. So who's Ma Mary? Happy birthday. Oh, is it the Queen's birthday? The show's today, isn't it? I thought it was June the 4th, the Queen's birthday. Now, well, she wouldn't have them today and next week, would she? The 21st of April. Oh, no, they go. So, and it's also, oh, is it St George's Day today? No one confused now. It's Shakespeare's birthday on next week, isn't it? Same day as St George's Day, it's Shakespeare's birthday. Phew, got there. So it's the Queen's birthday today and it's Mary's birthday today. Now that could be the Queen pretending. Hang on, she said, who's she with? No, I don't think the Queen's got a sister gay, nor is she. No, oh, I hope you're not talking about me, Lorraine. Not sure about this new presenter. You're talking about Lorraine, talking about me. I know, no, that's why, that's why I don't really want to watch it. I will watch the first one. I'll give it, I'll give it a go. John, your voice seems better today. I missed the sewing show, looking forward to sewing me. Oh, I wish I could say the same. Anyway, should we move on? Keep going through for that. Grey sweatshirt in fabric. Cha -cha 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 -cha. This is lovely because look at the inside of this. Imagine that against your your bare skin. That's not it. That's not your colour. That's your colour. It's a mild grey. It's a mild grey. That's the inside. It's got a fluffy. It's just called light grey sweatshirt. Eh? Oh no! You still need to sweat. What you do is you won't make a sweatshirt. And you cut it off here. Yeah, keep you cool. Keep your midriff cool. What? Up here? No, I don't, I don't, you don't want to wear one of those, cat. That was a joke. 6.49. Mild, wide. Lovely, isn't it? Now, a message from Ellen. Uh, morning, John. It's my birthday, and it's definitely the Queen's birthday, too. Great show. Have a brilliant day from Ellen. Uh, Ellen, are you the Queen? In Somerset. It's not... You see, now, like Somerset, it's any, any further than that, I get a bit, you know, dodgy with the little roads. Why? Are you? No, Devon's before Cornwall. Oh, there's a lovely um, garden centre before you go over the big bridge. Anyway, 6.49. Darts, it's called Darts Farm. If you go to Darts Farm, you have to go there for coffee. Soft touch jerseys. Which one do you want to do first? Oh, these feel lovely. Uh, 
Oh, now this is a lovely weight, this one. Gorgeous stretch on it as well. Five, it's a funny price, £5.39. Soft touch jersey. Look at the stretch on there. Now, what we use this for then? Cat. It's slightly heavier. It's heavier than... Um, oh, now I know what we've made out of it. There was a dress that we made out of We had all this in all different colours. I wasn't on. I just remember unpacking it for the next day. Uh, it's he slightly heavier than T-shirt. Make a lovely sheath dress. Aren't we talking about Great British Sewing being your Sunday lives? Right, Anne, normally I do it the next day, don't I? Uh, but first of all, I won't be here this week. Uh, and um, I'm going to watch the first one first before we talk about it. Because I might not watch them after the first one. Yeah, no, but I can't talk about it if I haven't watched it, can I? Darts Farm is near Topsham. You going near Topsham? Where are you going? Coombe Martin, she's going to uh, Low. Will she pass it? If she goes to Coombe Martin from Birmingham, will she pass it? Georgie says, Morning, John. I must be coming out in sympathy with you. I've woken up today with no voice and a swollen sore tonsils. Georgie, do you know what? I think it's going round. Uh, um, hang on. Sonja, where have you been, Sonja? I've not seen you for ages. Helen says, Morning, John. I've made tops out of the soft touch jersey. It's lovely to work with and very cosy. Thank you, Helen. That's your wine. Wine one. And then we've got this soft, soft pink. Now, also, be careful on this one. If you make a T-shirt out, people might think you're naked. Do you know what I mean? It would wash Cat out completely, this. She shouldn't wear this. Oh, no, what Cat would have to do, she can make a T-shirt out of that and then bind the neck with that one there and then her face will be here. Do you know what I mean? Today, I've lived in England for 45 years, says Laurie. Laurie, when are you going back? I'm only messing, 45 years. She only came over for a quick holiday. Yeah. No, no, she lives in. Yes. Oh, I always get this wrong. Not Minnesota. Hang on, I'll think of it in a minute. Missouri? Where? Missouri. Missouri. Now, where are you from, Laurie? I can't remember now. Illinois. Illinois. Illinois and uh, uh, do you know what Julie's just come back from New York State where she was visiting George her middle son and she said the red cardinals are really red big fat red cardinals with big beaks and everything she was really shocked Laurie what are you going to do to celebrate oh I think she moved here for love actually that wouldn't even move to Birmingham for love, she said. This one next. Now, it's just another stretch fabric look. Nice leggings. Who's that? What are you talking about? He's moving to Bournemouth. Do you have to have an overlocker for dressmaking? I want to venture into dressmaking, but don't have an overlocker. Georgie, the answer is no, you don't need one. But if you love dressmaking, I would definitely get an overlocker because it, you won't believe how brilliant it is to, for all the finishing off and everything like that. Or if you're stitching jersey together, it's amazing for stitching jersey together. Six ninety-nine. Oh, you're going to North Devon. Are you going via Exeter? No, she's not. Are you not? Who's are you driving? In your car? Oh my goodness, they won't make it. I'll get a phone call going, we're just in Castle Bromwich, can you come and get us? Uh, six nine. I love this. Should we look at that pattern? It's beautiful. What, what are you telling me? What were you telling me before this? Okay, we're not going to get to the book. Well, no, no, no. No, that's fine. That's fine. Watch. I can show you something else I've got. Don't mind me. Hang on, I'm going to cut this up first. Why? 
Can I have one of the, um, which one should I do then? The, the wine soft touch, please. Thank you. What's the matter? Why? This one obviously can't go back, cat, because I've just chopped the end off. That's too late and I've chopped it off. Thank you, but anyway. Right, watch. Look, how simple was that? Right? How easy was that? And then look, it's beautifully seamed. That's why you need an overlocker, especially if you're doing jersey. Now today, if you buy this overlocker today, the 864 um, Air Threader, we've done a deal. There's no picture on the website yet, but you'll get this for free. You will get this box of, now how much is it worth? 52.99. You get that for free if you buy the overlocker today. At the moment, I'm limited because they've not been checked in yet. So I've got a handful of the machines. But if you get, I'll, I'll be talking more about it in 12 o'clock. I just want you to know about it now and see how easy, because the jersey won't be here later on, you see. Because I've got to show you something else before I do that. Right. Right, now this. Oh, no. My shirt's come all untucked and everything. I love this. I love this iron. Well, I've done it what I did on the first day we were here, which is over a month ago, and I've done it since. It's just sat in the corner over there. Poor old cat had to dust it this morning. Didn't you, cat? It was so much covered in dust. Right, it's the most brilliant steam iron. Look at this, right? You ready? Can you see all that steam coming out of there? This is where we haven't told the health and safety man or whatever he's called, it'll set the alarms off, but it's what we sell. It's a fantastic steam iron, right? This is full of water. It comes direct from Juki. Um, graphics. Oh, have we? Oh, look. Right, so it's £299, you get £50 off, but watch. That's not five-way split pay, that's three-way split pay. It's meant to be on five-way split pay, especially for you today. Still good at three-way split pay, but anyway. Now, what you do is you fill it with water here. You do have your water filler. And what you do is this has got a special nozzle on, so you just can turn it upside down like that, or a little bit dribbles out, and you just push it onto the thing and it just fills the amount of water you need to go into, the, into here. What you must do is you must fill it with water when it's cold. So first thing in the morning, fill it with the water. Don't, you cannot, cannot, cannot open this when it's hot and pressurized, because it's dangerous. When I say you cannot, it's almost impossible to do. You see, this is the, this is the um, handle here to the water tank. You can swizzle it around as much as it won't come off. To, to get it off, you have to push it right down and turn. Push it right down and turn. When it's pressurized, it's not gonna let you do that, but it's dangerous, like a pressure cooker. Don't be doing that. You can adjust the amount of um, steam with the get guide here. Uh, you've got two buttons here. You've got your switcher iron on and you've got your switcher steam on there, right? This light will come on and when it goes off, it's ready to steam. That light there will flash if your water tank gets a little bit empty. This is a silicon tray here where your iron will sit. The iron itself weighs 1.5 kilos, which isn't much heavier than a normal iron. You've got your cork handle here to keep your hand, keep it cool. And then you've got your button there to press your steam. Can you see that? Right. Now, not only can you use it to iron with, you can sanitise your sofas, uh, do your um, curtains while they're in situ and things like that. You almost probably think two things. One, my ironing board's not big enough to take that. And two, how on earth do I get my, uh, it to the, to the, to the um, curtains? Well, it comes with this. 
it comes with this little trolley which moves around every which way this unit here fits exactly on top of here so if you've got a normal ironing board it can sit underneath your ironing board all the time doesn't have to be moved around and then when you do want to go and do the furniture or the mattress or anything like that, just wheel it to wherever you need it now you're also most probably thinking well i only use like lightweight cottons and chiffons and things like that there was a pressing mat here earlier there it is i just have to move it across a little bit sorry about the mat i did have a word in the meeting yesterday this is 100 percent wool now somebody very kindly uh, folded it nightly and pressed it so it's not as crunkled as it normally is but literally look how beautifully this presses that wool if you don't want to if you don't want to put the iron down you can just press it like that with just a powerful jet of steam oh and it steams up your glasses uh also that's wool this is our cotton that we use every day i don't know where my chartreuse bit has gone so i've had to nick this blue bit here right watch this watch this look how easily to those creases just disappear whether you're doing your shirt whether you're doing your sheets whether you're doing a duvet whether you're doing a quilt whatever look at that how brilliant is that i love my sheets to be beautifully pressed and how brilliant is that just it just takes no effort at all there you go thank you cat five way split pay so you can have this delivered to your house today it won't be delivered today if you buy this today you can pay 59 pound 80 you still get your 50 pounds off you still get your 50 pounds off um but you could that's that's uh we actually think you're getting a little for a little bit less are you hang on what's 59 pound 80 times five? Oh, sorry i've got my water in the shot there beautiful oh it does come out to 299 oh sorry that's my bad i thought yeah if you want it i've been, always been thinking about it and you think oh i've always wanted one of those but i don't want to hi john i have a similar professional steam iron and i can't tell the difference it makes to ironing and pressing for me it's a must have from tim in derbyshire tim thank you man. you're not tim the costume designer are you who works at derby playhouse is that you is that you uh message from trisha morning john i was just going to get some of the flower jerseys try my elna 680 sold out Oh, I've got two other flags. Have I? No, um, no, no, they're not jerseys. That's right. Um, oh, I'm sorry. So no, no, there's no more on the on the website. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, two ninety nine. This is five way split pay. I'm sure there's something else I normally tell you about this. Dulcie, you know my friend Dulcie. She was uh, just about to start a film, and she was going to buy about five of these from me. yeah 299 pounds i would love one i would absolutely love one. it's never been on five-way split pay before oh what was that <laughs> made a rather loud noise isn't it right let me carry on then let me just carry on only got a couple of minutes left i'm ever so sorry about the book we did ask in the meeting last night they're in the studio we've got them they're just not checked in yet but we did ask yesterday in our meeting yesterday and we were told they were here and that the video was here and i've got neither to show you i advise you not to move the iron around while it's hot i'm just doing it for televisual purposes right now i've got some viscoses and i've got oh hang on no no that's not a jersey either and a chambray right let's which one do you want to do first two viscoses which one first white one i know how different these look they're the same print but i'll show i'll show you them both together it's got a stretch it's got some elastane in it. oh yeah there you go viscose elastane it's got some stretch in it uh please can you show the ecru viscose elastane as i've already purchased is that this oh that's this no no the ecru's coming up in a minute the ec oh what's this one called then because this is ecru and they call that taupe this is ecru so there you go it's got a lovely stretch to it floral printed viscose elastane fabric 
I'm just going to show you them both together. There you go. Same fabric, just coloured in different. It makes it look completely different, doesn't it? Anyway, it's £5.49 for half a metre. John, you do look like an expert on that overlocker. Do, do you know what? Who said that? Uh, Anne. I, I, for years and years and years, I love an overlocker. And I want that one. I'm definitely going to buy that one. Hannah's still got my old one. So, um, uh, do you, uh, the air threader is the best overlocker ever. That's not me saying that. I agree, but I can't say that. But Michelle can. An overlocker is great to use before you even start your garment. Overlock the cut ends on your fabric before you pre-wash. Saves all those threaded tangles. Exactly it does, Jan. And good morning. She's got up. John is in sewing action. That's good to see. Glad you're sounding a bit better today. But your gravelly voice is very sexy, says Sandy. Oh, yeah, she wants... Laurie is Illinois. And she did move here for love. Married a lovely man from Suffolk. If I could do it all again, I would. Ah, oh, you see, I, I say, oh, I'd change so much of mine, but I don't think I would. Well, no, I would. Oh, no, I wouldn't move for love. It's too late now, anyway. Yeah. Here you go, it's the other one. Now, they've called this one Taupe. Personally, I'd call it Ecru, but this one's the one they're called Taupe. Yeah, you're only 26. Cats go, no, I wouldn't change a thing. It's because you've had it so easy living at your mum and dad's, now living in with your boyfriend. No hardships. She has a takeaway every night. She's got a cat. She's got Tibetan um, prayer flags. What more could she want? I've made lots of the cocoa top all with an overlocker. What's the cocoa top, though? Yeah. Okay, I've got two more fabrics. I've got time? Yeah, then we'll get Jane in. Right, so I've got this one next. This is lovely. Now, it feels like it's got a tiny bit of stretch in this one. Now, you see, it says it's 100% viscose. Oh, there you go. So it's not... Oh, hang on. Green perla bouquets. 100%. No, it's not cotton. It's viscose. It's viscose lawn. But it does feel like it's got a bit of a stretch in it, doesn't it? Look. Anyway, this will be lovely because you'll breathe. Not you'll breathe. It will breathe with you. I love that colourway. Okay, and then last fabric for this ad before Jane comes out. This always sells well, this one. It's called four ounce denim cotton. It's chambray, basically. It's not four ounce denim at all, this. Wendy, how is your young lady you're giving training to for exam getting on? Working from taste away, but have you on the background from Wendy. Wendy, she's handed it in. Had to all be handed in before the Easter holidays. She bought me a nice plant. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. She bought me a lovely plant to say thank you. But um, I don't know. We have to wait and see now. Question from Julie. Morning, John. Does the sea mine have a self-clean function? I live in a very hard water area. Glad the voice is returning from Julie Lester. Right, what Gary said is if you live in a hard water region, don't put your tap water in it. Put um, distilled water in it. Get it from the chemist or... Yeah, boil it though, but if you boil a kettle, you have, to, it's what, you have to drip it off a mirror into a bowl, don't you? Isn't that distilled water? I think that's what you have to do. But check it, Google it. But don't, if you live in a hard water area, don't put your tap, because he lives in Essex, where the water and the blokes are hard, right? Uh, that's what he said, not me. Um, it doesn't have a self-clean feature on it, no. No, it doesn't have that. Now, uh, the only thing is, right, when I was on a bond, the first Bond film, there was a boy called Lee in charge of all the, because we used to have urns of hot water all around the studio so you can make yourself a drink and everything. He used to fill it with bottles like, Evian and all those different makes of water, not just Evian. And it gave a white scum on the top of the thing. So I don't know if you could put that. Is that what you're asking? Oh, if you've got a Brita filter, could you put that in? Well, that's not distilled, though, is it? It doesn't take out the hardness. It just takes out the... Got a message from Tim. Uh, I'm not Tim from Derby Theatre, but we have met before. Remember you talked to... Oh, yes! Oh, it's, isn't it you talked... Isn't it you toxiter? Isn't it you toxiter thingy this week? 
Isn't it this week that you talked to Quilt Show? I think it is. Uh, it, he made all of his bunting on his overlocker. There you go. Right, the book launch is going to 10 o'clock now. Which all of our gadgets, which is as well, because I haven't even seen the ruler yet either. So I might not do the ruler today. Depends how we get on. Oh, I can't do that. After the break, Kat said I've got to go like this. It's Jane Greenoff. Oh, I did it. I did it. She'll be out here after the break looking resplendent. She's already punched me once because I called her the Dowager Duchess of Cross Stitch this morning. She didn't like that. And she hasn't got pink hair. I'll see you in four. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the program guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven, full of friendly, warm hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey. So you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, 
You never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine and it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques, I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Okay, so um, Kat has to count counters in the same as Bruce. So Bruce's in here, counts in, right? So Bruce is going 10, then Kat goes 10, and then he goes 9, she goes 9. So he goes 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8. Anyway, uh, before we say hello to Jane, who's looking flipping gorgeous today, uh, this book on pre-order, they have been checked in, it's on pre-order now. Um, we will be doing a proper launch of it in the next hour, but I just want to say, because lots and lots of people have been waiting for it, it is on pre-order right now. You can go to underneath, watch live, underneath on pre-order, it's there. Now, didn't we? Oh no, we went straight on, didn't we? We didn't show you to get into it. Anyway, it doesn't matter because Jane's here now. How gorgeous do you look, woman? You are an old smoothie. Uh, no, I said to her this morning when I was in the car park and I said, you look good. She said, oh, you're a smoothie. And I said, no, because if I thought you looked fat, I'd tell you, wouldn't I? That's what we, <laughs> that's what we do, isn't it, Jane? Just we talk do. about that. We do. We uh, do. She says the same to me. She calls me an old... Oh. Oh, no, I didn't she say doesn't that. call me out. You didn't I hear didn't that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. <laughs> How are you? All right, thank you. And you're why well. do you look so well? Uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's a lovely length. It's growing. Yeah, it's, it's growing. a lovely length. Yes. The picture you showed of me earlier yeah. was how long it could be before. Right. And I used to blame my daughter and say it was all her fault. Because? Because, well, she was a whoopsie daisy baby and quite a handful. Oh, and okay. still is yeah. at 35. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, when, when the cross stitch girl moved across to Andrea and I didn't have to do it all anymore, my hair started growing. So I have to apologise to her monthly. Oh. I say it wasn't my daughter's fault at all. Oh. It was obviously the stress of running, you know, the, a business from yeah. home. You're looking good. Now, you're wondering why we turned the other way around this time. It's so that Jane can show the goodies and I can show things on the overhead this side. Now, we have got some gorgeous, yes. brand new, yes. brand new, brand new projects, haven't we? Which one do you want to start with, Kat? There's the gathering. Yes, this is, um, this picture you can see on the Oh screen. yeah, here you go. Oh, hang on, let's have a look at it. Oh, yes, no, the finished yeah. thing, please, please, sorry. You'll see it in a, in a mo. Anyway, this... Hang on, we'll just get the picture for you. I can tell you a story of Go it, on anyway. then, start telling us a story of it. Don't please finish the picture. So, the cross, there it is, the, there it is. the cross Stitch Guild has access to a collection of samplers um, that are um, from El scholars of the Ackworth School. Uh, now, Ackworth School is near Pontefract in Yorkshire. Yeah. And it was a, it is a Quaker school. Just had its 240th anniversary. Oh. So it's been around a long time. And they have this extraordinary collection of samplers. This is an inspired by one. It's not a copy of one, but it's a mixture of all the um, very famous medallions uh -huh. that they used and you can work it on linen or on Ada fabric. Okay what we got in at the moment we've got, got the Ada in at the moment. Oh, got yeah there you go. The Ada, yeah in the kit sorry yes. That's right. Yes and I'm going to talk about the difference between the two fabrics in a minute. The right. one the worked one is worked on linen it's actually 32 count right. linen. So Which if, means if I'm new to it what does that mean? Uh, that means that you're going to work it over two fabric threads so there's going to be 16 stitches to the inch. Right. So if you think that's a bit fine for you, it, it's not fine, but if you're not used to working on linen, you might prefer the Ada version. Okay, right. Because with the Ada version, you just work over the boxes. I'm going to show you that later. Brilliant. So these are taken from, it's a, a Quaker alphabet, uh -huh. taken from a former scholar who did it in 1784. Oh. 
and um, I got my husband to help me chart that one quite complicated yeah. to get it to look like that you know and um, and then it's various medallion shapes is that what they, they are around the edge it's med are they the medallions med yes or half medallions yeah, yeah. yes oh, so the ones that go around the edge are half, half medallions and you've got right, big yes. medallions in the and middle and it's 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 interesting because nobody really knows the origin of these although they appear in Quaker samplers from other parts of the country other than just Yorkshire oh, okay um, so it is something that is um, not quite understood from whence they came, but very distinctive. Yes. Very distinctive shapes. Um, and of course, the, the joy of these samplers are that there's no backstitch. Okay. Lots of you I know don't want to do backstitch okay. for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, and so this is pure cross stitch, and there aren't many colours either. So. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take you around the kit now. Which one, I'll show you which one we got in at the moment. Ada, right, I'm just going to turn it over, I'm showing you on the upstairs camera, because inside the packet you get your Ada, you get your threads that have been pre-sorted onto the cards for Absolutely. you. There's, well, there's a, what we're saying is lots of thread, but not many colours. Not many colours, yeah. that's you right. You get your needle, in fact, can I, am I allowed to open no, this please one? please do, yeah, yeah, please yeah. do. Get in amongst it, oh, and then no. we can show you the chart. <laughs> you know the rule about yeah. that, pair of scissors. We always refer to these glue Use your general purposes glued down with purpose. elephant's bit. Yeah. What what it this this is really historical because in the days when our uh, cross stitch girl kits were in department stores and shops etc. Uh huh. Um, we used to have things stolen from them when they were on the hooks. The oh the hooks. yes. So these are in chart packs and okay. they're not easy to get out of. No. <laughs> right, quick message you Carrie. Morning John and Jane, absolutely love this sampler. Hi. It might have to end up in my collection. Be quick Kerry, because they're flying out. Right. So there's your different. Now you can see there's not many colours, but you get an awful lot of all beautiful, yeah, lots beautiful, of beautiful tones. Takes lots of thread. Can you see those? Let me put something cream behind so you can see it better. There you go. Oh, look at They're those. They're lovely threads. They're lovely threads. So it's worked with two strands. Right. And and all of those are six strands in in each bundle. Yeah. So you split it down. I'll show you that yeah, again. Yeah, brilliant. Then you get your, in this one, you get your Ada, you get your gold needle. Then you get... Yeah, these amazing charts. Brilliant, brilliant charts. Do you want me that upstairs? Oh, no, there you go. It's perfect upstairs. There's your chart. Isn't it fab? But then what else do you get in here? Oh, that's the other half of the chart. There you are. The other half of the chart. So you've got full-on medallions down the middle and then half medallions all the way around the outside. You've got big alphabet, little alphabet numbers, but then you've got love hearts, flowers. Yes, isn't it fun? Beautiful peacocks down here. Crowns, right? And then that's your coloured chart, isn't yes. it? But and then if you want to do black and white. Well, black and well white. you know, it's, it, it's a funny thing because um, when publishers publish cross-stitch books, they almost always have coloured charts in them. Right. Um, because, of course, if you flip through a book, it looks full of colour and interest, yeah. doesn't it? Whereas as a stitcher, often they prefer the black and white ones. And, of course, if you wanted to, you can cut... I mean, I certainly do this. I have a sharp pencil, actually behind my ear sometimes. Yeah. And, and I colour in where I've stitched. Oh, OK. So well, no, they're sensible, yeah. I was actually once um, admonished at Liberty of London. Oh, yes. Because I was sitting in the needlework department demonstrating and I had a pencil behind my ear because I was colouring yeah. in. And the floor manager came and said, Mrs. Greenoff, you're not a carpenter. Oh. You're in Liberty now. Oh. We so are going I... back to Victorian times, <laughs> though, aren't we? Right, so when I get this... <laughs> right, let me just explain. So that's your Ada fabric there. It also comes on linen. Now, the linen is slightly darker. Your finished thing will look exactly the same. The apart size, from, yes. The yeah. size will be the same. Apart yes. from, you see, this is your Ada. Difference. And yeah. that's your linen in there. I'm not going to open the linen one, because everything else is the same, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. And the finished sample that you've got there is on this linen. This one is actually worked on linen. So to make them the same size, this Ada, you which take I'm going to grab. I know, that's fine, grab away. This is actually, this is 16 count Ada, and it's a very good colour look. It's a nice... Oh, no, it's beautiful. It's an antique. We thought the cream linen, which is commonly um, an alternative, was a bit too crisp and clean looking for something that's meant to look antique. Hold, yeah. So, so you see, it's very, very attractive. Can you just explain for people who don't know about cross stitch what, what, because people go, oh, I've never done it before, should I buy the Ada? And you always go, well, I learnt on linen. Just tell us the difference. Yes, you see, I, I, I was taught on a piece of linen and I didn't know uh, anything about it, really. I didn't understand. 
I didn't understand how I was going to get the stitching from the picture to the letter yeah. in the fabric. So when when they make age of fabric, which is now about 130 years old, it's not not modern. So it's not like it wasn't made when you were doing it. <laughs> you are going to get into trouble. Yes, today. that's fine. I'm feeling okay. better today. Yes, he's cruising for a bruising. I think you say. Anyway, so so when they weave it, um, instead of an individual thread in each direction, you have groups of four. Yeah. So when you look at the fabric, there's a very obvious hole in the corners. And so you're just going to cover the stitches. Now, when we get them in, I'm going to swap places with John yep. where the overhead camera is. And I'll show you the difference on the fabric. Um, you can come in next to me if you want. When, shall I come there? Yeah, if you don't mind. I'll come next um, to you. I just need to tell you, this is the only thing this hour that we've got that's on both. Every, normally we go, everything is on Ada ev uh, or linen. This is the only project this hour that comes on Ada, isn't it? All that's the fine. others. Yes, yes. Yeah, all the others yes, are on yes. linen in this hour. In this yes. hour. We've got the choice in the next yes. hour again, haven't yes. we? Right, come on over, come on I'll over. I'll slide over here, look. And then we're going to work out where the camera is. Right, I, I can tell you. See this white spot, white mark here? I stand there. You stand there and you put it right in front of you. Look at that, look. I've got a spot to show you. Main graphic is linen, side graphic is Let Ada. Let me swap that round. Both then. the same price, both all the threads and the needles and there everything are. are the same. There you go. Slightly different colours yeah. here, just to show you. So this is the Ada material. Right. Now if we can get really, really close to this in a second, I just take my gold needle out. You see, Kirsty says she prefers the black and white charts with symbols. She finds them much easier yes. to follow than the yes. colours. Uh, I think this is quite common. Uh, and some people, of course, have colour blindness, so some colours are difficult to manage. OK, and Michelle met the lovely Jane. Who's that? There's lots of Michelle. Yeah, lots of lovely Jane. No lovely Janes, I was talking about. <laughs> uh, in London, bought some of the lovely magnets, on which uh, I'm going back to South Africa next week, taking Oh, over. this must have been, we were at the Islington Oh, uh, yes, yes, yeah. Because, of course, with, with COVID, we've not been able yeah, to do very yeah. much. Right. So on. this is the age of fabric that that is with the boxes quite clearly. And if you work the cross stitch on here. I'm just gonna move you, you over that way just yeah. a tiny bit. There you go, there you go. There you, there you go. go. So there's the linen. Now this is individually woven. Uh huh. And so you work the crosses over two. June uh, says two she thread. loves us together. You can feel the love. She's often feeling my love, Jane. How <laughs> <laughs> did you? Right, Honestly, are you going? I'm, yes, I'm, li I'm leaving you now. Right then, so yes, so if you've never stitched before, by that I mean counting from a chart. Go, go away. <laughs> Can I have a chart, please? Uh, Thank you. <laughs> what do you want? Here you go, here you go. Here Thank go. you. Wretched boy. Wretched boy. Here we are. So I'm holding up a chart here for you to look at. Right. All right. Yeah. So um, when Kat you... will bring the camera around to you now. Oh, splendid. So when you're working a piece like this, what I suggest you do is start from the middle of the chart and the middle of the fabric. Because this is not necessarily the same size as the stitching. And also, don't forget you've got the bottom. Would you stick? Oh no, on that one you've got the whole thing. No, you, you, you the middle is about here. Yeah. The middle is about here. Right. Uh, but you just lie them together and count them. Yeah. Uh, and then thread your needle with the colour nearest and with your fabric folded in half. Now, all the instructions, and I mean, in, the, um, in, the, in all the kits from the Guild, there is a set of what we call our counted thread instructions. These are done specifically, here we are. You've got I'll them, get, not here. I'll get you to hold that one under yeah. the doings. We're learning with the new cameras and things, so exactly. bear with us. Oh, right. There you go. So this is in all our packs because this is not, it's not what I say to be the right way to do it. Yeah. There, there is no right way. This is years and years, 30 years yeah. of stitching. And the tips and hints, I think, are most useful. Uh, my way of doing it. So there will be people who say it isn't the right way. Uh -huh. But anyway, this, if you read this before you start, you cannot go wrong. And bear in mind as well that there is a, a free, um, what's the word I'm searching for? Website. Source, source yeah. of information on the Cross Stitch Guild website. If you go to Stitch Basics, which is on the home page, there's actually video of for you who've never stitched. Yeah. You've got yours truly showing you how Brilliant. to do it. Oh, so not only you get the drawings on here, no, you, you get want to me. see it physically. If you want to see a video, you'll just go on the site and just have, hunt down Stitch Basics. It's on the home page. You can't miss it. 
You don't have to buy anything. You know, it's yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. Free, there for... Because um, on here, you've got backstitch. You just said you don't need backstitch on this project, but you've but always you, got that as a reference. It, yes, that's right. That's Brilliant. right. Um, Kat, how many did you say I've got? There's only 13 of the linen left and 16 of the Ada left, and that's it. And loads, hang on, loads of people got it in their baskets. So this is um, inspired by Ackworth samplers, Quaker patterns. They worked them on linen. We visited Ackworth School as the Guild um, because the governors kindly gave us permission to look at the embroideries. And we had a weekend event there some years ago now where ladies stitched and they got the samplers done by the children out and they would have been a quarter of the size of this. No. They worked them over one fine thread. Some oh. of them working on 50 count material. Yeah. Now, I mean, I can see 50 counts. I wouldn't choose to do it for a long time, I yeah. have to say. Um, and I mean, these beautiful little pieces of embroidery. And what was really strange about it was the school had no idea of their value. Wow. And I don't know exactly how the, it all started, but a lovely lady called Mrs. Holdsworth and others got together and persuaded the school that they were valuable because they're hanging up in the corridors on a hook. Oh, just hooked up? Hooked up oh, wow. um, in the school refectory. Now they're under lock and key in a special case so that they are protected. Because they, you can pay £8,000 for an Ackworth sampler. Right, there's only you nine know, so linen left now. Precious. They're very oh, precious. Oh, right, I'm important. Sorry to interrupt, yes. Jane. Nine linen left, but eight in baskets. So if you've got it in your basket and you definitely want it, please check out. Please, please, please check out. Um, now I was going to ask a really, I'm so fascinated by listening to, no, no, not you. I was listening to Jane and I lost my, my question lost completely. Lost your thread. But it doesn't lost matter. Thread, yeah. um, no, what I was going to say was, you said you could sew on 50 square. Yes. Do you think it's muscle memory? Because when I thread up my sewing machine, yes. I can't see the needle, but I can thread it. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And I, I don't exactly know what, what it is. Like yesterday I was threading up the machine that I've been using this morning out there. And I literally just said, like that and it was in and yeah yes. i can't see the needle let alone the needle hole no. but something about, about getting it. it in isn't it there's certainly something i mean i because i'm now of a certain age yeah. i've been wearing very very focals for a little while now um when i was at school i insisted i couldn't see the blackboard and the school secretary said other girls in the class had had glasses and i was just making attention oh yeah wanted glasses and then my father asked me to read the football scores for the pools I yeah. said, I can't see the television, Dad. Oh, my word. So then I was whisked off to yeah, it, and yeah, sure yeah. enough, couldn't see the bus. Yeah. <laughs> but but I could see close to really clearly. Yeah. Um, as I've aged, that, of course, well, has Well, it's because it goes like that, doesn't it? It crosses over. Absolutely. So uh, over the weekend, we had a weekend with ladies recently. We had um, uh, 52 ladies uh, at a cross stitch year weekend. Oh, I think... Um I think I know one of the ladies that was there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And and we had a guest called Nicola Parkman there who stitches on fifty seven count as a as a but Normal. I sat and did it. Oh okay. I could do it. My problem now is that then I don't accommodate. I could be burgled. Oh, because, right. Do you know what I mean? It takes yeah, me yeah. ten minutes for my eyes to go back. So when I'm stitching fine I use a magnifier yeah. now. Okay. But you know, it's yeah. no problem, is it? And you got you got native lighting lamps as well, haven't you? I've noticed yes, I have. on your Instagram, yes. yeah. Okay, right. There are only seven of the linen left, but how many in baskets? Oh, it's gone. Eight in baskets. So if you all want one, one of you is going to miss out. And on Ada, so I had more Adas to start with. Oh, still 13 left of the Ada, but how many in baskets? Oh, just three in baskets. Right. Now that's unusual, isn't it? Because that's interesting that it's the, I suppose because it's an antique idea, yeah. if you want to emulate what the children did, yeah. Uh, I also think it's supposed to be hobby and fun. Yeah. And don't struggle. Yeah. You know, if you find it's going to be beastly to see. And also, it's not a competition. No. So if you've got a you prefer Ada, buy Ada. If you prefer linen, there's, there's nothing yeah. like, there, there'll be nobody coming to your house going, oh, you did it on Ada. There's no, there's, but there's not, is there? No, of course not. It's, absolutely it's, a, not. it's for you there's to enjoy wrong. it today. I mean, Ada is an absolutely brilliant, um, in some ways, it's, it's, it's ideal for things that are geometric and symmetrical because because it's woven in such a way that the, st the fabric makes square stitches, it's actually <coughs> particularly good for casual <coughs> embroidery. Yes. <coughs> right, okay, right. I've got now the Art Nouveau Trio. Oh, now I forgot to tell you, that last one was completely not exclusive to us, isn't it? Yes. You can't buy it anywhere else. Nope. Can't buy it anywhere else. 
Right, as is this one. So this one, you get one of those, you get one of those, and you get one of those. Now these are just on linen. Yes. But look at the colours in there. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Again, you'll, let's just see what it says on the front here. And I've got them in front of me. You've got, oh, you've got them in front of you. Now you have to hold yours up on your side because yes, you haven't got I an will. overhead. Right. Designed by Jane Greenoff of the Cross Stitch Guild. Uh, inspired by an ornamental style of Art Nouveau illustrations from 1890 to 1910. You have a Biscor new pin cushion, a scissor poppet and a Wapo scissor keeper. Uh, they're on Cashel 28 count linen. And uh, the kit includes colour and black and white computer generated charts, illustrated instruction, pure unbleached linen, wrapped needle, beading needle, seed beads, shell buttons, pre-sorted threads, soft cotton wadding, linen fabric and scissors. For, for £24.99. I know. How can you be making any profit at all? It's not my department anymore. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm so, going to open this one. You, you yeah, talk do. about what, the, what you've got there. So I've got here, um, let me just, I think I'll start with a bisque or new. Okay. Yeah. Cat's just coming so around this to, is, to show you. This is a, um, basically two squares. Right. If, you, if I hold it sideways for you. Yeah. Can you, you put it on the big telly so Jane can see it on the big telly? Oh, so no, no, there you go. That's so that's perfect. what they're saying, yeah. So basically what you're going to do is work two identical squares and then they're joined together so that the point of one square is on the side of the other and they're two. This one has beads on the top, which is here. You can just see, I think. Right. See those little tiny beads? Uh-huh. So that's the pin cushion. Now, I, I like these well stuffed, <laughs> <laughs> as they say. Um, so... You can make this without the button in the middle. Uh, it's certainly something to remember if you're designing these is not to put um, too much of the design in the centre because it's going to oh, be covered. Oh, no, you've had the button, yeah. Yeah, yes. So that's well stuffed, look. Lovely. All made by hand. This is the little Watt bow, which is oh. my favourite little... Keep it, keep it close to the desk, Jane. And then that. That's it, perfect. So it's the three-sided. And what flowers have you got on there? Is it three different flowers? Just three little flowers ta oh. taken from the design, really. Uh, very easy to make. It's three little squares that you're going to stitch. And then it shows you in the pack how to put it together with a little yeah. pair of scissors. There's only 16 and left once you've all checked out on this one now. And there you are. Look, there's the little poppet to keep your scissors I've in. never heard it called a poppet before. Yeah, it's sweet, isn't, isn't it? it? Nice idea. Right, OK, so just talk to me. So there's what stitchings are on there, then? So cross-stitch on here. Yeah. You make the um, twisted cord with threads from your pack. Right. Um, that's very simple to make. You need, and it, there are instructions, obviously, in the packet. This one, let me just check, is all cross-stitch on there. And apart from... Oh, if we look here... Oh, you have to point it towards cat. There we yeah. go. Perfect. There are some little... Um, bullion knots. The what? Bullion knots. Okay. If I turn it right, you can see them there, little yellow ones. Can you see? And some there, look. Oh dear, now June says we need a four hour show together. <laughs> yes, uh, we do. Uh, I agree. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Georgie says, I'm in absolute stitches. You've made my day. I don't know what I've done. Well, good, doesn't matter, Oh, does I don't it? know, but then Cheeky, it Claire says you're cheeky. You make me laugh. Give him a thump, Jane. <laughs> well, what message? What? Hi, everyone. What type of threads are in the kits, please, from Valerie in London? It's Madeira. They're Madeira. They're Madeira. Sorry, I'm That's over right. here. No, 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 it's fine. It's Madeira thread. And well, you split it. And you split it, yes. So all of this stitching is worked in two strands. And I'll show you how to split them in a second. Yeah, perfect. When, when you're... When yeah, the can I show you what comes in the kit then from the upstairs camera? Because you get lots in this. For your twenty four ninety nine. you get your wadding. You get... What's this silky fit for? Is that the inside of the poppet? Yes. Uh, then you get your linen. You yes. can come over. Then you get your scissors. You get your uh, wrap needle there. There's another needle in there. You get seed beads. Now, buttons and seed beads may vary. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Because these are all um, shell buttons. Right. My, my daughter, oh, she, oh, I once said something about having shell buttons on something. She still teases me about oh. it. That and the word scullery causes havoc. Oh, I love house. that word, so scullery. My nan had scullery. But you need two buttons. And actually, when you, when you join these together, 
when you join these together, there you go. I put nice strong thread there. Yeah. I might even use button thread so you get a nice stuffed cushion. Brilliant. Yes. Right. Okay. Tell me why some of them are on a card and then I've got this one. Yes. Completely so separate. That's for your twisted cord. Right. So it's a bit longer. The all of these are eighty centimeters long. Right. Which is because I fold one in half. That's the length I use for right. my cross stitch. Who on earth has to sit and cut them to 80 centimetres? Well, it used to be my husband. A long, long time ago. lost now that he can't do it anymore. He, he does get lost now. It gave him well, an no, excuse no, to watch telly. When he goes walking, telly. he gets lost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's it's, lazy watching. It's, um, yeah, he, oh, he's bound to be watching. Yes, he used to cut... It, you know, all his... We cut them round a board. It's oh, 40 yes. centimetres, right? Yeah. And all his trousers had a worn cut <clears> where <throat> he'd have the board, board. on his knee. Oh... <laughs> What, call a family into and he had a career of his own and everything <laughs> yeah um, a okay, number then, of them but then him. carrying on look so you then get your um instructions look how thorough these are and beautiful all on really good quality paper there's your stitch directory again, again. Yes, absolutely then here are your charts aren't they nice you told did either do these mm, yes oh well actually no oh no these all come from my computer oh this is okay, all this is you this is a pdf from my machine right um and you can see these are all crosses yeah these are where i added some little bullion Bullions, knots, yeah. which are optional obviously yeah and then this shows a few beads added again but you that's can optional. put it wherever you want of can't course you? You can. but look again you get the black and white one as well so you can color in where yeah. you be it's particularly relevant i think when you've got a, a lot of shade changes yeah. now this isn't so, so on the leaves here yeah um it's sometimes easier to see on the, the symbols on the how black do one. you know which oh, hang on i've got a quick question morning john jane i've used jane cd and dvds to make my own patterns it's my stress relief got a facebook group where people follow my progress well done sandra, sandra. Oh. well done how do you know which thread to use well if you go to the this one's the easiest one to look right so if you find the, the symbol Little crosses and the little dashes there. Little are. dashes are there, yes. yes. And then and on, on here, ditto. Right. I mean, you you look for the symbol down there. So you look at so that's eight one two, and then you go to your card, which is, is there, and it should say eight one two. That there. there you are. There you go. And I will show you a little trick. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah. I show I a little trick? I'm like Jane. Start on linen, never look back. I like the feel of the linen in my hand as I stitch. Jane looks glorious. Doesn't she? Thank it's you, helped June. by her standing next to me looking like a gargoyle. <laughs> right. This I is just... only on linen. You, you do your little trick now. You do All right. Trick. So because I'm going to fold my thread in half when I stitch, I can go into here and I can take just one. Now bear with me because I do this quickly at home, but it'll take ten minutes. Yeah, you'll get it wrong on. Yep. On air. So if I just pull one, look. Oh, hang on, just come towards me. There you go, perfect. There we go. Snuggle up, eh? Yeah. So then I will fold that in half, and then I've got a loop on the end for right. the starting. Okay. All right. Which bit you thread through the needle? Two so I'll shove ends. those two. Let me find a needle. She's I'm just off. disappearing again. I'm coming back again. Oh, update, update. Oh, hang on, stop, 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 stop. So the um, the alphabet, the first one we showed you, on linen, three left. But how many in baskets? Two left now. Two left. And ten in baskets. So that's going to go on linen, right? On Ada. 10 of those left on Ada. Then this bundle that we're doing here, Kat's just got to put the graphics in to work it out. Mm -hmm. Say it again. There 27 gone, so that leaves what? 13, oh, three, three, three left. Go on, check out your baskets, three left. So there right. you are. What are you gonna show us then? So I threaded the needle, obviously I didn't spit on it. Yeah, much. much. <laughs> <laughs> There's the loop on the end, all yeah. right? This is just such an easy way of starting. Yeah. I'm on linen here. Right, hang on, let's see where you are. Yeah, you know, no, you're perfect now, you're perfect yeah, now. Like that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Kate Kat says you are perfect, Jane. That's what I am. Bruce perfect. is swearing. Let me just go in there. There you go. Over two threads. Now, yeah. this is a lovely trick if you don't already know it. Yeah. Through the loop on the back. No, Kat, that's the whole point. You don't put a knot on it, you've got your loop. 
So you push it through and then put it through the loop and it knots. It's a self-knotting system at the back. It isn't works it? really well, if I could see. Oh, don't pop my glasses. No, I'll go and find mine in a minute. There you are. So yeah, that's the size of the cross on this fabric. Lovely. All right. That's Obviously, it. you need. What was the other thing you were going to show us? Oh well, that, I, <coughs> I've been asked for colonial and French knots. Okay. Do we do it now have or later? Have we got one of these projects? Have colonial or French knots? No, we'll do in? it later. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. I promise that. Back later. Right, you go back over there then. I'll go I'll put that back there. What project would you like to go on to next? The which one? Oh, message from Kate. I love Jane. I could listen to her all day, and her designs <laughs> and stitching are incredible. You both look fabulous today. That's from Kate. Well done, Kate. Thank you. Mel, message from Louise. Morning, John and Jane. Yesterday, I found one of my cross stitch projects that I made over 30 years ago. Go on then. Never had it mounted, and I'm loving the show today from Louise in Leicester. Oh, thank you, Louise. Oh, another message. There we are. Started Jane's heavenly hard anger. I'm addicted, but haven't cut any threads yet. Fingers crossed. Just read the instructions really carefully. Yeah. Uh, good light, not tired sharp pointy scissors and just follow my instructions and if you start in a corner hole when you first do a cut then you'll be fine i'll show you pictures in the second hour yeah we've got the book and there's not many of jane's books left by the way right we're moving to this now right <coughs> you don't get the frame obviously this exquisite now this is not brand new today but it's only been on once before so a lot of you won't have seen this it's beautiful isn't it Last year I did it. Last year. Yes. Exactly. Yes. 30th of April last year. You haven't seen this since. It's beautiful. Now, Henry VIII's wife, the one that came from Spain, she did... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't planned. Nope. She did black work on all his cuffs. She came over to marry... Now, hang on. She came over to marry his brother and he went... I'm marrying her. Which one is it? it? Must be Catherine of Aragon. Was this it? is actually Jane Seymour's cuff. Oh, and this is Jane Seymour's it, cuff. Uh, it happens, but that wasn't. Yeah, you know. but yeah. It's just incredible, isn't it? So it's been around all the time, right? So what you get in your kit is this, right? It's on linen, on white linen, or just off white linen. Yes, yes. That one. But look at the threads. You don't need these on a card because you've only got like black, grey, and gold. Yes, that's right. That's right. Needle charts. Beautiful, isn't it? Twenty-two, ninety-nine. The detail is incredible. Right, look at that. From the, get three colours and you get all that beautiful detailing. Tell me, where's this? What is it? Right, this is the Black Work House. Obviously worked on hard angle. Oh, sorry, that's worked true. on hard angle. Worked Not on linen. Hard, yeah. Sorry, brain into gear, Jim. Yeah. And it's done in a combination of back stitch and um, Holbein stitch. Oh, uh, and Holbein stitch. I'm going to go over and cuddle up to come, John. Come, yeah, come over. I'm I know to, what Holbein stitch is. I'm going to come and cuddle up okay, to John. Okay, that's fine. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, Let's get, let get just... level up with your white thing on the table. Now it's a compromise um, because this is running stitch. Right. Hang on, just getting Bruce right. come in. All right, the upstairs. Okay, it's not Bruce's fault. It's the upstairs. There you go. There you go. There we go. So this is just a running stitch. Now Holbein stitch, and it was called Holbein because. Hans Holbein the Younger uh, did the paintings that the I The miniature made, paintings. The, the paintings. Mm. These paintings, in fact. Oh, okay. This painting. Oh, that's from a painting? That's from a painting. Wow. And this was Anne, and Anne Seymour's cuff. Uh, so it's Tudor period. Yeah. And the idea was to imitate lace. Right. So the cuff would have looked similar or the same both sides. Right. Now, as this is, is a... Oh, yes, because you couldn't have a cuff, because you are going to see both sides. If you Absolutely. put your arm up like that, you don't see all the loose threads that think come out the back. Now, again, I'm doing this in two strands, which you probably wouldn't be. Oh, right. Well, what would you do them in? Well, most of that is... The, most of the whole bind is done yeah, in one. Yeah, please don't put your needle in your mouth oh, at home. Oh, you never do that. No. It's a disgusting habit and extremely and it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Certainly not having a conversation at the same time. No, on live telly. On live telly. <laughs> having got up at four o'clock in the morning. What can I tell you? Yeah. It's a funny way to earn a living, is well. what you say. <laughs> anyway, so to do Holbein stitch, what I'm going right, to do... Hang on a sec. Let me yeah. get it in. Right, you so stay. If you, can you stay I there? Stay there. Is that all right for you, Bruce? Sorry, Bruce. He's just coming in now. 
Right, just move to your left. And in, in, in there, perfect. If you can stay there, that'd be brilliant. I'll try and stay there. So to do a Holbein stitch, you're going to do running stitches. And then you go back. Oh dear, oh dear. What's the matter? Nothing, it'll be fine. And fill in the gaps. So you go a running stitch one way. And then a running stitch the, the other, other way, but coming up where you where the holes were from before. Do you see? Yes. Yeah. So the, the theory is back you see if you do back stitch, yeah. it doesn't look the same on the back. <laughs> yeah. You're having trouble upstairs. No, it's in here. It's cat in here. Yeah, so if you do back stitch it doesn't look the same. So that's so if you were working something where you are going to see the back and the front, yeah. or if you're very particular, you'd want to do it in Holbein. Right. So these areas here, here. Yeah, these areas here on, are go. done in Holbein. Right. So you can't see any of the back. But we're not going to see the back. Ex and that's the point I'm coming to now. Oh, is the is that if you want to well, firstly, when you're doing Holbein stitch, you will sometimes go up a blind alley and not be able to do the stitch. You have to come back. Yeah. So it's a combination of Holbein and back stitch. Right. But the fact this is going to be framed and mounted means you can get away with anything yeah. you like, it really. Yeah. Obviously, some of these are crosses and Algerian eyes. There are other stitches on here. Uh, plus some gold metallic. And when you work, I mean, all of us loathe gold metallic. Right? Why? It's quite difficult to do counted embroidery oh, with a modern it? gold thread. Um, they do tend to split, the gold comes off, or they snag. Good advert, good sale, good sale this. But, <laughs> yeah. but the trick, yeah. so that it's perfect, is that you use shorter lengths of gold than you would if it, the, the, if it was stranded yeah, yeah, cotton. Yeah, 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 so you're not pulling it you're up not, and down through the fabric as exactly, often. Yeah. Exactly, and then cut it off and start with a new piece, and there's yeah. plenty in the pack for yeah. you to do that. Do you have to split the gold or do you no, use it tussies? No, it comes as it is. Oh, okay, so don't Straight try away. splitting it, yeah. So halve the length that you've got in your pack and use that and then get rid of it when it gets a bit grotty. Okay, and what, you mentioned a stitch then, Moroccan. Sorry, say again? A Moroccan star, Moroccan eye, what did you Algeri say? Algeri Al Algeri I'm thinking get it right, John. right. These are Algerian eye here. Okay. Just so they're the a little yeah. pulled stitch. So you make the little holes by pulling. Oh, okay. As I said, all the instructions are in the pack, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you know it should be should be fine. And where's that house then? Uh, that house is in my head. Oh, okay. Of which there are many. Yes, I'm sure there's more. <laughs> not just houses in there. <laughs> it's not dissimilar to my house, that. Is it? No. Oh. Yeah, my house isn't called Black Quirk House Sampler, though. It's lovely, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> And also, if I know you've designed this, but you don't mind if somebody has got this home and has gone, oh, I really don't like that potted shrub That's there. the whole point of counting, really. When you do counted embroidery, the fabric's empty. Yeah. You see, this could make a very nice new home sampler, lose these two, yeah. and just do the writing in here. Yeah. I love it when I see we go to events or we go to uh, the weekend. This weekend we've just done, we have Bring and Brag. Oh yes. On uh, at the weekend, and with that number of people, we had five trestle tables covered in things people had made. Yeah. Oh wow. And lots of them were mine. Not yeah. all, yeah, yeah. by any means. Lots of them were mine, and many of them have been altered, and it makes me smile. Oh no, I think it's lovely if you can make it your own. Make then. it yours, yeah. you know. All right, you go back over there because oh, I good. need to do your needles okay. now. I think that's yours. Thank you. Right, yo. I need, just need to show the needles next. Right, um, I'll need cat for this, I think, Bruce. Oh, no, 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 there you go, I can do it from upstairs. Needles, gold, right, now why have we got gold-plated needles? Because they're much nicer to stitch with. Uh-huh. Um, I've used them now for, getting on for 30 years. Um, I used them the first time in America, when I was given some, and I thought it was a bit exaggerated and rather American. Yeah. And fat discovered how, just how lovely they are and um, had some gold plated in the UK and have never looked back really. Oh, um, is, sorry, Isabel, we'll show more Holbein in the next hour because I just think we might be running out of time in this one. We'll show it again in a minute. Of course, yeah. of course. I'll show you again. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Sorry, I didn't mean to So the it. gold thread is, it, the gold needles, needles. are, um, the co it, the, apparently the coefficient of friction is less, which means they slide through the fabric more beautifully. Right. They don't mark your fabric. You don't turn them black with your perspiration on your fingers. And if I was doing 
uh, French knots or bullion knots, anything involving complicated stitches, I would always use a Okay, so what needle. do I get in here then? Which one's that? Oh, this so is this is our Plu Perfect collection. Okay. And this is the... I'll show you from upstairs. It's a sort of perfect um, combination, really. Yeah. You're going to get a curved needle. Yeah, hang on, now I'm trying to find the right angle. There you go. Get the angle of the angle. Yeah, <laughs> as they say <laotsworlds>. in the Cotswolds. I don't know if I'm getting a good enough shot. Is that, oh, there you go, oh, there you go, yes. there you go. So, so if you, you get a curved needle. The curved needle. Now, that's really useful if you're making up anything that's three-dimensional. Uh-huh. And is that sharp or is that a sharp. blunt one? That's a sharp, sharp one. You've got one sharp needle. Yeah. So that's when you're adding lining to something yeah. like the poppet we did earlier. Yeah. Um, and then the rest are either for hardanger, yeah. the, the larger 22, and all the rest are for cross stitch. Okay, now why don't we have a sharp needle for cross stitch? Well, with cross stitch, what you're attempting to do is part the threads in the fabric, not pierce it. Right. If you have a sharp needle, you can go in through the thread by mistake. It's so it's very like easy. when you do a stretch jersey, when you make yes. a dress, you have a ballpoint needle, so you part exactly the fibres rather than cut exactly. them. Exactly. So there's one sharp there because if you, as I said, if you're adding a lining or felt inside a um, needle book, anything like that, yeah. they're invaluable. So Perfect. you've got one sharp, the rest also, are blunt. Also, you have a caveat about these needles as well, don't you? If you can prove you got it from the Cross Stitch Guild. Yeah, or us, And or the us. gold, oh yeah, yeah obviously, yeah. yes. Or the gold, and the gold comes off, we'll replace them. However, it won't come off, will it? No. Well, I hope not. No. I mean, Sue Hawkins, who I've known for many years, uh, who works canvas work embroidery, um, so she's going through canvas, reckons she can strip a size 22 in six months of constant use. Oh. Because obviously inside the needle is a nickel plated yeah, needle. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we have gold plated. But they're gold plated to two microns, so we have a certificate that comes with each batch. The company that gold plate them for us do all sorts of very sinister things with nuclear submarines too. Oh, well, yeah, we don't and, need to know about that today. And the there. MOD and yeah. all that sort of thing. Um, but when we went to watch one of our needles go through the, the system, yeah. a small sample of each batch is kept so that if I had a problem with a batch, they would be able to go and look at that batch. Oh, and check. I see. So, so, say you've got three or four people going, Jane, the gold's come off these. Absolutely. You can go back to the manufacturer and, they and would, say, They would find yeah. the reason for that. Perfect. But and it never happened. No. Well, actually, it has never happened. But at one point, when we couldn't get needles from John James, yeah. who aren't make the best needles mm -hmm. in the world, and in, your Redditch, opinion. in my opinion, obviously, uh, I did buy some uh, that I think came from the Indian subcontinent. And there was so little nickel on them that they plated badly. Oh, so it wasn't the gold's fault. It was the nickel underneath It was them underneath that the gold was couldn't and sit on. never did it again, obviously. No, exactly. Message from Lynn. Uh, morning, John and Jane. Jane is right, of course. Gold needles are beautiful to sew with. They glide through the fabric from Lynn. I've also got a message here saying, Thank you, I've been doing that cross stitch, that stitch without realising, because I don't like back stitching. So that's your whole bind stitching. Oh, right. Uh, Julie's just tuned in going, wow, Jane looks great. Um, I recently found a cross stitch trade cloth I made at school 66 years ago. That's the other chat. Chan, I didn't know you're that old. Wow. Um, well oh, done. I have another one on the telly. First of all, morning, both lovely show. Don't be afraid to try leaning. Thanks to Jane, Andrea, and the patient new friends at Leicester. I'm slowly mastering it. Is that Anne? That's Is that Anne. Anne that went from Rubery that went on the, on the course? Yes. Yeah. Well done, Anne. She cracked it. Uh, Donna says, ever since I saw Jane do this loop start, I always use it now. So, uh, lots of... Um, what's it, Kat? Yeah, these fly out. Please, please be careful on that. What time is it? All right, all right. Now, we now need to go on to... That's yours. Oh, Which that's one yours. do you want next? The three flowers, please. Right. They're all individual. They're all on linen. Should we do it? Well, I'll show you all three of them to start with. So, we've got Sweet Briar. Does that say Briar? Yes. Violet and poppy right guess which was the most popular on pre-order poppy it is poppies i think are a very popular flower let's do poppy first then. right on, then. so what do we get in there and how do we do it right so this is a bundle of threads this time just instead of a um instead of a swatch because you can't tell the difference yeah. very simply you sort one of the one it tells you in the instructions which bundle to sort. There is a thread card there. Yeah. You oh, so you can do it yourself. You do it yourself. Yeah. Exactly. 
That's what the chart looks like. Right. This is beautiful linen. This comes from Zweigarten Zuitzki yeah. in Germany. Just opposite the Mercedes factory. Oh, yes. So did you buy one of those and one of those? Well, it was interesting because we did have gentlemen on our trip when we went there. And we sent them to go on the little train that goes around the Mercedes factory. Oh, wow. And Bill came back with a little black Mercedes about that oh, big. Not a proper full-on <laughs> size one. Then. Oh. Anyway, this is... Uh, washed unbleached linen right it's 28 threads to the inch mm -hmm. and these um sort of this all started off because i went to an exhibition of pressed and dried flowers oh, okay and i just thought the idea of the little roots showing yeah um and the sort of wonky writing like the biro or pencil yeah, 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 yeah. Exhibit. well it's like edwardian that when i was uh, in my um, teens there was a very popular book called the country diary of an edwardian yes. lady yes 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 and that was all drawings like that and, and exactly. she'd written it i don't know who it was by and i can't remember why i had it but and the, all the writing next to her drawings yes. was like that wasn't it it was in fact, Marks and Spencer did crockery and linen oh, and did all they? sorts of things. Oh, I was a bit too young to be buying crockery. You though. probably weren't buying yeah. crockery. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so that's the poppy. So there's the poppy. Uh, they're lovely to stitch. They're on linen. It's an absolutely brilliant opportunity for you to try linen if you haven't done it. Oh, okay. So it's a good starting Very point. Very good starting point. Well, also for eight ninety nine, if you've never done this project before, all you're laying out eight ninety nine. If you love it, then buy other you're kits. Hooked. If you hate it, you've only spent eight ninety nine. Yes, it, it, and, and you've got a coaster. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> and there will be at least one or possibly two more in the series. Right. As well. You're so right. I've got the frames ready so right. that I can do it again. Brilliant. So that's the poppy. Now, how many say we left, Cat? There's only 12 of those left. Right, I'll just move that. Oh, and 10 of those are in baskets. So there's actually two left if you'll check out. Oh, right, she's moving on to violet now. I've moved on to violet. And the same thing applies. Oh, I love You've those colours. Isn't it smashing? There's Beautiful. the thread card. Yeah. And remember that there's the, the Guild's free phone number is in the packet. Right. So, you know, if disaster strikes and the cat takes the threads or something, yeah. you throw coffee all over it, just give us a ring. Uh, you know the office hours normally yeah and uh if there's an answering machine if if they're not there and they'll bail you out brilliant uh, let me just have a look there are some little knots on here so when we come back at 11 yeah we'll do knots yes you can do knots and redo whole and a bit of whole yeah brilliant. so this is again you see it's very simple the colors are not too difficult to um tell, tell oh apart. no exactly you sort the swatches out tells you in the words how to do it uh-huh Yes, I think you'll find that Beautiful. lovely. And? And then moving on to Sweet Briar. And there's, there's only, oh, hang on, there's only 10 of violet left and 13 in baskets. So if you want the violet, so that must have taken, do we have more poppy then? No, so Sweet Violet's taken over it's the poppy now. now. Yes. Yeah. And there's the Sweet Briar. I love this one. Beautiful. And this one's got a few extra shit. Now remember with counted embroidery, everything's optional. Right. So if you don't want to put sweet bra, you want to put your name. Yeah, you or, nothing. or nothing. Or um, nothing. There's bullion knots on here. Uh -huh. I'll try and get to show you those as well. Yeah, no, no. So we'll 11. do knots of bullion knots and whole bag in the next day. Yeah. So there you are. They're, they're not difficult. Each stitch is counted across two threads. And this is the same count as oh she's off she's disappearing and coming back yeah it's so nice that we can get together oh exactly because all it? those months of shouting across the shouting room, yeah. across the room so there you are the crosses are this size right if they were made just get bruce to come in on that one there you go no, sorry right, bruce. bruce i'm keeping you on your toes he, today uh, but... he needs it <laughs> <laughs> There you oh. are. So this is if it was worked on Ada. So it's not tiny. Yeah. And w the other thing about this is, and I say this and said it a lot at the weekend with ladies who'd not worked on. Um, I say ladies because we were entirely female on this trip. Yeah. It isn't always the case. Um, I, 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 I can't do it any. And I said, well, you can, and you will. I and think I, sometimes though it takes. It's all that's very well saying, going, oh, just count over two threads or thing. Yes. But if they're sitting next to you like this and they see what you mean exactly. by count, I like, because that threw me for ages, because you said, well, you don't count the holes, no. you count the threads. threads. I was like, I don't know what that means. But actually, standing here Which watching you, you do it, actually go over the and threads. And I gave them each a little strip of half crosses yeah. and asked them to go back and cover it. And, they, oh. uh, and that was it. Yeah. You know, they were off. Have you got so, any more courses lined up? 
Um, we have one in Leeds in June. Which will be sold out. No, it oh. is, Jean, Leeds isn't sold out. We have one in Leicester, which is. Right. There's a waiting list for that one. Yeah. And I'm taking 30, 16 ladies to Holland next month. Oh, very nice. And they're doing cross stitch. Oh, wow. Based on oh, uh, Dutch samplers. Right. Of course. Uh, that's why you're going to Holland. That's yeah. why we're going yeah. to Holland. Um, we, we have got a chap called Martin X coming on our boat. Um, which I think may cause a little friction with management. Oh, why? Because he's bringing his entire collection for sale. Ooh. Oh! Oh, your management! You mean you're going to buy them all? I see what you mean. Well, I'm not going to buy them all. I, I suspect Bill. that I'm... A, no, uh, he, he does know. I'll Is be Bill going to be on the trip with you? He's tour manager. I don't go on tours with anyone except him oh. now. When he had cancer about 16 years ago, and I was asked if I'd take a, a trip somewhere. I said, no, I can't, my husband's unwell. And then we just said, right, that's fine. If they want me to come. He comes to? He's tour manager. Well, yeah. The, the, and he, yeah. He, you know, he, he flirts outrageously uh, with all the ladies. Yeah. He'll be listening to this now. Yeah. I'll be in so much trouble when I get home. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's adorable. And we'll have to get him on one day, because he's so, he's one of those men who he walked through the door, and this is going to sound very rude now, but. No, I don't mean the testosterone is flowing out of him, but he's a proper man, he's isn't a man. he? He's definitely a man. But he's like a man with a lovely, sensitive... T Do you know what I mean? He's, yeah. he's, yeah, he's everything, really, isn't he? Absolutely. And then let me get upset now. Like, I'm not even married to him. Anyway, he's adorable. He's absolutely, he's adorable. absolutely gorgeous. And he's got a really lovely, deep voice, like mine. He has got a really deep voice, like yours is usually. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, how long have I got? Oh, not long at all. One more Do thing. I, one more thing, one more thing. Where's this come from, then? I don't know. Here. Oh, well, it's just well, you're on your ball. I didn't know about that. Spring what boats is a keep. £15 on the nose. With right. the scissors. With the uh, what? You see, you'd pay £14.99 for those well, scissors. I'm going to say. <laughs> so, what do you get in here and what is it then? So, this is a, another what bow shape. All right. Mm -hmm. So, if I get this, so every poor. Poor thing upstairs. There we go. Bruce, he's not upstairs. He's round here. He's round here. Yeah. I'm going to run away in a minute, so no. he can't catch me. <laughs> he doesn't do running. <laughs> so this is a, one of a series of four. I believe that you have seen one of these before on oh, okay. Street. I cannot remember which one. Right. Um, so this was the spring flowers. So you're going to work oh. three little squares next to each other. All, all in one piece. All not in separate. one piece. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, you're going to sort the threads. This is for the twisted for the rope, cord, yeah. and then these are easy to sort. Yeah. You've got a card in there. You've got the scissors, and you're going to make it, and it's lovely. And what have you put inside yours? That's polyester wadding. Polyester. That's Sometimes what? I put dry dry in. Right. Um, because if I want it as a weight over the yes, arm of the yeah, chair, yeah, yeah, you know, it's stopping disappearing. Oh yeah, yeah there's no weight in. There's no weight in these. Right. Um, so that's it, really. Fifteen pounds, brilliant. Have I got any more messages? Uh, Patricia's just got back into cross stitch after many years. Julie's not a cross stitcher, but she's just made Jane's scissor keeper and Bisco Bisco new, and the instructions are so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A few you. messages thank before you. we go, and then we'll be off. Uh, morning, both. Bought the stitch book and hard hanger book, and a couple of guild projects for my sister's birthday. She was over the moon. I bet she was. Thank you, Christine. Well done. They're coming up in the next hour. We were going to do them here, but they're very limited, the books. If you're on pre-order, you want them. Uh, question from Helen. Uh, can you use the gold needles for embroidery? The sharp needle in the box, you can. If you're doing embroidery on linen that hasn't got the holes in, oh, you want sharps. sharps. Right. And I don't make sharps. No. I don't have sharps made, other than yeah, the Apart one. from in there. Apart from, so, and now, so that's... A, even though we class cross-stitch as embroidery. It's counted. It's counted and it because of the fabric you're doing it on. That's so right. can you do cross-stitch on like denim? You can do it with using waste canvas. Right. And then you'd need a sharp. Okay, so any any fabric that you need to pierce, yes, you, you need, need to do sharp. it with a sharp. Any fabric that's got the counted threads, you, you don't need You want need a blunt or ballpoint, yes, Brilliant. absolutely. Excellent. Is there one more? Any oh, two more, more two any more. more. Any more, any more, any more. Lovely to see you both today. My daughter and I are booked for the Leeds weekend. Oh, Leanne. Who's that right. from? Leanne? Yeah. Right, we'll see you there soon. Yeah, lovely. Well, it'll be Leeds is lovely as well. Edge. Beautiful. And the last one, a workshop with Jane is on my bucket list, says June. Right, so June's <laughs> in East Sussex. You need to set one down. Down that down way that somewhere. Way. Down that way somewhere. I have to tell you, for the Leeds weekend, my husband and I will be landing at Gatwick at half past eight on Friday night. Right. And driving to Two Leeds. Leeds. 
Uh, was that from Amsterdam then, or was that somewhere else? Uh, no, that's some, that's somewhere else. Oh. We're going to. Oh, that's not. A, that's not a. No, it's something we booked Ma and then didn't realise. And yeah. So we'll be driving and going to bed at midnight, and I should be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Of course, you will. on the morning. Yeah. Have a Bucks Fizz for your breakfast. Right, we're <laughs> going to go to the website very quickly, www.sayingstreet.com. Uh, click on Watch the Show Live. Do not go to pre-order. Go to Show Tunes. Show Deals. Look, sold out. Right, hang on. Don't, right, sold out. What's that one? I can't see it from me. It's too small for me. Sold out. There you go. Sold out. Be careful. And a lot of the others will be sold out as soon as you've checked out. So I'll see you again at 11. Yeah, Jane's next hour is on pre-order already. If you want to click on the pre-order, there it all is. We've got butterflies galore. They're not buffets, they're like little um, pin, I love that. The cross-stitch butterfly collection on Ada up there. Yes. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Brand new. Right, we've got to go because I've got to launch your book. Go and have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a cup of tea. And I'll see you in an hour's time. Right. And I'll see you. See you in a minute. With a brand new book in four minutes from now. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven, full of friendly, warm hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey. So you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? 
Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. You will be able to sew your own clothes by the end of this book. That's the claim. That's the book. It's a gorgeous book. They've already been selling on pre-order. Already been selling on pre-order graphic screen. Now, can I just tell you, where are they? There they are. Um, it's supposed to be 19 99 I don't know why we've got it at £15.99. They're here. They're in our warehouse. They're ready to be sent out. Uh, before we start, you might not know who Juliet is, right? She's the winner of... Uh, 2019 uh, Great British Sewing Bee and she's done a little video for us so you know who she is. Have a look at this. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. My name is Juliet Uzel and over the past few years I've been doing a lot of writing about sewing and I would like to introduce you to my first book. This here is called You Will Be Able to Sew Your Own Clothes by the end of this book. In this book, I included lots of easy and customizable garments and accessories that would guide anyone who's new to sewing along their journey to sewing clothes for their own wardrobes. Not only that, this book would give people who are new to sewing the opportunity to try their hands out on using different types of fabrics and build those skills and techniques that are required to make different types of garments along their sewing journey. Also, I feel extremely grateful to have had the opportunity to work on the new Great British Sewing Bee book, The Modern Wardrobe. Now, there are 28 amazing projects in this book and they've been inspired by the different tasks and projects that the contestants from last season and the new season of the show have had to work on. And there are also some adaptations to those different sewing patterns. I really hope you enjoy working on the projects in the Great British Sewing Bee book and my beginner sewing book. Now the second book that uh, Juliet was talking about there is we are hoping to get it so that could be something for the future but for today, today we're going to concentrate on her very own book and her first book at $15.99. You will be able to sew your own clothes by the end of this book. By now there's something for everybody here whether you're going to make a hairband or you're going to make a full-on frock, right? Um, so you literally, when you get it, make sure you sit down and read the whole book because there's so much. It's, it's just a lovely, simple book to read. Obviously, you've got your breakdown of everything in there, your basic sewing kit, your fabrics, measurements, sizing, everything like that. And then you've got the projects later on here. Also, a whole section on upcycling as well. Uh, really lovely book, some gorgeous photos in here. Mm? 
gorgeous uh, things are flying out already so we've got sewing tools finishing tools measuring tools fabrics uh, really really but viscose all different things in here how to take your measurements how to blend pattern sizes how to now these are important how to lower your bust point how to raise your bust point full bust adjustment that's put it's very very simply put there because that's that's take took me a long time to learn but actually it's a very very simple technique there uh, then you've got your cutting layouts and things like that, transferring pattern markings, what different stitches mean, sewing a seam, all the bits you need to know before you even start making your garments. Glossary there. Then we start the projects. Here we go. So now they're not in order of complication. That's not right, is it? Basically, she hasn't started with the simplest and gone through. So that's why you need to read the book and go through it first. They're all easy to do. They're all absolutely achievable. But if you've never, ever, ever sewn anything before, start with the hairband. I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute, right? So this is called the June Top, this one. It's really beautiful. Tells you the sizes. Tells you how much fabric you need. And then tells you how to make it. The patterns are in the book later on. I'll show you. Here's your facings. Sleeves. Sewing the bodice attaching the neckline facing she takes you through all the, then there's a hack so look there's the june top but you can make the june top into a june dress it's not i like that that's lovely and you'll all love that it's like a buffet dress for the summer isn't it really that lovely and comfortable and depending on what you um what fabric you use be gorgeous different things now cat says she likes the sleeve then later on there's a bit that tells you how you can change the sleeve to a different sleeve watch I'll show you. So there you've got the Hola. Now, do you say Hola? Not Jola. Hola tiered skirt. No, very, very simple, straightforward techniques. Beautiful. Then we've got, that's how you sew your gathers. Then we're a little bit more complicated now. We've got a Jenny sweatshirt with a diagonal seam on it. So you might want to leave that till a little bit later on and the neckband and the cuffs and everything. But it tells you everything that you need to know. And working with knit and stretchy fabrics, things you might not know. That's how you lay your pattern out when you do get your pattern out onto the fabric. That's how you attach the neckband. Then we've got the Joy Pinafore dress. See, Kat, Kat would wear that that way around. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, so no, there's no picture of it from the front. It's a round neck at the front. There, look. It's funny. When, uh, there might be one in a minute. Might be, oh, no. How funny. It's called the Joy Pinafore dress. How lovely. I mean, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Then we've got the Jade Couture dress. Now, yesterday, we met a lady. We had, went, had to go to see a demonstration of a new product. And she was wearing a dress almost identical to this yesterday. This is the Jade Couture dress. Oh, honestly, we watched two demos yesterday from two very different people. And Kat, when I said that to this morning, Kat was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? She's just realized that it was the lady upstairs, not the lady on Zoom that I was talking about. Oh, honestly, Kat. There you go now. Beautiful kimono, duster coat. Look at the sleeves on that. Make it in anything you want. Chiffons, heavier weight, satins, velvets, anything you like. Hang on, Kat's asking me a question and she's stumbling over her words. No. I can, you can make, no, you can make that the canvases we sell, but don't go any heavier than that because your sleeves won't work. The tapestry would be too heavy because for this, that tapestry would be too heavy. You want a bit of drape on it. There you go. Josie princess seam dress. Oh, I love a princess seam me. This is a princess seam. Uh, it's got, rather than having darts, you have um, curved seams uh, coming down there. Oh, oh, and it's got, has it got bucket pockets on the side? Hang on. You can't see that on there. Garments a little more fitted than one side, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Look, I'm thinking that's a, like a bucket pocket on the side there. Then we've got the Juliet wrap dress. We love a wrap dress. 
Now, has she used um, stretch fabric? There's no sleeves to insert on this one. They're grown in sleeves. Um, fabric suggestions. Softness and drape. Like, oh, no, she's not done a stretch. She's not done a stretch on that one. That's just your cottons, your woven fabrics. Then you've got, oh, upcycling. So oh, there's one on here, which is brilliant. I think it's this one. Oversized shirt to gathered skirt. So you take an oversized shirt, sk sh shirt and you turn it into a skirt. Look. Then you've got, oh, there you go. So if you want to change the sleeves from that dress earlier to flutter sleeves, you can do that. Uh, old jeans into a tote bag. Never have too many tote bags. Uh, scrap uh, fabric belt. Just two D-rings on there, look. And then I think the last one is the simple headband. So if you're just starting new, maybe start upcycling something from a... Oh, oh, sorry, I haven't talked about the sizes. Uh, right, the patterns go from a 6 to a 28. Six to twenty-eight. Oh, then didn't know that. I don't understand these things. You see, I'm only doing that because the QR code under there. Can you get it through your telly then? Oh, now I will have to keep this book. Just to warn you, when you take your patterns out of the back page, please be careful because it does rip the back page out there. A question from June. Would that kimono work with a lightweight calico with hand embroidery? June. You'd look gorgeous. Oh, oh so you can do whatever you want. Um, it depends what you make. Cat saying, maybe you don't like Janet Clare's thing with all bits of memories and things like that on. That's quite nice, but I was seeing more florals, Elizabethan florals and things. Right, let's have a look at the pattern pieces. Next we can. The book looks brilliant, ordered straight away. Good on you, Karen. That's the way to do it. Get some nice tracing paper and trace this off. Because obviously you've got all the different sizes on here. Right, now, are all... I've just ripped that as well, sorry. Um, are all the dress... All the, all the pattern pieces you need are all on here. June top. Uh, holla, tiered skirt. Uh more tiered skirt june june hola now do the others not need them um, patterns then the others i think are just cut, cut from squares then i presume uh right let's have a look at the sizing in the book which she says for the different sizes and uh, bricks so you mentioned pattern sizing oh she talks about twelves and things like that um where would she have put this oh here goes sizing Size chart, 22. There you go. Oh, there you go. So she goes from a size 6, which is a 31 bust, 25 waist, 35 hip, right the way up to a 28, which is a 52 bust. I'm doing inches, obviously. 46 waist and 54 uh, hip. But, as she says, you can grade up and down. So if you want it bigger or smaller, you can do lovely isn't it loads in baskets please make sure you check out 15.99 brand new uh, it was supposed to be at eight o'clock this morning i do apologize if you want to eight o'clock this morning that's how new it is it's just literally oh sorry i'll just flick through the book here uh, that's how new it is absolutely full of tips techniques Get ahead before the sewing bee cat saying. Starts this week, starts on the 27th. Next week, next week, next week, next week, next week. Beautiful. Or everything is attainable, achievable. There's nothing in there that I would say, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give that to a beginner. And yet stylish, lovely. That's a lovely, they've used a lovely cotton drill for that one. Gorgeous. I think that's my favourite. I like that one. 
for comfort ways and versatility. Hannah's got dresses like to dresses like that. And what she, Hannah's got is the one where she go when she goes out, she's got that dress, but she's got an added frill on the bottom of it. Hang on. So she has that, and then it has a frill there. And it's slightly shorter, yeah. Well, no, I suppose it's that long with the, th with the frill. Anyway, gorgeous book, £15.99. pence. Should be nineteen ninety nine. Don't know why it isn't. Ready to ship out to you straight away. Brand spanking you. Oh, right, way too, not way too many. Loads and loads of people got it in their basket. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Right. Right then, back in stock. It's what? Matt, it's about gadgets. How? What time is it? Oh, it's only 20 past. I've got one of those um, bewitched noses today. Right. Every time this comes into stock, it sells out. Sally Ann Harrison started the trend for this because she came in with her beard trimmer one day. Then she bought me a beard trimmer as a gift. And then our buying department said, You need a beard trimmer. You can get a stitch remover. There you go. Back in stock, back in stock, back in stock. £34.99. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Well, it's not a tin, obviously. It's a stitch remover. You charge it up here. It's got a normal plug. No, not USB. Oh, it's got, oh wow, it's got a really long um, cord to it as well. And then in the box, you not only get the machine itself, which goes there, that's where the plug is. You get a little brush and you get a little bit of oil. It says in great big capital letters in the instructions, do not over oil this machine, right? I don't know where the old one's gone. I've had to get a new one out of the box, he says. Now I've put it back in. I can't get it back out of it. No. Right. So what does it do? It, uh, if you've, so that's like a quick unpick, like an electric quick unpick, right? So if you've got, Normal straight stitching. Right, I don't know if you can see this because I did it this morning. There's a line of stitching here. What you have to do with straight stitching like this, can you not see it there, Bruce? I'm in the wrong place. There you go, you see a line of stitching there. Right, you think, oh, I've done that in the wrong place. What you need to do when you've got a line of stitching, get a quick unpick or a little pair of scissors because you just have to set it off. You get the first couple of stitches like that going. So this, the seam is open, either with your little scissors like that or your quick and pick. Then you get your little machine. Now, you see here, there's like, like two combs. And if when I switch it on, this one will move backwards and forwards like that. What, are you ready? Oh, it's going very fast, you might know it's it. Yeah, if you watch on YouTube, you can show, slow that down if you want. Right, so what you do is you literally open up your seam like that. Keep your finger on the bottom one, switch the machine on, and off you go. Look, 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 look how easily. What? There you go. It's done it. And all you then have to do is brush off your bits of thread. Your fabric is completely and utterly intact. There's no problem with it at all. And you can just restitch it. So that's a straight stitch. Right? I've also got a zigzag stitch here. No, that's not my zigzag stitch. Oh. oh, there it is. There it is. I'm sorry, I used um, the machine that Jules had yesterday, and of course she only had like a pale green and a white on it yesterday. Again, you need to start it off, because obviously, you see where your seam is ended there? You can't get the, the teeth of the machine into there, so you just literally need to give that a good bit of a snip, or even better, with a quick unpick. There we go, right? And again, now this is zigzag. You literally, look, look how easily that just unpicks. Just, it's just snipping the thread. Your fabric is safe because you've got a cut up guard on it. And there, you just literally get rid of your thread. Well, these, this is something we get occasionally. We don't always get it right. What happens if you're in a, say you're in a baton twirling club and you've got a sweatshirt with their logo on it and you leave to go to the other baton twirling club? Yeah, it happens a lot, doesn't it, Bruce? Um, 
and you don't want the logo on your sweatshirt anymore. Well, you see this, or, or you've done satin stitch, or you've done some kind of um, decorative stitch on your machine. This is slightly different, this one. So this is where I've got my decorative stitch. All you do with this one, now, in the instructions, it tells you to do... Oh, I am doing the bobbin side. You can, I found you could do either side, right? But literally, you, you don't press too hard, but you switch this on, and you literally go like this. You brush it. You just brush it. You say, look. Look, 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 look. You're just kind of shaving it off, right? You don't want to go, because you've got so many stitches to go through. Don't rush at it. Don't press too hard. But literally, look, it's coming. Not damaging your fabric at all. No? You wouldn't be able to do that with your, seam, with your seam ripper, would you? I also did it when I was practicing earlier. I went on the other side as well. Look, 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 look. Look. So it's just taking it off completely. You will have some threads that you'll have to, look. There you go. Oh, I've got a video of me. Look. It's a what? Let's have a look at this one then. Well, yeah, yeah, you would do it on, on a sweatshirt. You do it from the inside. Oh, what are they on, the jeans? Yeah, I'll do that. Let's keep watching this then. Oh, hang on. They turned theirs up the other way. Look. Hang on. So they're going in there to the seam. That's the seam there, right? Taking off a pocket. What's that one now then? I can't see it on my screen. Oh, the rest of the pocket. Oh, thanks, Bruce. But hang on. Didn't you just, didn't they, whoever's doing it, have it upside down a minute ago? Oh, okay. Let me see if I can do that with mine then. Oh, yes, right? Yeah, look, look. Not damaging your fabric at all, look. It's taking all those stitches off. That's the, the thickest um, satin stitch I could find. Obviously, it's gonna, you're going to have to go back and go over it, look. But if, you've done, if you're making an embroidery, you've got an embroidery, Atelier 9 embroidery, you make a mistake. Look, it's all coming off. Look. Yeah? Look, there you go, have a look at the video again, look. That's on fleece. They've moved on from that baton twirling. Oh no, hang on, what are they doing? Fireplaces. That's not a, that's not a twirling shop, that's a fireplace shop. They've moved on to their, um, their uh, the other fireplace shop down the road. Anyway, if you've got one of these, let me know. Back in stock. I'm quite enjoying that. It's quite therapeutic. Oh, okay. Take advantage while you can. They always fly out. I always fly out. We were trying to get them back in. I'm surprised that I've been allowed it today because Vix has got a birthday show in a couple of weeks' time. Next week, next week. And this is her favourite gadget. I thought she'd have had it on her show. Look, look, look how simply that's all coming off. Well, I could sit and do this all day. It's like when you buy with, with that defluffer you all bought last week. I bet you're finding every jumper you can to defluff now. Yeah, we, they were supposed to be in today, but they haven't arrived. Uh, anyway, thirty-four ninety-nine, back in stock, back in stock, back in stock. Right. Oh, we're going over there now, are we? Okay. Well, now I was going. I was moving the way along the table. You see? No, no, no. I'll do the rotating cutting mat. We're doing the pink one first. There's only twenty-five of these left. They launch these on Monday, right? This is what yours will look like when you, when you get it home. Um, it's brilliant. I've got the green one as well. If you prefer the green one, I've got the green one as well. $16.99. Now, the difference about this is it's locked at the moment, right? You can't, let me put it the right way up. 
So it's a cutting mat. You've got your 30 degree, your 45 degree, your 60 degree. You've got inches only comes in imperial. Doesn't come in centimetres, right? Um, but you're thinking, well, it's a rotating cutting mat, John. I want it to rotate. Well, it will. But when you turn it over, it's got this lovely silicon base. You literally just, can you see that? You just pop those in like that, twist it back over, and it becomes a rotating cutting mat. Because normally what happens is that doesn't lock. And if you try and use it as a normal um, cutting mat, it goes like that. Oh, no. You don't want it doing that, do you? 16 99 you can lock it back again. As any time you want it locked back, you can lock it back. And it becomes just a normal cutting mat. Right, there are only 25 left when I started the show today. Please be careful. Lots of you coming in for those. Message from Jackie. I have one of these stitch removers. It's the best thing ever from Jackie in Cheshire. There you go. That's Jackie's words, not mine. But I agree with you. 16 99 Gorgeous in the pink, isn't it? Oh, yeah, if you're upcycling, you want to get rid of some embroidery to make the handbag or to make the shirt out of, you can do. Right, that's the pink. Now I've got it in the green. I only launched this one yesterday. I'm not going to get it out because it's exactly the same. $16.99. Now, haven't you seen, or we used to sell it at Soap Quarter, there's a branded name of Rotary Cutter around this size, $32.99. Oh, Ange says that's her favourite gadget as well. And then Sue says she loves hers. She uh, uses it upside down on the back. Oh, uh, on, on both ways. She uses it upside down on the, and on the back. Anyway, it's green version, 1699. Self-healing cutting mat. Again, it's the lockable one. Beautiful. What are you looking for, Kat? Three hundred and sixty degree uh, rotation eliminate eliminate eliminates eliminates the need to turn your project dual functions including rotating and stationary use. That's a brilliant idea to put the lock on, isn't it? Yeah, why didn't you think of that at the beginning? Because the one we used to have didn't have a lock on it. Gorgeous. So, I've got a comparison price. Oh, it's not the same brand, not the same brand. So it's not a direct comparison, but the set. Well, well, look at the way it's printed. It looks almost, I'm not, I, I know it's a completely different brand and I'm not saying it's the same, 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 but it's very similar, very similar. Oh, this didn't lock. No, this doesn't lock. No, this doesn't lock. Never cut towards yourself, says Cat, the safety fabric cutter. Now, wait till you see this. Now, I think I had one this size with um, Kerry from Living in Loveliness, right? Did we have one this big? Oh, it literally, it was in and out. It was in and went straight away. I'm not sure if it was this colour. I can't remember if it was green or not, but yeah. 32, 90, look at the size of it. 18 inch square. So you've got your 60 degree, your 45 degree, your 30 degree. You've got your 6 inch circle, your 10 inch circle, your 14 inch circle. You've got all your increments around the edge. And again, it's a solid cutting mat there. Turn it over. Unlock. Unlock. Oh no, hang on, I just locked it. No, I've just locked it, sorry. I thought that was a bit odd. Unlock, unlock, there you go, it was half, it was half done. Look, brilliant, and it's got double lockage on this one. How brilliant is that? 32.99, that bigger size is gonna be so handy, isn't it? Oh, well actually, oh no, no, I suppose a 10 inch square would fit on the other one, but heart of fat quarter, when you? Twelve and a half inches. Yeah, you don't often get many of those, though, do you? Do what? Oh, would you mean stripology fit on there? But would you need to move it when you go to stripology? Thirty-two ninety-nine. She's got an answer for everything, cat. 
They don't know what they've got in store. Scrap Crazy, brilliant on Scrap Crazy on here, yeah. Fantastic size, 32.99. So you're gonna go for this one, which is your 18 inch green for 32.99. Are you gonna go for your, just wait for cats to look, green uh, 12 inch one. Oh, here we go. I'm fine today. Thank you, Statuess Colin. And then, are you going to go for the... I think you should go for this one. This is gorgeous. At $16.99. It's nice to know they care, isn't it? Oh, Tina. Colin, Colin our big boss is in the gallery now. I'll pass that message on to him. Sixteen ninety nine. He's looking into it for you, Tina. Beautiful. It's upside down. Unlock. Rotating cutting mat. Oh, be careful if you want the pink one. Be careful if you want the pink one. Keep going through. Why are you giggling, cat? Cat's giggling. Hand cream. Now, was Karen in? Did, I know. She had a lovely top on, didn't she? I saw her picture on Facebook. Now, look, I love, I love the new packaging. Nothing's changed. The price hasn't changed. Nothing's changed. But it's just the colour of the box. It's lovely. Beautiful royal blue. They completely sold out to this when she was in the other day. She was in with um, Stuart the other day. So you get the 75 millimeter. Uh, now I use this. I won't open that one. A message from whom? I use mine as a lazy Susan, Susan for the Gemini. My 580's just arrived. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. Did you buy it from um, Dawn Show this week? Right, back to the seams. I'll just take my ring off. You literally need this much. That's as much as you need. I use mine in conjunction with the uh, nail oil. It, it goes, it's, it um, absorbs immediately. The reason um, Karen developed it was she was a milliner, Shane's a milliner, and she wanted something, because at millinery, you, you're always um, pricking your finger with pins, always scratching yourself and everything. She wanted the moisturizer that she could put on and then carry on working, because lots of moisturizers, you do this, and then you have to go like this, don't you? Oof. This absorbs straight away. Now, it's not scented, but it has got the most beautiful natural smell to it. Oh, that size, yeah. At 1499. I use mine in conjunction with my nail oil. I've not got the nail oil today. You want your hands and your elbows and your knees to look gorgeous for summer, don't you? 1499. Whenever we have this in, people messaging going, oh, I've just replenished my stock, just bought it with my husband, just bought it with my girlfriend, just bought it with my boyfriend. Well, Vic's got, oh yeah, Vic's got hers in her downstairs bathroom. When you go for a tinkle in her house, there's all the posh soap and this in her bathroom downstairs. At 14.99. Oh, what? Only 30 left now. All right. Patch is telling me that Stuart's better at selling this than I am. Thanks, Kat. Yeah, thank you. I'll remember that. Don't you worry. Yeah. And then when I come a guest in. At 14.99. Oh. Gorgeous. I've got the, I've got the pencil. What I'll do... Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, Kat, pass me the ruler in the black thing. I'm not going to do a demo on it today, but I'll just show you what we've got in stock in a second. These just back in stock, very, very popular. You get your pen. 
Oh, your, your, your casing, you get your pencil sharpener and you get your coloured and your white chalks in there. 14 99 Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Brilliant for dressmaking, which I'll show you in a second. There's still a little bit of calico left in stock. Oh, hang on. No, 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 John. No, 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 no. I've got Haley's here, you see. So I don't have to open another one. There you go. I thought I'd change the colour yesterday. Did I not change the colour? I don't know. It was very efficient. Right. So easy to change the colour of your um, chalk. You literally press on the end there, the little th what are they prongs open. You take out the chalk, press it again, push the new coloured chalk in, let it go. That's a bit too far out. And then this bit that you press here, that's actually a rubber, an eraser. So if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off. But look, how brilliant is that? It's just it. Oh yeah, look. I bet Haley's never even used that bit. Actually, look. For your notches, for your darts, anything you want to mark up on your on... viscose. Yeah, of course it'll work on viscose. You just used to use the color, different colors. And jerseys might be a bit more difficult because the the t-shirt jersey we had earlier had a fluffy lining, didn't it? It would work on the wine and the the pink one because they had. The... Oh, thank you. It's very efficient. Here you go, here's the wine one we had earlier. No, oh, hang on. You see, when you mark jersey, you do have to be careful, because you, you, if you try and draw it like that, it snags, you see. So you just have to literally mark it up like that. But can you see that? Oh, no, no, it's good, because on, on my monitor here, it's just black, you see. That's all. We have refills available as well. Right, keep that out for that. That's yours, Kat. Thank you very much indeed. With fewer refills than we've got pens, just so you know. But so I, if I were you, I would buy the refills now. Even though you're thinking, I just bought the pen, John. I don't need refills, but I would to be on the safe side. Because it takes months and months and months to get to restocked and everything. Just trying to put that away nicely. There we go. Gorgeous, there's the refills. Right, there's no pen there, that's just a that's just a photo. Just so you know. There we go. Oh no, that's not right. Well, oh, I'm being alright, I'll do the pot today. Uh 6.99. 6.99. Now, this next gadget. I'll go back to Juliet's book in a minute, I promise, because lots of people are asking about that. This next gadget, they asked me to show it today. I said, yeah, yeah, I'll take the sample home. Where is it? It's in the old studio. Ian says, oh, don't worry, I'll go and get it. So to be ready for, no, Hayley said that. Hayley said, don't worry, I'll go and get it from the old studio. So to be, it'll be here for you in the morning, right? So then Ian messages going, I've got it, I've brought it home, I'll bring it in at nine. So in our prep time, I couldn't see it. So I want to do a proper, proper prep demonstration on it, but I'm just going to give you a sneak preview of it now. And then when I'm in next uh, with Kat, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Now, this shows how we're not prepared for it because this is the box it comes in. Now, it's called You Dazzle Fashion Ruler. Do not get it confused with other dazzles. That's all I'm saying. Because if you try and Google it, then uh, actually, I, and I'll open it first. I'll open it. Did you lift that little film or not? Okay, right. Okay, so inside the box comes this like, lovely little briefcase. Now, my dad used to be a Freemason. And when he went to his meetings on a Thursday night, he had a little case like this. You dazzle fashion ruler. Right, I'm going to say something before I open this. Um, 56, no, 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 56, 99. Um, I'm going to say to you, and uh, this, is, this is where I get told off by the management, right? Do not buy this if you're not planning on drawing up patterns. Do not buy this if you never, ever think that you're going to, alter a pattern or anything like that this is literally 
designed for fashion students and for people in the industry who want to draw up their own blocks and everything like that. So it doesn't come with any instructions or anything like that. So I know how to use it because I know how to draw up a basic block or I know with a commercial pattern, I can show you one of those in a minute actually, how you can alter the commercial pattern. So don't, if you're thinking, oh, one day I'd like to do a bit of dressmaking. It's not for you. And I'm not being negative. I'm not being negative at all. I just don't want you to get this home and go, Ooh, what did John make me buy this for? Do you know what I mean? Let me just have a slurp of my, my lemon water and I'll be with you. Right, inside the little case. Oh no, I've done it. There you go. Inside the little case. Here it is. This is the ruler. And you're thinking, oh, what is it, John? What is it? Well, look. Look, beautiful, isn't it, right? So. In here, I don't know why that's in there. That's nothing to do with this project at all, no. Um, right, so, so here is, here are, now there are instructions to, to a sort, but nothing to tell you how to physically use it, right? What it is, it's a ruler. Now I'll need to be um, full screen, please, for this, Bruce. Because, look, it opens up into this thing. Now, I'm going to put it back out on the table because I'll show you. It has a full-on uh, right angle here. So if you need to draw right angles, you've got your full-on right angle here. If you need to do a hip curve, then you use this bit here. If you need to do a smaller hip curve, you use this bit here. If you need to do a weight, an armhole curve, you can see that there. Ooh. That's the armhole curve there. If you want to draw a neckline, you use this curve here. And then there's a little calculator on it. Oh, Ian must have put a battery in it overnight. Right, so maybe that's why I took it home. So if you, I'm just, now I've not practiced this because I don't know what's, where's the neckline of the top, June top. Right, oh no, I can show you on this sleeve arm armhole, right. This is your armhole curve, right? I will do a proper demonstration, I promise, but this is your armhole curve. If you wanted to change that curve, then you can do by using this edge here. You see what I mean? So look, you, that's your shoulder. Yeah, so it's a bit difficult to see all the patterns. So this is your neckline, that's your shoulder, that's your armhole curve. Right? Say you need a bigger armhole, let me just open it out. Or you, basically, if you're starting off on your own pattern and you haven't got an armhole curve, you can create your own armhole, armhole curve with this. Or if you've made that top and you think, oh, I'd love a different sleeve in it, you'll need a different armhole curve. You can literally use this to draw an armhole curve. If you want to change a neck curve, look, you could use it here to change the shape of your neck curve. Or indeed, you can just fold it up to a straight ruler and draw straight lines with it going like that. There are all different, it's all in centimetres. It's a, all uh, metric. And it basically, you use it for all different, so, so what you do, I, I haven't got it here today, but you get a piece of pattern paper and you literally draw a straight line down the middle. You then work out from your measurements, the uh, half bust front. Then you work out your heart and then you work out your neckline. Then you draw in the shoulder seam. Then you draw in the waistline. Then you draw in the darts. Then if you're making a skirt, you use this curve here to do a dress, sorry, to create the waistline. Use it to make the darts. I've got my notes somewhere. I've got my piece of paper on there. Um, I did notes on it last night before I came in um, because I watched the videos of it last night. Thank you very much. Look, so literally, these are my, just my rough notes from last night. Right, so what you do is you square down on your piece of paper, first of all. You draw in your neck square. You draw in your shoulder seam. Then you draw in your, your, here to your side seam. Then you draw in your arm, uh, your shoulder seam to your um, bust seam. Then you draw in your side seam there. Then you draw in your waist dart, right? Then what you can do, I've, I didn't do this, I don't think. Oh, no, here you go. So then what you can do is if you make it into a skirt, I've got no pen here, if you make it into a skirt, you then curve the waistline there, you then use the curved hip line to draw the line of your skirt, and then you draw the other hip line to go down to the hem of your thing. 
and then you extend your darts and all that sort of thing i'll show you how to do it on another one but really 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 it it, it is um for people who know how not know exactly but want to develop their um dress making skills pattern making skills pattern making skills so i'll just show you this can we show that little film no, it's not, it's not a demonstration or anything like that. It's literally just about the ruler. We've just lifted it from the You Dazzle website. There you go. That's it, 56.99. Very, 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 very competitive price, I need to tell you. Um, now, it's quite exclusive. Not many places in the world sell it. Um, and I promise that I will do a, um, show you how to make a um, pattern with it in, when I come back. Not when I come back, I'm not going anywhere. I, next time I'm in. Or next time it's scheduled. Next time it's scheduled. I'll take it home and have a play with it. And I need some pattern paper as well. Um, I don't know what Ian brought me. He brought me great big rolls of wallpaper, I think, did he? What was that white roll that he brought in? Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Quickly, oh look, it's Juliet's book. Juliet's book. What a mess I've made. What a mess I've made in here. It's not the one I had open. We launched this book today. We're supposed to do it at eight o'clock. Supposed to do it at eight o'clock. It wasn't here. As the minute, the mi the what, what? The minute it arrived, we brought it to air. You will be able to sew your own clothes by the end of this book. Bold statement, but you will. There's lots in there. There's 15 projects, I think she said, doesn't it? 15 different projects going from a simple headband to a bit of upcycling, to a duster coat, to a little top. Look, belt. This is recycling here. Oh, there's a tote bag from your old jeans. New sleeves and an old garment. That's making a skirt from an old shirt. Then, look, we have these. These are lovely, right? So there's the Juliet wrap dress. You don't have to put in sleeves because they're not set in sleeves. They're grown in sleeves there. Goes from a size 6 to a 28, remember? How much fabric you need? Everywhere, every wear day dress. Uh, no, every day. Wear every day dress. This one's slightly, with the princess seam, slightly more, um, if you made that in taffeta, that would be beautiful. I think they've made it in um, silk, have they? Uh, medium weight woven fabrics. Oh no, they put denim, sateen, wool, crepe, or chambray. Oh, looks like a, um, a Dupion silk to here for me. But again, lovely, really, really lovely. I bet loads of you make that duster coat. There's all your pattern pieces, how you have to lay them out. The duster coat there, jasmine duster coat. Then you've got the um, a jade couture dress. Now this cat loves this one. Was there no, were there no pictures of the front of it anywhere? Could you find them? No, there's no pictures of the front of it. I th we think it must be a high, high-ish, scoop, not scoop neck, round neck. But you could, you could change it, I suppose, if you wanted to. Oh, you'd have a plunge V at the front and the back, would you? It's a bit like um, Catherine Wright's apron, isn't it, that one? There we've got the sweatshirt, slightly more complicated, but nothing too difficult. We love this, the June dress. The June dress and the June top, we think are gorgeous. Look, what she used for that one? Soft drapey fabric, cotton, cotton blend, linen, linen blend, viscose rayon, crepe or voile. Be a bit see-through if it was voile, wouldn't it? Anyway. And then in also at the front of the book, all the techniques, all the glossary, getting all the things that you might have heard as mentioning and not know what they mean. And I know sometimes we can go, oh, do a French theme, do with this, do with that, right? But this will have everything in it. Now the size is it goes from size six, which is a 31 bust, 25 waist, a 30, a 35 hip, right the way to a 28 which is a 58 inch uh, bust 46 inch waist and 54 hip but look um this is how you can blend pattern sizes so if you're a like a 20 top and a 28 bottom or the other way around shows you how you can alter it alter the patterns and she says she says 
Uh, always test it out, make a toile first. Lovely. Brand new today. 15.99. Can I just tell you, it's meant to be 19.99, so I don't know why we've got it for 15.99. Brand new book. Make sure you check out on that one, though. Oh, yeah, buy your calico. How much calico's left? I mean, we did have hundreds and hundreds, didn't we? Okay, hundreds gone already. Um, calico. Now, in the last hour, I'm going to be doing uh, mannequins. So if you're going to get yourself a mannequin to drape or to create patterns on, I'll keep that calico for that just in case. Uh, and I've also got overlockers in the last hour, which is, um, well, just, uh, oh no, no. If you buy, if you buy the um, eight, where's it gone? The eight, six, four overlocker. Today, we've got this deal where you get like 52 pounds worth of thread. Overlocking thread with it, it's there. That's the price the machine always is. It's an air thread. I'll show you all about it in the last hour. If you go, don't buy it if you're not started dressmaking yet, because you might not. But if you're well into your dressmaking, and or threading a machine frightens you, the air thread overlocker is. It takes literally five minutes to thread all four threads, and it's easier than a sewing machine. I'll tell you all about that in the twelve o'clock hour. I've got to go now because Jane Greenoff is back after the break. We've got butterflies. We've got flowers we've got knots we've got whole bean oh and we'll show the messages we didn't show you in the first hour apparently there were lots of messages we didn't get to right we will see you in four minutes from now have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with sewing street and yarn lane you can either shop on our website sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com you can also order by phone by calling our friendly uk customer service team for Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have 
you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Thinking of having a menopausal flash here. I've just drank some hot water and it's kind of made me go, ooh. Jane's back, Jane's back, Jane's back. Now, before we start this hour, I've got three messages that we had in the last hour which we didn't read out. So I'll just do those very quickly. First one. Lovely. Can I have on the big screen to Bruce? Thank you. Don't worry, don't apologize. Lovely to see you both. I haven't seen Jane for ages. Oh, oh no. now my mum passed away last September and she loved her cross stitch. I found these when I was clearing her oh. home. Who's that fr from? I can't see the names cut off. Trisha in Warwickshire. Oh, oh it's Bless you. They're your books. I know. They're your books. They look like antique. I've got, aren't they lovely Victorian books there? It, it, that um, Castles and Cottages was my first title. Was it? And um, I started writing that. In? Uh, 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 she's seven. Yeah. And my daughter had been born. <coughs> Excuse me. My whoops a daisy baby. Yeah. And she had three month colic Oof. or something. So I started typing as she started screaming. Oh. I had an typing out the noise. Yeah, it wasn't um, in the computer day, it was, was it? Was it was a typewriter day. Well, it was actually an old Amstrad. Oh, my word. Word processor. Yes, 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 yeah. And hey. it hadn't, I hadn't really. I hadn't really thought, well, did, do I ever, just how hard it was writing the words. I didn't understand the mechanics. Mm -hmm. You know, how, how do you say, look on page so and so for the rest of these instructions? Well, yeah. the, it doesn't got any numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, and I had to design my own flat plan. Oh my word! I've and just I mean, had my mine was sent to me not last night, the uh -huh. night before. How's it going? It's good. I've just got to do my fine editing. It's got to be in by Ooh. tomorrow. Ooh. I know, so it'll be a late night tonight. It will. Uh, next one, please. Oh, look. That's this is mine and my 14 year old's progress on the Twin Globes. Loving doing this, might be finished this year. Kerry. Well done. Is that one of yours? Yes. I've never seen that it, one. We, we've done the Twin Globes on Sewing Street once, I think. Right. It's a considered um, purchase, actually. Right. And it's based on a historic map of two Oh, two Earths. circles. Yes, yes, yes. And there was no Australia because nobody found it yet. Oh, OK. Oh, <coughs> oh my excuse word. Excuse me. I'm getting now, your tickle. Now, Carrie obviously hasn't started in the middle. Does that matter? Uh, she might have started in the middle if you look where she's got the, the beginning. Oh, well, well that dot there. Right oh, so the you don't have to do the complete no, middle no, 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 as no, long no. as you do your first stitch Start in the middle. Oh, I wasn't so trying to pick on you, Kerry, I promise. Right, then we've got another one, uh, but the, the pictures weren't... Is this the one where the pictures... Right, I've, it's just words, right, because the pictures yeah. were a bit weird on this one, Nettie, I'm afraid. Not weird, but how inspiring is Jane? I've only cross-stitched twice in my life. See the attached pictures. I consider myself a novice and was totally naive when I started both of these, but I stuck at it. Jane has made me rekindle my interest in cross-stitching. I have a hard hanger book to try out this new skill and also some of the kits, which are amazing. Love watching Jane. Loving the show today from Love from Nettie in Liverpool. Nettie, 
What's happened is, so for some reason, it's stretched your pictures like that, so we can't, is it that way or that way? That way, so we can't oh. see them. It's, 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 if you want to try send them again, please, please do. Please well done, do. Nettie. But well read done, Read the Nettie. instructions. Start on page one and just read the for beginning The hard anger you're talking about. The hard anger one. Yeah. Yes, if you, if you just do what I say and look at each page as you go along, we'll show you in the book in a minute. Yeah. And we go through it. We'll do this first, though. Right. I've got the uh, Georgian sampler, both on linen and Ada. Yeah, do, I'm just bringing it in. There you go. There you go. Starting with the linen. Brand new and exclusive. Never been seen here. So, I don't understand how, you, how the Cross Stitch Guild do these kits for such an affordable amount. When I you think of the her. work that goes into them. No, no, I like my ladies and gentlemen getting them at this price, but I worry that you won't have any money to put food on the table at this rate. Because <laughs> you've designed it, yes. and then Andrew and a team have created it, it sampled it, printed it, everything like that, and put it all together in a gorgeous kit like that, yeah. all for twenty seven ninety nine. Do I need anything else at all? If I bought that, would uh, I need anything else? to snip off the ends. Oh, yeah. But, but other yeah, than that, yeah, no. Perfect. Okay, so what is it then? Let's have a look at it. My home, what does it say in that circle? Home is my, my only ref refuge. My refuge. Aww. Now, many, many years ago, when I did a series of houses for the Liberty Shop, uh -huh. they'd publicised the fact that I was going to be there and people could bring a picture of their house. Fix is waving at you. Oh, she's just gone past now. Sorry <laughs> to put you on. Fix is waving. Um, and basically, I had drawn a sampler with a space for the house to go in. N not dissimilar to this, so I'd drawn a space so the house would be your house. Yeah. And that name of the house would go in there. Right. And we did hundreds because it had been in the How to Spend It page in the Financial Times. Oh. On the Saturday. Yeah. And I mean hundreds of houses. Anyway, why was I telling you that? I know why I was. Because uh -huh. we had one client who didn't, we didn't know who it was. It was his secretary at this company right. said, we want one, and you can't have the name of the house, but I'm going to send you a house picture, right? and it will say, my ho home is my only refuge. Right. So we did it. Oh. So you don't know who it was or no, anything? No, never did find out. We oh. did Alan Wicker's house. Oh, did you? Do you remember Alan Wicker? Yeah, of course I Some do. Some of you out there of the generation. None of this. You definitely won't. children <laughs> won't know who Alan no. Wicker is. No, oh, Bruce does. Just. Yeah, just. Well, Bill, we were doing these houses. We had over 400 to do. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no. Because it had been in the paper. Yeah. And we had the spare room with a gate leg table in it. And I went on the spare bed sleeping. And he'd wake me when he'd put the careful, done the house names. Right. Because he was very good at doing yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'd jump up and do the house bit. And oh, ditto. my word. And he said, he suddenly squealed, look who's on the lilo. What? And it was Alan Wicker lying on the lilo in the pool. In front of his house. In front of the house. Oh, wow. Bless. So you, that was a bit of a silly thing to do then, really, was it? Bring your picture of your house and we'll put it on a cross stitch. Well, it, it, it seemed a good idea at the time. And of course, had it not been in the paper, yeah, how many know, people turn up in Liberty or yeah. any other shop clutching a picture of the house? Yeah. We had all sorts to do. We had the oh. chairman of Rolls Royce, him and his wife. Oh, wow. I think I did four for them. They've got four houses. houses. No, I think they had one house they used to live in, the house they lived in then. Oh. And then a son and a daughter's house. How good. Well, they're, cool. they're presents, they're not going to yeah. get anywhere else, no, aren't they? absolutely. But this isn't your house. No. You could change it for your house, I you suppose, could. if you wanted to. You could. And obviously, you don't need to put the same words as I've put. Right. If you want to put your initials or your or welcome home or... Or new, new home. home. Yeah. Like a lovely new home sampler. And what stitches do we need in here? Let then? me have a look at the picture so I don't tell any fibs. Okay. Right, so it is cross stitch. Yeah. Almost completely. A little bit of back stitch or whole line. Yeah. Yeah, that's very straightforward. You could work it on linen or Ada. Yeah. So which one are we going in the moment? We've linen got linen picture. in the moment. And linen uh, in the packet. Yep. Yeah. So that's your linen. Now, the colour. They're going to look identical, aren't yes, they? Because yes. the colour of the linen and the Ada are very, very similar. Let me just push it in. That's your linen. Yes. That's your Ada. And this is actually, to confuse you all even more, this is linen Ada. <laughs> OK. So, so this that's is linen, linen. Which is woven individually yeah. in threads. Right. And this is linen woven in boxes. 
So it's made of linen? It's made of linen. So it's and not going to look any different then, apart no. from that, that one you've done threads and when that one you've you done hot hardly ones. see any difference. And they'll be the same size. Same threads, yeah. same chart, same destructions, everything. Beautiful. So which one have you got in at the moment, sorry? Ada, got Ada in at the moment, there you go. Ada in at the moment. So the choice so, is yours, really. Yes, the threads are sorted. And you've got your fabric. Uh, love to see you both in the studio. Tell Jane it was a brilliant weekend at Swindon. Love Coral Eeyore. She's known as Eeyore because everything she owns has got Eeyore on it. What, like Winnie the Pooh Eeyore? Yes, Eeyore cups, Eeyore toys, Eeyore t-shirt. Oh. She hasn't been very well, so well done, old thing. Well done for coming. And Which one I'm, was she on then? Which one did she go Swindon, to? Swindon. Oh, Swindon, that's yeah. what I said Swindon. The one we've it? just done. Oh. Yeah, she was in very good form. It must be, it must be lovely, because not only are you teaching people, new people, an art or a skill, you're teaching old people who've been doing it for a long time, yes. but also think how much pleasure Coral will have had being there. And I don't mean this patronisingly, Coral, at all, but just a really lovely weekend to be with like-minded people. Well, I think that's everyone said the same. I mean, we were busy. There was lots going on. I had three or four people who've never worked on linen come for the weekend and the project was on linen but we could swap it right with push game to shove and um and i got them all onto the linen fabric and they were thrilled yeah another lady wanted to learn hard hanger that weekend so she learned that as well as the project so when they come on these courses it's not like they sit in a classroom and learn you will be making this georgian sampa and this is how you do it no i, I don't think i could get away with it you know okay many of our members will book all three weekends in the year right. certainly two weekends and some will take the project home to work and they'll be finishing a quilt they need for friday oh do you know, it, yes it, they just everyone does they just yes people do their own thing or people are doing the project or they do some time on the project and some time finishing off things they're doing oh, already wow. well that sounds lovely and it's a hoot yeah and of course you've got the noisy tables yeah i won't mention any names no but some of them are very noisy i've never needed a taser yet oh no don't be saying no. that <laughs> Anyway, so yeah. the, yes, so, so... So this is the Ada one. The one on the side graphics is your linen one there. Same thread, same chart, same everything. Colours are beautiful, very rich, it aren't is, they? It is a nice, nice combination. And why is it called a Georgian sampler? Because I thought it was nice and it, I came up with it. And actually, I was looking at Georgian samplers. Yeah. And I'd been to the Whitney Antique Centre. Oh, yes, very you know, nice. You know, where I yeah, go yeah, as yeah, often yeah, as yeah, I yeah. can get yeah. away with. And she had a Georgian sampler there. And there was a very similar border. Yeah. Um, and the house is of a Georgian style. Yeah, yeah, definitely. With the slightly smaller top windows. And so, also, yeah. Oh, yeah, and those those flowers, you're literally doing, are they the same design, but just in different colours? Oh, have, have a look. look. If we look again there. And, and basically, it's a cross stitch. Right. And then I've done little stitches in the middle. Yeah. And a ditto there, that's just half cross stitch. Yeah. So there's lots of different things you can do. And as I said, you could change it. You know, you could put this tree here. Yeah. Not bother with the deer. I mean, the whole point of these is because it's empty fabric when you start. Yeah. You can personalise. Oh it. yeah, you could put the house at the bottom or the top yeah, if you wanted to, you couldn't want you? To do, yes. And you've got an alphabet to use if you wanted to put. Um, Other. Oh, is there a, is there a small alphabet in there as there well? There isn't a small alphabet, but if you leave the circle off, you could easily get home, sweet home, or yeah, 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 yeah. new home or yeah. something in the gap. Brilliant. Okay, lovely. So that's those two there. Just put those there for now. What's next? Eight. Now eight is the most popular in that one. So they're kind of doing yes, this, aren't they? Yes, it's Let's amazing. do Hard Danger book next. Because right. loads so of people messaging in about this. Those of you who've been watching the Hard Danger, talking about the Hard Danger book, the point of this book is that it's there's some history and some uh, understanding about the importance of Hard Danger in Norway. Yeah. But for the lady who we spoke to earlier, I'm just going to show you the start of this. Mm -hmm. The lady who'd done stitches and not cut anything. Yes, yes. <laughs> the lady who'd not cut anything. And the lady who's just had got some hard angle she's bought the oh book yes yes yes, yes that's right yeah what we did was broke down this technique into really easy chunks and so step one you're going to have a knot on the front and you're going to work these straight stitches uh-huh and there's the knot and there's the straight stitches right and we work through in the same way and then we end up getting this shape yeah and I show you to, if you run your needle across the fabric yeah it's going to match. And this is called a cluster. This, these, each one of these is a cluster block. Yeah. 
and I'm going underneath the fabric there to show that we don't run the, down the sides at all. Right. And that we finish off through the back. Uh huh. See this bit, I'd be fine with this bit. It's turning over the page, this bit that frightens me. Well, I think it frightens everybody. And it, it, when I did a, a CD book for um, Vive Books some years ago, we called it Hardanger for the Horrified. I can imagine. Because it's that business mm -hmm. of cutting. If you look at this, you only cut where the needle's been already. Yeah. You never cut one of these open ends. So if you follow my instructions in the cutting, yeah. you end up with that. Yeah. And once you've done that, you can make anything in the book. So, so it's basically, you've it's got to learn to do the right. cluster block with the cutting, and it, then you're done. And then you can go on to do all sorts of delicious bits and pieces look. We always tell you this, but um, in Norway, um, they're very, very proud of their traditional costumes, um, which they wear not, <clears throat> they wear them to weddings, they wear to church on a Sunday, family gatherings, 16th birthday parties, and things like that. And it's a, whichever region you come from, both the men and the ladies have a costume for that area. That's right. right. And then the men have cross-stitch ties with like, either a flower or a map of the, the area. And the ladies have their dresses. They have silver buckles at the front of their dress. They have silver hair slides and or crowns mm -hmm. and they have silver buckles on their shoes. The silver buckles cost a fortune and they're the things that are passed on from generation to generation but the other thing that's also passed on is the ladies wear like a traditional apron yes. and depending on where you come from depends on what kind of hardanger is, is I could, could talk could, could talk at it because Jan Olaf where I used to say in um uh, Oslo, when we left the house and went down on a big junction, there was a shop that all they did was sell these. And the upstairs, they didn't have any windows downstairs, the upstairs was just about 20 mannequins in all the different areas. Oh. And I thought, oh, I'd have one of those, one of those kids, oh, no, you can't. You only really buy what? where you're from so that, so that you have your tradition and everything. But you see, the, they were like, the men would wear either breeches and little um, velvet jackets and things like that. It was such a lovely tradition that I hope never dies. But the aprons have got the hard hanger on them and that's the ladies' pride right. and joy, joy isn't Absolutely. It? And if you look in a minute, you'll be able to see, I've got a picture there yeah. for you to look Perfectly at. Perfectly placed, straight, yeah. I think. Um, the apron is, there's a panel here, which is all these cluster blocks yeah. that we talked about. Um, and... Uh, the crown would be the senior married woman. Yeah. Um, and you can see all not the everybody, jewelry. Not everybody has one of those. No, no, I, I, yeah, no. no less I'm living, he didn't have one and of those. And I know that when we went to... Th there's two aspects of this where it's quite interesting. First of all, that when you... In Norway, you don't work from a chart. No. You work from a photograph of the pattern. Yeah. Which we found quite disconcerting, mm -hmm. being used to charts. But it's a tradition that's been but handed it's down, isn't handed it? Down. So children, would, little girls, would probably get an embroidery anglais version yeah. to start with. Oh, yes. Um, and I know that um, out in America, that there's lots of hardanger done as a, as a skill yeah. for just for showing off one skill. And one lady had done this beautiful zigzag along the bottom of her apron. And when I talked about this with the girls at Hardanger, they said, yes, but you could never do that. No. Because you imagine you get your heel caught well, in that Well, even that one I was thinking about, if you've got, if you've got a silver, yeah, yeah. Because they like to dance. They like to dance. So yes, it's a, it's fascinating. Oh no, it is, and also it's fascinating that we don't do it here, do we? we? Don't have a national, and they're so proud of their national costume. Like like I say, if you go to weddings or funerals or yes. or sixteenth birthday parties or special occasions, some people even just wear it to church on a Sunday. Because yeah, yes. um, the underneath garment can be very very plain. Like I live only my friend uh, Jan Olaf's mom, hers was just a plain blue frock. Yes, but. It was the silver buckles, the aprons, the I seem to remember having lace in her hair yes, as well. She, yes, yeah. absolutely. And things, she didn't have a big crown at all, anything like that. But sadly, uh, Liv only passed away a couple of weeks ago. It was very sad. But all of her silver will now go to her yeah. eldest daughter. Yeah. You know I mean? That's the way and it this works. This is some old hard iron yeah. here. You can see all the different stitches. So all these different stitches that you see on the projects, they're added after the cutting's done. Yes. So as long as you can do the blocks first. Yes. So let's just have a look at one of your projects and we can just yes. then talk about how the cluster blocks. Wendy says, John, Jane, my neighbour has just turned 80 and you've inspired him. Oh, hang on. My neighbour has just turned 80 and you have inspired him many years ago. He recently did a cross stitch for me and I lo would love to share the photo. 
Send the photo, Wendy. Wendy. It's an email. Yes. You have to send the photo by email, and that's studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. So, once you know how to do a cluster block. Yes, there you are. The, all these stitches inside are just what you do. So, effectively, what's happened is you've done your cluster blocks. Yeah. You've pulled out a lot of fabric, so yeah. it has weakened it. So, then you strengthen it with patterns. Right. Is it more called a pigeon's eye or something like that? Dove's eye. Oh, dove's eye. Thank you. Ow! Dove's eye. You didn't see that, did you? Well, what? Got a picture from Carol. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Look. good morning, John and Jane. It's lovely to... It's, it's lovely to have Jane back again. I've done a few of Jane's designs and they're all beautiful. Two brilliant shows. Thank you for your kits and inspirations, Carol from Hull. Right. Well done. So uh, that's the garden sample on the left. Which is gorgeous. Which that's has a bit, some a bit of hard hanger on yes, there then. it has hard hanger yeah. on it. That's right. And the, the one on the right is my, when we started uh, the business all those years ago, 83, at some point my husband said to me, you should do a map of Britain with the old counties in it. And oh. I said, oh yes, all right. And this went on and on and on. And eventually, said, all right, then you do it. He so what? You do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know so much about it, you do it. So he drew the map for me. And there is Rutland, Rutland on there. Just say Rutland. Because we couldn't get it all in. Oh. <laughs> so you start that in the middle, which is Staffordshire. In oh, the middle wow. of that sampler. Yeah. And each county's got a different colour around it. Oh, my word. And they've got those gorgeous flowers around the edge. The anyway, middle. well done, Carol. That's well gorgeous. Uh, if you've got the hard hanger book in your basket, please make sure you check out because it's very, very limited now. Which cushion do you want to go to? All the pin cushions, right. All the pin cushions. Here we go. Blue one first, one, please. Blue one. blue one first. Let's show all three. In case you only want to buy one, Let these are the three different versions we've got. There we are. They're all available on both Linen and Ada, right? They're the three versions. We're going to start with the blue one, which I think you've got the pattern for. I now. have here. Lovely. Linen first. Uh, linen first. Now, how much are these? Nine ninety nine. So, Holly Blue Butterfly. These make lovely paperweights as well, if you fill them with rice. Oh, really? Yeah, I like doing that. We, we Next time I'm on air, we've got a very pretty box spin cushion. Oh, wow. You. Yeah, so this is uh, the holly blue. Yeah. This is full of polyester wadding. Right. Now, it makes it a bit squashy. Right. And I like them to land with a thumb. Oh, OK. So mine tend to have rice in. Yeah. But there you are. It's got a little butterfly on the back. It's beautiful, Not difficult, isn't it? pure cross stitch. All cross stitch. Do it on Ada uh, or linen. How do you how do you make it? Is it is well, it? Well, you're going to do. Can I open? Yeah, the other which one? Is let's short, open short. this one. This yes, please. The old elephant spit. Do you want some scissors? Yeah. I had some scissors. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Let me just whiz this off, and I it will explain it. The early bird wants to be put away, Kat, and I didn't open them. There we go. Got one here. This By is both nine ninety nine in Ada, which the graphics at the moment, and linen. Jan bought the Ada Watbo. I did a penguin two Christmases ago and then bought Jane's eye stitch. I love it, but got too ambitious and put myself off. Hope to try again on a smaller scale. Good girl. Already have the gold needle. Thank you, Jan. Well done, that girl. So if you look at the chart, yeah. look. Oh, right. So it's very simple to yeah. see, isn't it? There's the top, those are the sides. And there are so you do that as one piece, yes, and then you do that as one piece, yes. and then when you fold those up, they then you then yes. sew that together. and you've got the making up instructions on here. So actually, what you you can imagine, you're going to fold it. Ooh. I don't know if I can do it. On While you're folding, I'll just say, Wendy, well, Wendy, it's studio at sewingstreet.com. There it is, studio at sewingstreet.com. What were you trying to do? Well, I was going to try and fold it. Can I use the sip? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, right. I'm going to do this now. Right. You she's cut it into one of our. We'll sell one less now because she's cut into it. I'm just just trying to imagine. All right, this is all flamming it, as my yeah. mother would have said. So in fact, you would not cut exactly as I've done it because you leave a margin. Oh, okay. Which you fold in. Fold over, right? Oh yeah, because otherwise you'd have a raw edge here, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. And then you tuck those in. This isn't working very well on paper. cut those off as well? No. And then you join that to that. Oh, yes, I see. So you're creating a tray to start yes, with, yeah. There you are. You make, exactly, you create yeah. a tray. 
and then you stitch this one and then you slip stitch it and if you use the same color thread as the, this on both right threads, it's fine when you obviously use your blunt your blunt needles yes. to do that when you attach that to that do you use a blunt needle or a sharp I, needle? i'd use a sharp needle sharp you needle. can use blunt yeah but i use a sharp okay and then that's just the green that's just green stitches around the edge yes yes so those those are the cross stitch ones right and there are some joins there oh okay right so that on that side there you've got a single line but on the bottom where you've stitched it on you'll have the line from around the edge exactly. of that one and exactly. the line around the edge of that one you sew them together exactly beautiful and that applies to them all uh, hello both i made several of jane's items i fill the pin cushions with crushed walnut shells oh. as it gives weight and sharpens the needles and pins well that's very interesting i shall try it thank yeah. you for that julie well done Mess and jackie love jane and john show due to poor eyesight i cannot do fine linen what's the largest linen weave please from jackie i think the best thing you could do would be try something called cork cork uh, as in not the fabric oh, okay cork, cork. There is a, a linen called cork, which you can get from Guild headquarters, and it's I'll tell twenty you about that count. In a second. It's twenty, what? 20 count. Right. So it's ten to the inch. It'd be worth a try. There are um, eleven count aiders as well. Um, so things that there are, they're out there. It's just a question of finding something you can see, and good light. And the other trick um, I, I recommend to people is take your stitching with you, and go and look at the the specs in shops, you know, all sort of pound yeah, shops yeah. even. Yeah. Uh, and for, I've got a pair that I bought, so bright red little funny ones. They're no good for my screen, but for just stitching, they're perfect. Oh, are they the ones, are they just ones that are just magnified? So you buy just, one that's two and a half times yes, or something like that? Yes, but you don't take a book to read to no, do it. No. You take your stitching yeah. because it's never the same. No. Um, my friend Sarah Green has those just for like... Just for when bits she needs, and bobs. Yeah, right. Okay, now Painted Lady, next one. Painted lady is. Have I got that? Yes. Have you got that? I've got peacock. I've got peacock. There. There it is. Wrong with that, what, cat? Oh, on the wings, me. Thinking, how can she see the butterfly's eyes from there? Both on Ada and Linen again. Lovely colours on this one. Now. Your uh, Ada and your linen are slightly different colours on this one. Yes, one's washed that, and unbleached and yeah. one's cream. Okay, they will all come, they'll both come out the same size. Yes, they'll both come absolutely. out that size, yeah. won't they? Absolutely the same size, and no problem. And that's exactly the same technique then? Yes. You cross stitch your butterfly and your whatever, what are those meant to be there? Which ones? Oh, those stiggly lines. Which stiggly lines? These? Yeah. Oh, just flowers, I think. Oh, is that? Leaves. Leaves. Grass. Grass, leaves. Leaves and grass. Some of them have got leaves, some of them haven't, sorry. Yeah. Um, beautiful. Nine ninety nine. Which one have we got in at the moment? We've got linen in at the moment. That's that one. Again, gorgeous butterfly. Do you know there was a butterfly in my garden that I went out? And it was like lime green. It was really, really bright right. lime green. And I don't know what sort no. of it is. Well, I just looked at it because fluttering around, I thought, I've never seen it. It was like vivid lime, lime green. green. It was incredible, it was beautiful. Anyway, uh, so that's the one on the linen. We've also got it on the Ada. And you saw the fabrics vary a bit. Yeah. Very what, Kat? Limited on all of these, apparently. Limited on all. There we are. And okay. then we've got the last then one. Then we've peacock. got this one here, which is the peacock. There we are. That's uh, so the... which are you doing first, linen or Ada? Ooh. Linen first. So again, same collection. Oh, hang on. That's not, uh, oh, hang on, I'm a bit confused. Right, it's, the, it's this one, Bruce. You've got to find the eyes, dear. Yeah, that's it. Well that's done. the one. They are called eyes, apparently, are they? Are they? Yeah. Oh, are yes, they? Yes. Is it to frighten off predators? It is. To look t threatening. Oh, how could a butterfly be threatening? Anyway, linen, beautiful, gorgeous colours again. A great starter point as well. Lovely. If you've not yeah. done cross stitch before. If you've never stitched before, and I do think it's a, a really good idea if you make something as a beginning of this craft and you then use it. Yes. You know, I've got an old pin cushion that I used that I must have made 30 years ago. Uh -huh. And it just makes you smile, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you put them into use, and you will, of course, if you get hooked, actually completely run out of wall space. Well, if you may start making all of these. Or, yeah. I, I know from. Late, I, I'm now inventing things like that 
shape uh -huh. so they can go oh, on they that can go fit in between. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, morning, John. The butterfly is called a brimstone butterfly. What, the Thank green you. one? The bright green one. Oh, well, oh did well you know that, you. Bruce? Oh, Bruce knew that. Bruce Are they knew unusual? That. Are they unusual? Oh, no, they've never... No, there's... Uh, please, can you tell me how half stitches are indicated? Yes. Now, let's just And then we, we need to do some stitches as well in a minute. Yes, I'm going to... Yeah. I'm just... Bear with me while uh, I... Right, okay, let, have we got a pattern open? Half stitches. Let me just... Oh, we have to see if there's any half All stitches right. on this one, well, don't we? Well, on the Georgian one, these are half stitches. Right. Now, I'm going to be complicated now and say do you mean half stitches or do you mean three quarter stitches oh no because what's the difference a half stitch is where you just do one half of the cross right uh, and they're just shown in lines right and usually with a line towards them saying half cross stitch in oh, okay whatever whatever yeah. now with some designs and I don't think there's anything here today that's got it we use what we call fractional stitches which right. I can show you in the stitch book okay brilliant let me grab this for a second to make sense of this, I think this is what I need to do. So just talk amongst yourselves. Cookies available. Uh, Kat will put the graphics in. 12 99 but very limited. Very limited, very limited. Oh, it flew out on pre-order earlier. Let me just see where it is. Three, there. Right. All right, so we've got a half cross stitch, which is just a diagonal line. And where's your white? There you go. Where's my white? There you line? go, there you go. Now this one is the one that foxes people. Right. It's sometimes referred to, because it's half it occupies half the space of a cross stitch so it would be shown as a little triangle like that right yes mm -hmm. this is what we call a three-quarter stitch and it will be shown on the chart as a, a, f a filled in half but diagonal yeah Does like that, that on the corner there yeah like that yeah. that's how it would be shown yeah whereas a half stitch is shown as a, just a line that's generally and that's my way of doing it might right. not be everybody's the three-quarter stitch uh, was not particularly common until uh, the late Joe Verso, who sadly is no longer with us, obviously, being the late Joe yeah, Verso, yeah. uh, who was killed in a car crash in France. Oh. She produced a book called Pictures in Cross Stitch. Right. I'm going to say in 84, five, something like that. Yeah. And it revolutionised County Cross Stitch for people. Uh, she sold half a million books in the wow. English language, which unless you'd write it Nearly as many as you. Well, no, 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 nothing like it. <laughs> anyway, so she used this to modernise cross-stitch. Right. Because you can take the, the rather blocky appearance off. Oh, uh, right. right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that a three-quarter stitch is shown like that, yeah. sometimes referred to as halves. Right. And the half I showed you on the Georgian, just for the grass oh. there would just be shown as a diagonal, diagonal line. line there look see? right i hope that's helpful um, yeah brilliant what can i ask what we're going to go back here what's that and that then oh ah, well <laughs> this is again thanks to joe uh-huh uh, this is where you're changing the color in one square oh so that could be part of the house and that could be part of the grass or yes, something like that and that would be i used it on i did a little cock crawl about so big and to get his spiky hat you know thing going on yeah uh, I had some of these and where they joined um, I don't use this much um, personally uh -huh. um, I tend to stick to complete stitches yeah uh, but there are occasions um, I'm trying to think of an example I did something for cross stitch guild which was um, antique flowers period flowers and things like ca carnations had to have spiky tops oh, of course and yeah. the only way I could do it was, was to use flat cross stitches so I hope that was helpful. And then, well, and what's that one there? That's a, that's how you'd add it to a oh, stitch already. Oh, I see, I see. So to that's stitch. if you're doing it all in the same colour. It's yes. saying do a full one and then do exactly. a three-quarter yes. one. Yes. Hope that helped, Collector in Shop Shop. Another message now. Thank you, Jane. Cork is on its way. I have both these books. Kits are tempting. <laughs> Good fun. Have fun with it. It's lovely fabric. <coughs> Shall we just... Oh, hang on. Let's do this. I've got the needle case with a wonky face stitched to my... Hang on. I've got a needle case with a wonky face stitched by my mum when she was, she was at, school, at school. And it's very precious to me. Mum is still with us at 82 from Sylvia. Well, good for you, sweetheart. Aww. I have to tell you a story years and years ago. When you were 82. When <laughs> I was 82. <laughs> yeah. 
My, we'll get I had one of those awful nightmares, you know, as a mother you have, and our son was missing in this dream. And we, it's a good... In a stream? In a dream. Oh, a dream, okay. I was gonna say, well, I'd be blooming panicking, <laughs> yeah. So uh, in a dream, your son, son was, was missing. missing. And he woke me... In the dream? My, in real life. Right with a Mother's Day present, which was a needle case she'd made me at school. Oh, I was wrecked. Oh, It was a half a butterfly, so the wings opened. Oh, wow. Look, look. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, she's off. She's, she's off. off, she's off, she's off. She's off. Yes, so I uh, understand how precious it is. Here's Wendy's neighbour's picture. Go is on, it going to work? What's happening next? Oh, what? My neighbour did this for me. Wendy, that's gorgeous. That's is that cross stitch? Amazing. Amazing. Is well that done. you, Wendy? How? It looks like he's been taken from a photo, doesn't it? It probably has been taken from a picture of scan cross stitch, I'm guessing. Oh, look. I love that. That's extraordinary. Isn't Aren't it? they clever? Beautiful. Yeah, isn't it well amazing? Done. You make that from just I know, crosses I know, of thread. I know. It's, and I mean, you can do anything from the simplest geometric patterns that you could knock off in an evening yeah to something like that which will have been hundreds and hundreds of stitches yeah yeah i've just got to re I recap this before we go on linen first brand new and exclusive to us there it is finished 27.99 the sampler from the first show is completely sold out on linen just so you know Okay, and then I've also got it on Ada. Now, while we're doing that, just explain how, just explain how people get involved with the Cross Stitch Guild. Right. Because okay. uh, obviously, um, we've found a few people, haven't we? Yeah. Mentioned yeah. It. Well, the, um, the Cross Stitch Guild was formed in 1996 um, as a direct result of an incident that took place at a knitting and stitching show at Alexander Palace. Uh -huh. My husband and I were had a stand there, uh, which was called the Inglestone Collection in those days. And a lady came onto the stand crying, really upset. And I said, oh my dear, what is the matter? <coughs> Can I get you a drink of water or something? She said, no, it's hot. I said, what is the matter? And she said, I've just been on another stand of a, a guild, actually. Uh -huh. And she said, they told me my cross stitch isn't real embroidery. Right. Well, as I was leaving the stand to go and ring someone, oh, bed, no, my no, husband no, no. grabbed me yeah. back and said, no, I think we should think about this. Because you can embroider a sentence, you can embroider a story, you can do, you know. Add. Yeah. Anyway, I was very, very cross and investigated when I got home if I could start a guild for right. cross stitches. And it developed over a period of five or six months with help from friends and, and my, my guru, my um, financial advisor. And the guild was formed on March the 16th, 1996 for anybody who likes to do counted embroidery. Right. Now in America, cross stitch covers all types of counted embroidery. If you had a cross stitch book, it would have hard anger, da -da 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 -da, all, da -da -da, all sorts. Yeah. So that was the name of the guild. And it's, if you, if you love to count. Um, and I said, I wanted to um, write a book for people who count and so on. So yeah, 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 a bit yeah. of a play yeah. on words. So the guild was formed, its motto is Together We Count, and it's anything that can be counted from a chart. Okay, so moving on from that, it went from strength to strength, strength, oh, strength, strength. It's extraordinary, we've got members all over the world, um, and the magazine, I think we're just about to photograph issue 141. Right. There are five magazines a year. So some can, people can join it? You can join <coughs> it, you can join it. Uh, no skill level required. You right. just have to love to stitch. You have to give us money, actually. Yeah, yeah, you pay, you pay, yeah, you pay the you, guild you pay money. A, you pay a subscription once oh, a year. Well, you say everyone's doing subscriptions. Well, we do, yeah, yeah, that's right. So you subscribe, you get magazines, um, and it's wonderful. But the magazines are full of everything, full of patterns, full of stories, full of e e colours, anything you want to know about. All sorts and of also, things. being a member, <coughs> you get special treats as well. All don't sorts you? of treats. And we and we hold events for you, and of course you do get discount on your shopping, on the website. But the website as well, the, the 
more people go to our website all over the world <coughs> to read the cross stitch basics yeah. and look at the videos than they do to the shop. Yeah, but also when you see something exclusive here, you can't get it on the cross stitch. No. Even though it's designed by Jane for Cross Stitch Guild, cross -stitch you can't make it. You can't get yeah. it, you can't get it from them. They make it and then it's exclusive to us. One day in the future they may do, but when we launch them here. Yeah. And we say they're exclusive. You can't go. You can't now go to the cross stitch and go. Oh, I'll have that Georgian sample, please, because they won't have it. We we've only got it. Right. Me quick message, and then we'll move on. Right. Gosh, get ready to do some stitches messages. as well. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh my word! Don't get. Don't lose. Miss this though. Good morning, all. So lovely to see Jane with some new projects for me. I've stitched for over sixty-five years, and I've never been more delighted with the finished projects and with Jane's fabulous designs on the exceptional linen she provides. She inspired me to design and create an exploding box as attached during lockdown Good for my girl. daughter. Her books oh. and instructions are beautifully written and well illustrated. Looking forward to my next linen project. Best wishes to all. Happy stitches. Cordially, Kareen. Oh, what Look, a lovely Kareen. email. Look email. at the box. Now I've covered in goosebumps again. Yeah. Now. So it's all inspired by bees. Look, yeah. it's got the bee, bee, um, the, the honeycomb, honeycomb around the side, and a bee on the top. And she's made it up very similar to the to other boxes. And um, we've had them on on Sewing Street. We've had um, the sampler box, yeah. and we've had the flurry twee. I think. Do we have a, a do we have a, a, a shed one? No, not a shed. <laughs> Greenhouse. <laughs> We had the greenhouse, greenhouse, not a shed. Shed, greenhouse. Later in the year, we're going to have Moni's house on. Are we? Program. We are. It's with water to, lilies and everything. With water lilies and everything. <gasps> wow. That yeah. sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Right, now, what graphics do you got? Oh, now let me put this in first because we need to put some graphics in. Then we're going to show uh, um, Holbein again for Isabel. We're going to show Bullion and we're going to show Knots, aren't we? But I need to do these first. I need to introduce you first. This is this. You love your butterflies. I want. I, I. I would like to have one of those wonderful Victorian boxes with butterflies in. Oh but I wow! I can't bring myself to actually have something with pins through boxes. No, 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 it's just I a know. Bit, isn't it? They used to, I used to pass a shop in Islington when I lived in Islington, and it was literally a taxidermist. Yes. And I used to look in the window and think it's fascinating, but I can't. can't and they'd have, have those Victorian globes with a yes. with a linnet in it like that, and you'd think it's beautiful, but I can't have one of those in my house. Anyway, so that's what you're making. This is a compromise. Yeah. Here. On linen first, did you say? Yeah, linen, that's your linen one there. Now, you've got a clouded yellow, a painted lady, a swallowtail, a holly blue, and a peacock on there. And let me have a look just to remind myself. So they're all pre-sorted, look. Yeah, pre-sorted threads. I'll put that back over there. So that's your, that's your linen one there for 17 99 And then there's your Ada one. And you get, if you look at the original, the pin is actually a little pearl. Oh, yes. And you get the, the pearls like then. Like the pearl pin. And there they are. Oh. With a sharp so that you can do them. Uh, Ada's most popular in that one so far. Right, so what are you going to show us now? So we've got about like, 15 minutes left. I'm going to just do a couple of knots. Let's just get me white mark in line. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to anchor this over... Oh, can you do a brimstone embroidery kit with the lime green, please? That's what, this, not me. That's not oh, me. That's ladies have been you're asking. Just checking, that. are you? No, no, no. Oh, that catches something. Now, said, no, not minute. now. Not, yeah, do one now. Um, love to see Jane and John. I like Jane's hair like that. Says Julia. Thank you. Um, and lots of people coming in saying it's a brimstone butterfly. Yeah, we'll do that. Right. Okay, what are we so doing now? What I'm going to do a colonial knot. Colonial knot. So this is if you really can't face French knots, and right. lots of people can't. I'm going to do this, I'm right handed, there we are. Okay. Again. So what did you do? You brought the thread through from underneath. I'm going to put the needle over. Right. Round. Yeah. Post. I'm posting it in the next hole. The way you've come through the first time. So yes. there's one there's one thread of one linen. Thread. Yeah. Now that's if you were an embroiderer, which yeah. I know we are, but if you're working on embroidery linen, yeah. like hanky linen, etc., you can go down the same hole and use a sharp needle. Oh okay. If you do that on this linen, you have a tendency to get them all on the back. Yes. Yeah, it would pull through, wouldn't it? Yeah, they can pull yeah. through. So if I just pull that up again, so yeah. I'll do another one. Yeah. So these to me, I think, seem Slightly more reliable 
than a French. Than a French. Now, I do French a lot, and I'm happy with them, but I know they can cause havoc. And do they look the same on a finished... They're slightly different if you've got a magnifying glass. Okay, yeah. But they'll give the same effect. But exactly. Yeah. And if you... Back to the same thing as when you're doing... Um, um, suppose you're doing a foxglove yeah. in French knots, right? You wouldn't do more winds on the needle. You would use more thread right. in the needle, right? Because you know, if you roll up a piece of paper, you can push it out. Yes, it yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that's what happens eventually. You'll find you'll unravel your French knots oh, on I the see. front. So, if you want to do different size knots, French knots in a row. You want small at the top and get into bigger. Exactly. You don't wrap it around the needle more. You put one thread in for the first couple, then two threads in, exactly. then three threads in. Then ribbon, then wool. Yep, yep. Then a scarf. So that's, that is, <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, whoops, that's a colonial mark. Right, you okay. Now, there is a video of colonial knots. Where? And I'm, well, I'm just remembering. It must be on the Cross Stitch Girl website. Um, uh, having to think now to do a French knot, yeah. this is my version again. Right. Yeah, yeah. I have the needle under your thumb, wrap twice, right? Post the point. Now I'm supporting the needle underneath, right? And then I give it a little tug, yeah, and pull. You see, now as a lay person, I can't see any difference between that and the see, well, yeah. I can't either, yeah. <laughs> And you're an expert. And I'm, well, not an expert. But I mean, I learnt to do French knots after it being destroyed one evening. I was doing a crib board on a game sampler. I was near deadline. It was two in the morning. I'd already heard sailing by on yeah. the radio. And I needed to go to bed. And all the French knots were on the back or up the front. Oh, or somewhere. no. And I thought, I am going to beat this. Sorry. Yeah, right. No, no, no. Uh, hi, love of the show. What's the best to start out on, Linen or Ada, from Kate and Kent? Question hey, you ask lots, isn't it? Yes. This? The answer to that is, I don't know. Um, before the camera moves, I'm going to show you what yeah, you yeah, do yeah, on yeah. linen. That's what you've got. So if I bring my needle up here. Right here, there you go. Okay. And I'm going to, if it was Ada, these would be in boxes. Right. But because it isn't Ada, I've got to cross two threads that way and two threads that way. Right. Now that's not how I stitch now. I'll show you how I do it in a minute. Okay. Bear with me. Set. So I work in my hand and I sew. Oh, hang on, we can't see that. Just leave that. No, 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 it's only about there, go. So you're doing lots of ticks one way. Exactly. And then you go back and do the ticks the other way. Exactly. I'm not doing this very well. Sorry. No, that's fine. No, no, that's fine. Upstairs, I'll move it again in a second. Yeah. I should have had bigger fabric with me for this. That's rubbish. So basically, on Ada, you put your needle through the holes that are already there. Yes. And on linen, so if I just show these yes. two. Oh, you've got it there. You've got it there. You go. So on, so on Ada, Ada, there's the half crosses. Hang on a sec, we just know, might need to move your head back a little bit for me, sorry. There you go. And we'll put it in shot. There you go. Uh, so we... there's cro the crosses, that's the halves. Right. And then back again. Yep. Now, this is obviously easier to see the holes. Yes. Um, and you may prefer to do that as your first project. All right? And yep. there's nothing wrong with this material. No. Because I, I wear the stuff, my curtains are made of yeah, it, the yeah. surface covered in, everything. I love linen. I love the feel of it. I love the smell of yeah. it. Um, it's, you know, they found linen in the tombs of the pharaohs. Oh, wow. It'll outlive us all. Yeah. Um, so I like it for that purpose. Um, but no, it's okay, basically. You choose. Okay, basically, you've got to choose whether you want to do the holes or cat count the threads and that is and one easier you can't I say think, that because you learnt well, on linen I, I learnt on linen but that's an accident I think it would be true to say that if you're it's your first project if you choose something small like one of the pin cushions and do it on Ada so you understand how to follow the chart and what I'm Good talking idea. about and yeah. the destructions yeah. and then your next project could easily be on linen yeah um, and and I mean I, I've 
uh, we've got a lady, I'm not allowed to mention her name again. I did mention her name oh, once okay. and I got ticked off. Yes. And there is a particular lady out there um, whose first design was my hedgerow sampler on right. linen. Yeah. And it's this size. Right. And she rang me and said, there's no printing on the fabric. You've oh, forgotten to do no. it. Yes. And I explained, and she's an extremely talented stitcher now, but she had to master linen on a big project. Yeah. It, it, it's only more of the same. Yeah. And yet, that, that's and the it's point. Not a it's not nothing of Jane's. It's painted on. The, it's all counted. But you always start from scratch. Right. Very quickly, we need to do Holbein for, for Isabel. Lady. Right. If this time I've got just one thread here. Right. Which I'm obviously not going to not split lick, on. No. While you're doing that, you know the eye stitch we've all been talking about. We've got some in stock still. Oh. So we'll just pop the graphics in for that. Um, what is the eye stitch? Right. The eye stitch is. A slightly shortened down version of the program I use every day of my right. life. And you're able to design cross stitch by hand with your mouse. Yeah. You can scan in pictures and turn them into cross stitches. You can use any of the two and a half thousand little cross stitch patterns that are on there already. Uh, there's sections on cards, on samplers, on bisque news. You can just print them out and, and work them. I tend to work from my screen right. often. Uh, as well as scribbling out. Yeah. Um, and what, what do you put it on? What, what is it? It needs to be on a PC. Right. So not a Mac. Right. Uh, okay. It's not Apple friendly. So no. it needs to go on a PC. Um, I can remember when mine was originally, I got it. I told the poor boy who invented it that um, when I first got his original program, this was, and I don't know how long ago it is, 25 years probably. And I said, I, I'm not going to go and buy a computer. What well, I'll buy it if you come to my house with the program and the computer and everything, and I'll just pay you, and you leave when I know how it goes. <laughs> Joe Verse had done this to him about a fortnight before, yeah. so I knew it was possible. Anyway, he came and set it up, and I can tell you to absolutely true, the bill was five thousand and eight p. Oh right, and that was. A 486 computer, so pre Pentium. Yeah. It was a, that deep with a screen that, that size. Yeah. Uh, a keyboard, a mouse, a colour printer, a black and white printer, the cross stitch programme. Well, it's quite a lot of your money then. You couldn't spend that now. No. Actually, you might be able to spend that on a Mac, actually. Yeah. Um, but it, the whole thing about it is, is you can create your own cross stitch designs. So if you've got, there it is, if you've got a picture of your house or a picture of your favourite dog. Actually, Wendy's uh, one earlier, I said, is it from a photo? Was it Wendy's yes. daughter, did you say? Yes, it was the beautiful Cat. The air hostess. Cat. Yeah, was it, did you say it was Wendy's daughter? I love it when they don't listen to us. Wendy's daughter, yeah. Oh, sorry, Fix is busy chatting in the gallery. I'm sorry, everybody, just a live show, you know. <laughs> um, right. We had a... We, we get pictures sent to us, you know, that people have done using eye stitch. Uh -huh. And one woman, I mean, the extremes, she did a dungeon and dragon thing for her grandson. Right. She did their stately home. Yes. And the Starship Enterprise. Oh, my word. But that from shows photograph. you can do it. You can do it, anything. Any extremes. Yeah. yeah. Right. So Message from Lisa. I have used Ada for years. I was scared of using linen, but I was so glad to give linen a go. And I've never looked back. Thank you, Jane, from Lisa oh, well in Leicestershire. Done. Uh, and then a question. Said, there's nothing wrong with Ada. It's, it's, oh. it's, the point is that there are things you can't do on Ada. There are stitches that don't work unless you've got the extra threads. Extra, extra right, so you don't put those into your designs that are Ada then? You know the stitches you can't you, do? Yes, which is you why some things else. aren't available on both. Right, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it possible to join the Guild as a gift for someone else? My sister loves cross stitch, yes. so I'd love to give this. It's a gift from Christine. Yes, you'd need to do it by phone rather than on the internet, just yeah. so it doesn't confuse the situation. Um, because obviously you have to get your membership number, and that's the thing that gives you your discounts, etc. Yeah. And also make sure the magazine comes. Yeah. You can certainly give it as a gift, lots of people do. But you need to do it on the telephone. Okay, hold mine. Right, there you are. Isabel, be watching. Isabel, are you there? So this is the beginning of Holbein. So I've done some running stitches. Hang on, we're just coming to you. There we go. Can you see yeah. that? There you there are. There we go. Perfect. Don't move it now. I won't move it. It's always a half a minute trying to stitch and not move it. Right. So there's my away waist knot, and there are some stitches. Now right. all that Holbein is. 
is not moving it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and going back and filling in the gaps. Uh, Nathan, um, Nathan wants to buy it for his mum as well. Literally, you could just ring the look up Cross Stitch Guild. Ring the Cross Stitch Guild. And it's called Cross Stitch Guild of Great Britain, is it? It's, it's the crossstitchguild.com. So Google that, crossstitchguild.com, get the phone number. You'll mostly get Andrea or one of the other girls who will yes. answer, and they'll sort it all out for you. Yes, there's a free phone number oh. um, if you want to, to do that. Yeah. And as I said, um, we seem to be... You know, we seem to have got an amazing fan base now. Yeah. And and hopefully, I don't want to say we teach good practice because it sounds like... Grandma I, sucking eggs. That's, yeah. yeah. But but we try to help. And well, it's community. It's, it's a it's, friendly community. It's a friendly that's community. What it is. And what we want is you to enjoy it, not be disappointed when you finished it. Yeah. To give an example, I used to do stretching and mounting for my local framer. Yeah. And I had a grandfather clock to stretch and mount. It must have been three or four feet long. Uh -huh. And it was covered in whiskers where she hadn't finished off the end. Right. Around the edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I couldn't cut them all off because it was going to be a problem. And I knew how disappointed she was going to be when she saw it framed. Right. Because it was going to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So try and make it so everyone's thrilled with their Good. work. Right. So back to Isabel. You've done a line of stitches and now you're going back just filling in yes. the gaps in between the stitches. So it looks the same on both sides. So it looks the same back and front. Look. She's watching. Right. Is there anything else? And of course, it looks support? very straightforward when you're going in straight lines. Right. Oh, OK. It gets a bit tricky when you're going round the edge of a flower. Right. But you just have to remember you're going alternately and then go back and fill in. Yeah, but and you've got a line to follow. Yes, so you've okay. done your first line round. Yes. You've got that line to then follow going back. Exactly. You? And it might it might look a little bit geometric because you'll have corners to go around, but it's kind of but it does work it'll it blend. Out. There are some times when you get, for, and as I said, there will be occasions when you have to do some of it in backstitch. Yeah. Because the only way to get from the edge, traditionally, black work was always done by drawing the outside of the flower, uh -huh. which you'd work in two strands and then you divide up the petals say and you would choose the stitches that went in right. to show the density of the flower so you might do very solid stitches mm -hmm. very fine stitches you might even do part of stitches there is a baby elephant on the wall at the royal school of needlework oh yes and i swear that elephant's trunk moves oh so the t most talented embroideress did this baby elephant in such a way she's even used just part of a stitch right at the tip of his ears and i mean he looks like his trunks on the move it's very clever i would like she's it. not been drinking i've not right been drinking. two messages we've got to go two it's messages rare, but i actually haven't been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> i absolutely love watching john and jane it's like being with friends you've known a long time Thank you. i bought the stitch book during my lost years isolating and i've started stitching again after more than 35 years well thank done, you liz. from liz well how lovely is that for you Smashing. to inspire well, I got a lovely message yesterday, and I'm not sure if it was on Facebook, if it came through to me direct, but it was the most moving message about how a lady, no, it's not from you, Cap, to me saying, and now I'm, I don't teach you, I just stand here and shout at you, sort of thing, but she said, because of uh, here, and because of sewing quarter, and, and Jane, she said, Jane Alcock as well, she said, it was like we've re booted her it, life it, and yes. the, 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 it's just Amazing. such a lovely feeling to think we can stand here shouting and squawking like I do, <laughs> right? Um, anyway, look. I've got to say, mention this one. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at the writing on that one. Morning, Jane and John. Here's a small selection of I cards I make for friends and family for my birthdays and Christmas. I use 14 count Ada or punched card and yes. then mount them. Wow. Who's that from? Glennis. Hope you like them. Well done, they're smashing. Glennis, they're those super. frocks are lovely. So Kat's birthday is in <laughs> July. <laughs> Bruce's birthday's in June. I'm in May. She's May. When's yours, Kat? Feb oh, you've missed, you've missed cats. Feb well, we need some cards. Yeah. Anyway, don't, no, don't, don't, because that's coming in. Anyway, Jane, <laughs> it's over again. So quick, doesn't it? When are you in that? Well, you know, when you're I'm in back. Oh. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm back the week before the Jubilee. I can't remember the date. The end of May. Oh. The end of May. End of May. Brilliant. End of, end May, of May. With, end of May. with a royal something or other. Okay. Don't say too much. When's that? June the 4th is the day we have the date. We won't get the dates off, I'll be. <laughs> Watch your bet. Watch your bet that long weekend. 
with the extra. I'll be in. I'll be in that weekend. Do you watch a bit? Anyway, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Uh, thanks ever so much. That's it's been right, lovely Tracy. to see and you. you oh, it's nice to get back to hugging. Exactly. Isn't it? Uh, and we oh, we haven't done it now. I'm going to email you after the show with the okay. dates that I can come for lunch, and you can pick one of those dates. Right. We've been saying since we first met. Oh, do come for lunch. lunch. Do come for lunch. Do come and for I've lunch. I've got to remember he doesn't eat anything. No, I'll bring my own. <laughs> I'll bring my strawberries in a tin. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I can't, I'll be back after the break. I've got overlockers. I've got adjuster forms. I'm sure I had something else. Oh, and I've got a special deal on some cave uh, pre-cuts. I will see you in four minutes from now, and I'll see you in May. Bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven, full of friendly, warm hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! So this item is called Overlockers Adjust Forms, but... Got a bit of a deal coming on there as well for you. Um, at half past, half past, so if you're thinking, oh, I don't want an overlocker, I don't want an Adjust Form, make sure you're around at half past. It's on pre-order. Okay. I'll tell you what it is, so if you can come back, right? They're all wrapped up in their bag because you weren't supposed to see these. Oh. Hot and cold, warm and cold, summer, winter, whatever it's called. Bright and not bright. These are K Facet <clears throat> design rolls, jelly rolls, design rolls. They come as a team, don't they? <clears throat> in a bundle, you can get both of them. How much are they meant to be? For the two, 89.98, right? We're gonna do a deal. We're gonna do your deal on those at half past. Oh, they're lovely. They're so lovely. Right, let's put those there then. Right, overlockers first of all. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got overexcited that in that break, saying goodbye to Shane. I want this. I so want this machine, and I'm going to cheat myself to it, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. <clears throat> that's your price, that is your price, you can get it on split pay, £211.80, over five split pays, but look what you get today, if you buy it today, now we always say, don't we, just leave three, one of three colours on your machine, white, grey or black, we give in this box, which is worth how much, £52.99, <clears throat> Excuse me, £52.99. That box comes as a free gift today. Beautiful, is it? Now, if, you, if you've already bought your overlock, you're thinking, oh, I wanted those. I do sell these on their own. Do you want to do it on your own now? Let's do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it. I'll show you the other ones I've got as well. So these, you get four black, four grey, and four white. There's how many metres on there in total? <clears throat> 1,200 metres on each pull. Oh, hang on a sec. No, there's not. Because there's three and one. So these are, th one's a different thread. So you get nine aero locks, which are, and you get three aero flocks. 
The aeroflocks only have a thousand meters on them. Yeah, these here. Oh, here. Yeah, they only have a thousand meters on them. Anyway, gorgeous box there, fifty-two ninety-nine. But if you buy the overlocker today, you get those for free. Now, before I go on to the overlocker, I've got these. I've never seen these before. I got rather excited when I saw these on the trolley this morning. I can't open it. Look at the colours. Now, forty-four ninety-nine. <coughs> Dance costumes. You get a white, a black, an orange, a green, a yellow, a pink, a dark green, a blue, a red, a beige, uh, a taupe. <laughs> I can't see what colour that one is under there. How many of these have I got? Oh, I'm not going to rip it open then. What colour is that one in there? Grey. I've got the air threader. It's gorgeous machine and so easy to thread. Well worth the extra cost. Okay, I, I agree. If you can afford it, then I get it. The only, the only downside of this, right, is not downside. I'd save these for decorative overlocking stitches because you've only got one of each colour. Do you know what I mean? What you really need is four of each colour, isn't it, really? So I just use those as decorative. But how brilliant is that? Let me read what it says. This is Aeroflock. Um, it's a soft, soft, fully looped thread for the overlocker machine. Uh, uh, ideal for elastic seams on underwear and lingerie, sportswear and swimwear. Perfect for an overlock thread for wool and knitted fabrics. Suited for decorative seams, high elasticity, excellent sliding properties, guaranteed durability, including with frequent washing and exposure to stress. Oh, I have that. Uh, Disruption-free sewability, even on sophisticated multiple overlock machines. Let me just show you the picture on the back. Jake, could you show? These have only been on air once, but I've not seen them. Forty-four ninety-nine. Who had them? Oh, Vic had them. Right. Let's get back to this gorgeous machine then. I'm just going to take a slurp of this, otherwise I won't be able to talk. Oh, it might be a bit hot. I'll do the water. I'll do the water. I'll do the water. This machine is gorgeous, um, and mainly because of its ease of threading up, right? What a lot of people are frightened about with their overlockers is that they're just terrified of how to thread them up. This machine is so easy. I'll just set this out of here, and I'll open the front piece here. You see, this is your upper looper and your lower looper. You don't have to do anything to thread those up. What you do is you turn this, not, this nodule here to, uh, to threading. You turn uh, this, uh, the clutch here, you turn, oh, hang on. You turn it until it cl clicks like that. Nothing can move, right? And then what you literally do is you take your thread up from the back of the machine here, through the telescope, through the tension, down here and then you just put the end of the thread into that hole there now you do need to put about an inch and a half of your thread into there then you lift this up push it down the air forces the thread all the way through there and it comes out from the lower looper then you do this oh, and you have to turn that to that one obviously then you turn it to the other one do exactly the same with your second thread then that's your, that's your looper, your upper looper and your lower looper threaded. Then what you do is to do your needles, you literally bring your thread through here. I just think show that. Down there and along there, you take it over this um, little arm here, down and through the needle. It even has a needle threader for both the left needle and the right needle. Oh, yeah, the, the, I'll come to that in a minute. But the needles are supposed to be at different heights, right? So then you can then use the machine. Everything's ready to go. Nothing will work. It won't work. Whilst this is open, do as much as you like. The machine won't work. So that's the safety in there. You, your blade is in there. Uh, you can take the blade out or you can take the blade out further so you can do a different size seam allowance. Um, and then you're ready to go. You just literally close it. You put the, th you put the um, thread uh, catcher on the side there. And then you literally get your fabrics. Now, if you're just finishing off the edges, you know, um, when Rebecca Harrison comes in, all her pattern pieces are already finished off around the edge. You literally can just run it through the machine like this. 
So they can come. Gorgeous. So look, so then this is me just using grey to finish the edge of this fabric here. So you can see, if you're just finishing the edge, how gorgeous that is. It makes it look very professional and everything like that. Now, this isn't a stretch fabric. This is just a cord joint, needle cord, but it means that all your edges are finished off before you sew it together. However, if you're making dancewear or stretchy or t-shirts or anything like that, I sort of showed this earlier, didn't I? If you, oh, I think, oh no, that's scissors. Right, sewing a seam together or using an overlocker. Well, they suggest that you don't lift the foot up. You can lift the foot up like a sewing machine, but they suggest you don't do it. You can literally just lift it like this with your thumb. You can just li literally get your fabric underneath. Line it up, there's a 5 8 of an inch seam here, but you can dime it up to whatever seam you want to do. It cuts off the excess fabric. You see, so all of that has come off. Ooh. All of that's come off there. Let me just chop that off. That goes into your waste tray. Your seam is finished off. Look how you can stretch it. You see, now you were meant to do that if you had a straight stitch in there, would you? And then, there's your, oh, I, don't, I don't know why I've done a box corner. There's your finished seam on your garment. They're so, I, I can't tell you how brilliant this machine is. I cannot tell you how much time this will save. And I cannot tell you how much you're going to love your garments when you, even if you're making a cushion. So if you think of a cushion, you just want to finish the inside edges off. You know, like if you've got your three layers of your wadding and your whatever, and you've done a, like, like um, Victoria Carrington did the other day, just want to trim around the edges to make it neat inside. Just go around the edges. It's fantastic. Does come with a um, spare blade. I'll tell you what it comes with in a minute. You can, don't put any old needles in here. It tells you what needles you have to get. But if you ring um, Elna, they'll be able to either sell them to you or they'll be able to um, tell you where to get them from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you bought this bundle, uh, which is very limited, by the way, if you buy this bundle, the machine comes from Elna with a two-year warranty. Please do not use express delivery because um, it, well, we can't do it from dropship, but the threads will come from us. So if you, you wake up in the morning, the postman's knocking on the door going, here's your threads. Here's your threads, right? There's something funny goes on when we cut to... to anyway, looks like there's a white thingy. Um, if he says, here's your threads, don't think, oh, they've forgotten to send me my overlocker. Or if your overlocker arrives and your thread doesn't, it's because the, uh, the overlock comes from Elna and the threads come from us. As well as if you've bought something else today, they will... Now, if you bought the early bird and you bought an overlocker and you buy a, a adjust form in a minute, the overlocker will come from Elna, the adjust form will come from adjuster form and all the bits and bobs will come from us. So you'll have three deliveries, all for three, all for three ninety five. Don't pay any extra whatsoever. Now, I know that that's a considered purchase. £1,059 is a considered purchase. Don't buy it if you're just starting off, because you might not, not carry on your dressmaking journey. But if you're looking for a really excellent, top quality overlocker, then this is the one. you And, and stress-free when it comes to threading it up completely and utterly stress-free when you're threading up. It's so easy, I can't tell you. Literally did, I didn't have to do it this morning because it was already done, but when I did it the other morning, it took five minutes, if that, if that. And I had Charlie whittering on at me, chatting and everything. And it, yeah, going on, Lizzie. Um, got two slides to show you. Here's the first one. Air threading system, two, three or four thread overlocking. Built-in needle threaders for both needles. Adjustable differential feed. The differential feed is like your walking foot where uh, you can uh, do the different, the top can go through at a different speed to the bottom or the same speed as the bottom. Five level presser foot. Eight piece feed dog system. Built in two thread converter. Built in thread cutter. And you've got a maximum sewing speed of up to 1,300. If that's too fast, you can adjust it. Now, I, now that's, I've just read that. I don't know where you adjust that. That's interesting, isn't it? Mm. 
fascinating. It must be one. I'm not going to tell you which one it is in case it's the wrong one. Right, let's have a look at the picture again. Uh, so let's have a look. What have I missed out there? Oh, there we go. Moving on. Accessory box, screwdriver, it's large and small, tweezers, needle set. Oh, I can't see what the next one is. Oh, net, spool cap, lint brush, uh, spare upper blade, double-ended wrench, needle holder, uh, looper, thread away. You don't need that because the air threader does it for you. Waist tray, foot controller and dust cover. Now, you can do a full thread program, which is overlocking which you just saw me doing, stretch knitting, which you just saw me doing, decorative over edging, I haven't done that, and gathering. Oh, we must do a gathering uh, demonstration one day as well. And then the, uh, with three threads, you can do overlock regular, overlock wide, rolled hem, if you're making scarves for Christmas or for birthdays, narrow hem, pico hem, flat lock and pin tuck. I haven't got the rest of that slide on my screen, I'm afraid. Two threads is flat lock and rolled hem. Now. If you're only doing two threads, you don't need both needles, right? You don't need both needles. If you're only using one of the needles, they do suggest that you take the needle out that you're not using. Only because otherwise it'll be going up and down into your fabric and making holes in your fabric that you don't need to. Also, when you take the needle out, this is the cat's tip, she slides a piece of paper underneath the, the foot so that if the needle does drop out, it doesn't drop into the workings of your machine, it just lands on the piece of paper. Uh, and when you thread them, when you put the needles back in, they're supposed to be at different levels. It's very subtle, but they are just at different levels on there. Just on the needles there, Cap. Ooh. Look, see, one, one is just, it's only, it's minimal. This, this is the, um, keep that there, this is the um, needle threader. Yeah, look. That 5 eighths of an inch there is most dress patterns are got 5 eighths of a seam allowance. So if you line up the edge of your fabric with that 5 eighths mark, you'll be stitching dead on the line that you're supposed to be stitching on. But you can change that. You can move the needle in and out. Oh, uh, what? Okay, out of all of this, right, we gave this to Rebecca Harrison to use. This is the bit she liked best, the waist tray. Hers hasn't got one, you see. Yeah, yeah, I thought of everything, Bruce. And it's easy, so easy to use, and yet top quality stitching. Really, really, and I wouldn't be saying I'm gonna buy one, and I'm not like those uh, shopping telly presenters, I've got this, I'm buying this, I've got this, I've got this. And no, I will get it. I haven't got anywhere to put it, and I haven't got any time to use it at the moment. When the book's out, maybe. Maybe my next book could be Overlocking with John Scott. Who knows? That'll be a, yeah, right. Now, if you're not, spent, don't want to spend that much, which I completely understand, but look at the split pay. Also, I will say this, <clears throat> my mum and dad would also go, oh, we're not having anything on tick. We don't buy things on tick, right? It's there for a reason. Don't feel embarrassed by using it or anything. It's there for a reason. We want you to be able to get the best quality and the best machines for your hobby, right? So it's £211.80 for five, five months, isn't it? Yeah, five months, right? You only pay one PMP of 3 dollars It's got a two-year warranty. comes from Elna. Um, <clears throat> but, if, if, but also, do you know what? I'm, Duke, I'm, not, I'm not saying... Uh, buy this one, not that one, but the Dukey one, Air Threader, is 1295 So you can pay more. Um, now, I have got uh, overlockers here, which other people have got, and they love them, but they don't have the air threading. So you do have... I'm not going to call it extra stress, but you do have the... that You've got ad added um, skill that you need to learn. Oh, I know what I can do, Kat. This will make it easier. Right. Yeah, so let's do, I've got two, right? Here we go, look at these, right? One, two. No! Right, if everyone's got the air threader in their basket, checks out, there's one left. There's one left with that deal. Well, no, there's one left, full stop. We are, when we went for our meeting yesterday, as well as all the other things we asked for, which nothing got done, Cat to do it all this morning when you got here. Um, we asked for more overlockers and they went, yeah, yeah, we can sort that, we can sort that. No. Oh, Hayley's not even in today. 
Hayley's not even in today. So anyway, this is your air threader. These two are brilliant machines, don't get me wrong. These are brilliant machines, but I just need to tell you about them, right? So you've got the Pro, hang on which way around, the Elna 664 and the Elna 664 Pro. They're basically the same machine, but like the 560, 570, 550, 560, 570 sewing machines, when you go up from the regular to the Pro, you get a few more bits and bobs. Which one would you like first? This one here, right? So this is the six, oh no, this one, 664, 664. This one, you do have to thread all four, but easily all of the instructions are in there, but you do have to thread your lower looper, your upper looper, and your two needles. It's the lower looper and the upper looper that are the most difficult, but look at the price. At 309 pounds, three-way split pay 103. Right, Karen. Split pay is the best. I've never wanted HP, but using split pay meant I'd get my wonderful dukey and five months went by so quickly. There you go, you see? <clears throat> and I, I, I know it's, the thing is, right? Th this is right, if you put it on your credit card, you've got 309 pounds on your credit card, but then next month you think, oh, I can only afford to pay 103 pounds off it. How much interest before the next month and then the next month? Because I'm shocked when I first got a credit card, I didn't realize it worked like that. And I kept thinking, why, is, why, do I earn, why do I owe more this month than I owed last month? Do you know what I mean? It just kind of completely and utterly threw me. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so this is your uh, 664. It's a lovely, lovely, before the air threader came along, this is the one I said, oh, get this one, get this one. It's a really good price and it's affordable and it's um, got that warranty from uh, Elna, right? So now you might as well be thinking, what's the difference between the 664 and the 664 Pro. Well, the 664 Pro is exactly the same machine, but this one has your waste tray, but more importantly, this one has the little screen here. Oh, hang on, she's round here. So you've got here a program display panel, right? So all the stitches that the machine does are all listed here. So if you want to know which stitch you're going to do, you just turn it to your choice of stitch. So say we're doing number, can't see what that is. Nine, is it? There you go. Number nine, there are 12 different programs. <clears throat> it tells you where your needles have to be, what your tension has to be. Everything that you need to know is all there on that little thing. Now, obviously, if you buy the, uh, not the pro, the, the standard, right? All of that information is in the brochure. It's just not on the front of the machine. So you, can, you still get all that information, but you have to go find your brochure to, to put it in. So that one's £479, split pay of £159.66. Okay, there's a little slide, apparently. Okay, Hannah made this. Let's have a look at it. With the all-round machine, like the Elna Extend 664 or 664 Pro, you can easily handle a variety of fabrics, including the most difficult and lightweight, such as jersey, silk, or fine voile. What you have to make sure is you keep your uh, blade sharp, that's all. Features such, such as the adjustable presser foot and pressure control make this easier. And then there's a chart then of the two different, two different machines and what each one has. But as you can see, there's not that much difference, is there? Let's just have a look. The mode thing is the program and the, and the, and the, um, oh, hang on now, that, that's, oh, okay. So the 664, um, the safety device, if you keep the front open on the 664, it doesn't work. So it means when you're threading up, no, yeah, when you're threading up the 664, you need to switch it off um, because the 664 Pro, <clears throat> when you open it, oh dear, my voice isn't going to last. <clears throat> the 664 Pro will switch off once you open it. Oh, does it? Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Right, I'm just having a look now, because, um... Oh, I think you might have dreamt that, Kat. Where is it, then? No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll we'll look at it for next time. Apparently, there's a button you can press which pulls the needles forward. I've never, ever seen that for you to be able to thread them. Who knew? On oh, me? You sure? No. 
I don't know where it is. Oh, maybe it has to be switched. Oh, I don't know. We'll find that out for you. Tilting needle clamp, it's called. Anyone's got the machine? Can you let me know? How brilliant. There'll be a button somewhere in there. Anyway, the choice is yours, basically. I will find out. I will find out. I promise I'll find out. Uh, so there's your three choices. I know which one I'd go for, but obviously it's all about price, isn't it? Oh, there's only one air threader left. There's one air threader left now. So let me just put that there. There was a typo earlier, we changed it. It's 13,800 meters. I don't even know what I've done. Oh, they've gone now. You get the threads as a free gift from us. Gorgeous. There's only one left. Oh, it's, oh, it's nearly half past. I'll keep talking for two minutes and then we'll go and do our just phones because I've got to do my special at half past. Have you? Where is it? It's what? I've got a message from Kerry. On the 664 Pro Needle Tilt, it's the red button by the needles. Oh, there it is. What did you press it in? <gasps> yep, there you go. Well done, Kat, I didn't know that. She said that she watched Jane show me how to do it. Right, I'm just coming around the side of the desk here. This is only on the Pro. There's a little red button up here. You press the, you see that button there? You press the button in. Oh, they've gone back. Pre right, hang on, I can't do it from the right. Press the button in and the needles well, come forward. You'll be able to do it really easy at home. Look. The needles come forward. Oh, you won't have my hands. Yeah, right? There's the needles come forward. So you can thread it. Then you just press the red button in again. And they go back. Make sure it's clicked back into, into place. Make sure it's switched off while you're doing that as well. Well, I never. Also, I've just seen something else on this machine. What's this little window here? What's this window here? Oops. What's that window there? Yeah, it's a window with something in it. Oh, here you go. Uh, let's see if you... Oh, I see. It's that... Oh, I have to look that one up. It's the moving. The little arrow's moving. Oh, who messaged in about the, where the button was? Kerry, what's, what's this little window for? What's this one for on the side here? I'm thinking it might be the moving of the... the, the oh, yes, it is. It, you're moving the blade, I think, with that one. Anyway, it's fascinating, isn't it? Right, now I've got to clear the table because I've got to do the half past special. Can we have the half past special sting, please? Pardon? Right, there's only one of these left. One of those left, right? Right, now. People have already started checking out these without knowing the price. Oh, no. Right. This was supposed, to, right, yesterday, handsome Liam from the warehouse was supposed to deliver these, right? He came through the door with them like this and I went, Liam, it's five past one, we're finished, we're going home. Anyway, these are Kaif Facet design rolls. If you buy them after midnight tonight, they will, or any other time, they will cost you 89 pounds and 98 pence. That $44.99 each. Right, so you've got a bright one and you've got a, is that called cool, that one? Yeah, cool one. I'm not going to open them because they're all going to go. Right, so if you buy those together, anytime normally, you would pay $89.98. They're two and a half inch strips, remember? Uh, they're width of fabric, 44 inches wide, and they are exquisite. The colours are just beautiful. So, my half past 12 special for today. No messing, one big crash straight down. People are already checked out without knowing. Oh, and how many were there? Oh, more than half the stock's gone already. 20 pounds off. Only till midnight tonight though, 20 pounds off. So that's 10 pounds off each design roll for as your special today, your half past 12 special today. 
Imagine what you're going to do. Oh, if you've got Amanda Little's um, oscillating squares or wiggly lines. No, that's not the right word. Oscillating squares or casualty, I'm going to call it. Keep going through, keep going through. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to stay with you. I was just going to have some of my lemon water then. It's all right, Bruce. Don't... Bruce, Bruce. Can I just talk to Bruce? Stop apologising. Every time I go, can I have this? I'm only asking. Oh, I'm sorry, John. Do you don't need to... You don't have to apologise to me, Bruce. Do you hear me? Okay. But you can, if you're wrong, you do. Oh, we go. Kerry, Kerry, Kerry. Yeah, it's the blade position, John. And the needles come right up to 90 degrees. Oh, I didn't dare pull it any further. Love mine. Regretted waiting so long to get it. And it's so easy to thread. There you go. No, that's not the air. Wait till you get the air threader, Kerry. 69.98. Keep going through for these. 20 pounds, cat's just taken off those. Hello? I'm staying with you for a little while. Oh, when you all checked out, there's four left. When you've all checked out, there's four left. Right now, uh, a few people have bought multiples. You don't have to put it in twice to get both. That 69.98 is for both. That code VW6629 is for both. Are you sure, Kerry, that they go at 90 degrees? Can unthread it. Toy. Keep going through for the cave. Keep going through for the cave. Loads, you got it in your basket. You need to check out. No, what? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going any lower. Don't sit within your basket thinking, oh, cat will feel sorry for us and take it down. That's it. That's your price. She does not feel sorry for anybody in this world, says that cat. I'm just going to move them back like that. Yeah, that'll be my next calendar. Calendar girls. Oh. Don't, I've done, I've already done the nudie calendar. 1999 this morning. I was uh, naked apart from a tie. It was one very big tie. Uh, 69.98. There's a film somewhere of us all being, you know, they did a documentary of the making of it. Keep going through for those. I just have one more slurp of my lemon. How many haven't checked out now? Oh, right. There's one left. There's one left. If you check, if you, if you, after everyone's checked out, there's one left. Thanks, John. I've just, <laughs> I've just spluttered the coffee up the window. So, were you like that, looking at the net curtains, that, that, drinking your coffee? I don't know why I pulled that face. I was just drinking, you know what, I've gone back onto my lemon and ginger stir and it's delicious. Oh, what was that? Okay, 69.98, please check out. Right, there's way too many people, got it in their baskets now. You get 20 pounds off, look at them, they're gorgeous. 20 pounds off, what are you going to do with them? Are they going to sit in your stash cupboard? Remember, they'll go with every other case that you've got. All of CAFE's collective all go together. And imagine mixing those two, the cool and the bright, together. Be stunning. Oh, you could do a temperature quilt. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Right, I'll come back in a minute. Cause, right, is there still one overlocker left? I'm a bit worried that it's going to be left on its own at the sh on the shelf. And I know what that feels like. Remember, you get threads, threads, threads for free. £52, £99 worth of overlocking threads, threads for free. But there's only one left. There's only one left now. We'll get the machine back in again, but when? Who knows? How much? Well, it can still be the same price. It'll be the same price, but you won't get the £50 worth of threads. Uh, hi, John. I can tell you're feeling better as your sense of humour is back. Jeanette, have I been bad this week? Everyone was telling me I was really naughty this week, even though I was poorly. 
Oh, overlock has gone. Overlock has gone. Congratulations if you've got any of those. Congratulations. Means I'll have to wait now till the next batch, won't I? I don't mind. I don't, I've got nowhere to put it at the moment. Um, it's really funny because you know I've got my 680 machine, which I adore, my Elna 680. When uh, Molly was around doing her classes, you know, I was telling you I was doing the, the classes to help with her O levels and everything. Um, Michelle had given me a little Elna machine, a tiny little Elna machine, right? And she'd said to me, if ever yours goes wrong, you need to put it in. Oh, I know when it was. It was when I was driving up and down to Western Supermare, to the John Scott show. Anyway, I got it out last week and I used it. Even, this is just to talk about how, El how brilliant Elna are. This machine was one that some magazine gave away as a free sewing machine if you bought the subscription. So it wasn't expensive. It was, it sewed so brilliantly. So if you think that you get that from a little Elna free gift, imagine the quality of these. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Right, Bruce, you've got a slide to show me, I believe. This should not be happening. This should not be happening, right? Because you all get a bit blasé about it now, but I know that last time I did this, I said, Hayley told me we weren't being allowed to do it again, right? Hayley's not in today, so cat, all cat's done, and she's just changed the date on the, um, on the um, slide. You be careful. You're not beyond being sacked, you know, cat. You could end up somewhere else where you don't want to be, with people you don't want to be with because we won't support you. Right. Shall we start? We're, in, we're just, cat, do all that. No, hold you set, no we're not, cat to move the table out the way. In fact, you can see it there, look. Uh, now, don't buy anything yet. Have I got all of them in all the sizes? Oh, that's good. Right, let me just tell you this, right? If you're only going to make dresses, blouses, everything apart from trousers, you want to, you can choose either of them. If you're going to be making trousers, only buy the blue one, right? They're all the same price and I'll go through all of them completely, but you can't put trousers on the red one, on cherry, but you can put trousers on sapphire. So the choice is yours. Now what we'll do is we'll tell you, I'll show you what the price is. So which way are you going to go first, Kat? Oh, can do cherry first. It's always the way the producers see us go, which one should we do first? They go, cherry. It's because she can't see me. She can't even see me here. Right, we'll do cherry then. So all of them, no matter what the size, they are all the same price. So it's, I, I was watching somewhere else, not recently, it was a couple of months ago now, and they were selling, not this, this adjust form, but another make of form like this. And... They suddenly said, oh yeah, if you buy the size small or the medium, you pay this. But if you buy the large or the extra large, it's, it went up. And I was like, you can't do that. We don't do that. Hang on, that's not the price. So they're all going to be this price, even if you check out. Right, these come direct from Adjust Form. Do not put in express delivery. They ask for up to 10 working days for delivery. Lots of the time it's much, much quicker than that because they come in a big box. They come in a box this big. You do have to put the bottom bit together, but it's very, very easy. You don't worry about that. It's very, very easy. Um, and you do have, now is that a one year warranty or two year warranty? I think it's a one year warranty on these as well. So, cherry versus sapphire. Right, oh no, now we need to do this up. Before I tell you about this, I need to do sizes of cherry because they're different, right? So the cherry sizes are here. Right, so the bust on the small is 33 to 41, the waist is 24 to 32, and the hips are 34 to 42. On the medium, the bust is 39 to 47, the waist is 29 to 37, and the hips are 40 to 48. And on the full figure, uh, the bust is 45 to 53, the waist is 38 to 46, and the hips are 47 to 55. Right, so Kat will run all the graphs through while I'm talking. So you just decide which size you want. These are all the cherry ones that we're talking about to start with. Right, so this one, first of all, it comes with a little uh, pin cushion at the top there. You can open and close the neck here. You can make it bigger or smaller by turning this 
and you can make the, the neck bigger or smaller. Now, the thing that's good about adjuster forms is you have 12 different places where you can uh, change the size, right? So, if, for example, on the bust line here, you've got one on the front, one on the back, one on the side, one on the side. So now, what you do is if you've got a bigger bust but a smaller back, you open it up at the front and a little bit at the sides here. But if you've got a wide back and a smaller bust, then you just push that one up like that. And then you open it at the back there to make it wider across the back. You can make these completely and utterly bespoke to either you or whoever you're making the outfit for. So you've got the, you've got the bust, the waist and the hip uh, size alteration. You also have, now you know the nape to back waist, this is really important. When you make garments, one of the most, the whole pattern is based on your nape to back waist. So this is your nape, and then this goes down to your waist here. It usually averages out on most people, it's about 15 inches, right? But if you get the waistline in the wrong place, then the whole garment will be out. And unless you're making a blouse that doesn't have um, a waistline on it or something like that, but the, you could ruin the whole proportion, right? So you can't do this from the outside, you have to do it from the inside. You can unscrew here, and this bit here moves up and down so you can make, now I think it's between a 15 and a 17, isn't it, that this one measures on the red one? 15 to 17. Uh, full figure 16 to 18, right? So there's all of that. You can pin into them, you can drape on them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I've kept a piece of calico, haven't I, for all show. Oh, it's over there, I'll put on that table, thanks, Cam. You can drape. If you want to see what a dress would look like, you can drape on these like this or you can um, uh, do pattern pieces what's cat saying now oh honestly this is in really interesting it's going to sell this now right the cat's boyfriend said the other day they were out shopping he saw a mannequin in the second hand shop said you should buy that and then put the clothes on it that you're going to wear the next day so you don't wake up wake, wake me up the next morning yeah anyway so you can drape you can cut on the stand, you can cut shapes on the stand. If you want to pad it out, you can pad it out to your size or to the size of the person. You do have to be honest, though. And what I will say about getting the right uh, cup size is put a bra on it, your favourite bra on it, and stuff the bra. Then you will get the proper bra size. Um, it comes on a stand with a tripod at the bottom. What you can't see on this one is it also comes with a hem marker. I don't know where our hem markers have gone. It's a pin one. It's a pin one, um, and that's the bit you have to put together when it arrives in the, um, in the box. 10% off, remember, today until midnight. Here we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, so that's that one. That's your cherry. That's your cherry. There was something else I was supposed to say down there and I can't remember what it was now. Anyway, you can't put trousers on there. You can't put trousers on this one. Me and my mate, Cherry. Oh yeah, it, when it, 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 when, when, if you're storing it, this bit comes off. It doesn't, this bit doesn't come apart. So that's how big you need. It comes in a box that's that big. And the, if you don't want it up all the time, you can just unscrew the um, stand and the tripod base and they fit inside the box as well. Oh, you can pin into it. Have I said that? I'm sure there's something I've not said. And it'll come to me. Shall we look at the sizes of Sapphire now? I wonder if they've brought out a new one recently. I think we should see if they've got any new ones. Right, so Sapphire is the So Deluxe leg form. So this one, these come in sizes A, B and C. Now, I need to warn you that the blue ones always sell out quickly. We, get, we always get more of the blue ones in, but they always sell out first. Bust, 33 to 41. Waist, 26 to 33. Hips, 36 to 44. That's your size A. Your size B is 39 to 47 bust, 32 to 40 waist, and 41 to 49 hip. Now, you're not crashing yet because the graphics aren't there. And then, oh, they are now. Then C is bust, 45 to 53. Uh, waist, 38 to 46. And hips, 47 to 54. Goes to six foot tall, remember, and uh, the next back weighs 14 and a half to 16. 
Yeah, always go smaller because you can pad up, you can't pad down. Now, I'm just going to tell you something now that I didn't know. Everywhere else, the blue one is more expensive than the red one. We have to pay more for the blue one than we do for the red one, but we don't charge you any extra. We do not charge you. Now, you're going to ask why it's different, aren't you? Well, I'll show you here. So on the top of this one, you've got that lovely um, dial, which makes the... Oh, <laughs> sorry. OK, that's cat's fault, man. Anyway, so that makes your neckline bigger or smaller. You've got exactly the same um, dials on it to make it bigger and smaller and everything around the body. But the difference with this is here. So it's been cut out here so you can pull trousers onto it, right? So that's at the front and the back. So you can cut out, cut, pull trousers onto it. Also, you'll notice that this is slightly to one side. You don't have to have it at the side if you don't want to. You can have it in the middle. But if you're doing trousers, you need the, that stand to go through on the trouser legs. There it is. So you can either move it from the center or to the left-hand side. Oh, they did a jumpsuit with Becca Harris the other day. And this was perfect. Because if you think about it, uh, this one, if you try and put trousers on cherry, try and put trousers on cherry, there's no... Um, crotch gusset or anything there. Also, the only place that the stand can come out is in the middle, right? So if you did manage to get a pair of trousers on it, right, where's the stand going to go? You're going to have to cut a hole. No, no, you will. But you have to split the seam on the crotch to pull them on, get all the hem length, and, have to, and then when you take them off, you've got to re-sew up the crotch seam. You don't have to do that on this one. You can literally pull them on. You've got the... Um, Hi, John, silly question. When measuring the bust, do you keep your bra on? Yes. Yes. Well, no, no, only because, and this, it depends on, do you wear your bra every day? It's like when you go for a fitting. If you're going to go, if you're going shopping for a wedding outfit, right, don't think, oh, we'll just wear this comfy old, you know, the grey one that's been in the tumble dryer. Because on the day of the wedding, you're going to buy a balconette or something, aren't you? You need to try your dresses on, when, or clothes on when you go shopping or anything, with the bra that you're going to wear them with. Because if you think about it, right, old grey balconette. Old grey. If you've got a dress, right? Old grey. And then you put a balconette dress, bra, 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 on, bra on with a old grey dress on. Do you know what I mean? I'm only being, I'm being honest with you because if you don't wear the right... It's like if you wear Spanx. Other branches are over. Try the dress on with the Spanx, but then don't try and wear them without the Spanx. Do you know what I mean? It's that thing. So, yeah, measure, measure your bust with your bra on so you know where where your bosom sits basically because you know the older we get our bosoms do sit in different places look oh what's a bosom this is your bosom anyway uh i was gonna uh, yeah so, so that uh, that's got the stand that goes down there like that so always buy a size smaller than you are because you can pad up you can't pad down uh, pad down no brilliant question Brilliant question. All, all, all your questions are brilliant. There's no such thing as a silly question because we all have to ask somewhere, don't we, about... We all have to learn, don't we? We all have to learn about different things somewhere. So, anyway, so have you made your mind up? Are you going for the blue, the sapphire, or are you going for the cherry? Blue, there's a surprise. Blue is the most popular. In size B, it always is. It always is. Now, remember, up to 10 working days. So, what day is it today? Thursday. Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it, that's how it works. There's your sizes of, that's your blue one. There are your sizes of your blue one. B is the, excuse me, B is the most popular. Say that again. Oh, we've only got eight Bs left in the blue. And we always buy in more Bs in the blue. And there's only eight left now. These come directly from, just for remember, oh, John, you've made my day. I think you might have been in a certain large store when I was buying a dress for my son's wedding. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, did you, Elizabeth, did you go in your old bra? You see, that's no good, is it? That's no good. You've got to wear your nice bra if you're going to go fitting. But it's only because different things will be in different places, won't they? I don't know why I went like that. But different things will be in different places, won't they? But do you know what I mean? It's true. It's true. Anyway, uh, any questions? What time's it? Oh, no, I've got to go in a minute. Uh, so blue in the B is the most popular. Um, 
they're both lovely whichever one you get and I know so many people have messaged me going oh, I've got my just form I love it I love it I don't know how I did it because the other thing is is if you're making on your own at home now I know I was obviously during lockdown it was very difficult but if you don't want somebody coming round to measure your hem for you because you can't measure a hem on a skirt can you if you put on the mannequin and it's the right size that you are you know that you can then go around with the hem marker and get your hem exactly straight nothing worse than trying to pin like that and then looking up oh and also when you're measuring yourself don't look dull being measured don't look down also when you're measuring yourself leave two fingers inside the tape measure don't pull it tight 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 always leave two fingers inside the tape measure right there are only six of the blue ones left now in b in b oh and there's four b's in blue in baskets i'll have to tell barry the bald book buyer wouldn't i because he reorders them. Just want to let you know. Right, let me go back here and I'll tell you about this. You all right for me to go back, Bruce? Right, Juliet's book, we launched it today. How many of the caves are left as well? Right, okay, I'll do that in a minute. Right, Juliet's book launched today. Uh, 15 99 it should be, nine, was it 19 99 Yeah, it should be 19 99 Let me get in the right place, there you go. Gorgeous book, she won. She won Great British Sewing Bee in 2019. She sent a little film in earlier, which we showed you. Uh, it's lovely. It's got all sorts, anything from hair bands right the way through to lovely frocks and all the techniques and everything like that you need to know. It's got the patterns in the back and it goes from a size six, was it six to 28? I think it was. Let me show you. There you go. Goes from a size six to a 28. Oh, 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 sorry, Bruce, that was me. See, I'm saying sorry now. <laughs> 15.99. Oh, quickly got a picture. Do you, you know what? I'm not in again now till May the 1st. I'm not, no. I'm in Jewelry Maker on Saturday. If you want to come watch me on Jewelry Maker. Who's in here on Saturday? Oh, so it's just around here and I'll be in Jewelry Maker. I might pop in and say hello. Yeah, uh, what are you putting that in for? I think you said it was a picture. Oh, picture, picture, picture. Oh, there you go. There's the needles. Let me have a look. Can I see it on the big one, Bruce? Oh. Yeah, a little red button. I never knew that, even though apparently Jane has told me. Because Kat, rem Kat remembers her telling me. I don't know how you even remembered that, Kat. No, she doesn't listen to me, but she remembered what Jane Brogan says. Right, let's just look at these quickly, see how many of these are left. And then I'll do the menu for tomorrow. Uh, 69.98. That's your price. They should be 89.98. These sell so well. Now, how many and how many and how many? Yeah. 10 left. Once you've all checked out, there are 10 left. Oh, hang on. There are 10 left and 10 people in baskets. Oh, no, no, no. No, there's not 10 left. If the 10 people have got it in their baskets, check out, they've all gone, right? But if you've got one in the basket, remember somebody else could ring up or put it in their basket and check out and they'll get yours. Right, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu. 69.98, these are, make sure you check out on those. Right, so who is it tomorrow, Vix? No, Stuart tomorrow, Stuart tomorrow. Gorgeous tools, gorgeous tools. Gorgeous tools. And must have gadgets. Nine o'clock, flower of the month, Irish chain quilt with Catherine Wright. Oh, she's doing flower of the month. Oh, nice. Rainbow bundles at 10. 11 o'clock, royal fabric collection. Now, what's that? Lovely with Catherine Wright. Oh, look at 12 o'clock. 10% off Tilda fabrics. Now, Stuart, he's an ambassador uh, for Tilda. I bet he won't be telling Tilda they'll be doing that, will he? Christine says you're so naughty, John Scott. Me? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Right, so there's no other, none of those overlockers left. There's, there will be, all of these will have gone once everyone's checked out. The mannequin blue B will have sold out at this rate. So, um, good day, all round. Um, I've still got a couple of minutes. What should I talk about? I've had a message from Kate. Looks like a fab book. A fab book, not a book. Is there a trouser pattern? Kate, no, there's not. That's true. That's true. There's not a trouser. There's not a trouser pattern in there. No. Oh, how well spotted. 
Another question. Uh, looks like, oh, no, I've done that one. Yeah, I've said that. No, no, you said there was another question. He did. Oh, good question. I thought you said another question. Well, I'm going to go then. Uh, member Vix is on Hobby Maker this afternoon. Don't know who she's got on with her today. Sandra, oh, so, oh now they've got Santa. That really is popular, isn't it? Santangled Munch goes crazy about that. Another lady that Kat recognises, but she doesn't know her name. And what's she making? She's having a look now, very quickly. And I'm on Jewelry Maker on Saturday morning, remember? Not in here again until the 1st of May. Natalie from Hunky Dory. You should have known her. Bye, Isabel. It's tough for now. You take care of yourself. Been a wonderful day, especially watching you on the train. Oh, she's on the train. Watching me. I've not been on a train. I haven't been on a train for years. Anyway, bye-bye. I'll see you on Saturday, Jewelry Maker, 1st of May, back here. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out.